Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, the Gup Cup. I'm Race. I'm here with Disputed. Hello. Hello. Hey. Okay. Good so day. we this is this is probably the biggest of days. All right. You don't even understand how big of a day this truly is. Okay. First of all, first of all, we are doing a Gup beanbag giveaway at the end of the day. So. Yeah, hype. If you want a gut beanbag, stick around. It's going to be fun. There's your chance. Okay, but let's go over what the fuck we're doing today. Um, what kind of loadouts we have, who's playing, all that kind of stuff. So we have eight players today. Do not listen to Cabbage. <laughs> um, we have eight players today. We have Cabbage, Waxy, Corny, Disputed, Goji, Dan, Ruddy, did I say cap and cap? So we got quite the fucking lobby, actually. Um, and we're going to do some a bracket style. It's like double elimination. So let's go over that right now, just so we know what we're looking at um, before we start. First of it's all, it's a bit different from last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's look at the website real quick before we look at the bracket. These are the loadouts we're going to see today. Uh, I know you're looking at six loadouts. You're thinking, man, that's a lot. It's going to go a little bit faster. We're going to cut off people uh, after the first two uh, win a little bit. But anyway, that's what we're dealing with. And then the bracket. All right. So we start off with two separate groups. OK, the top two players from each group will enter in the top bracket with Void Fiend. The bottom two players from each group will enter the bottom bracket with Commando. Uh, the winners of the Commando loadout and the losers of the Void Fiend loadout will play Artie. The winners of Void Fiend and the winners of Artie will play together in Captain. We'll go over this a lot today, um, but we're going to start off with Railgunner and Huntress, and it'll make sense as it goes. Uh, this gives everyone the opportunity to play twice, to have comebacks, and all that kind of stuff, and to play with other people as they go around. around. But this is the Gup Cup today, so this is the big tournament. This is the style. And I want to thank Jones for uh, setting up the tournament style board for us, and obviously Zayo for last minute setting up the uh, all the visual stuff for us today. So we're ready, I and think. Huh? Let's go. Okay. Are you ready? No, no, Should no. Wait, you're going to say something. What are you going to say? Oh, I was just saying, uh, like last time, we have a rotating casting couch here. Yep. So I'm actually casting this first loadout, but next loadout I will be playing and somebody else will be in here. Yep. And uh, that's going to be happening throughout the day. But Race is always going to be here. So Yeah, I'm the rock. If you have a problem, yell at him. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready. You can go say to the guys that we're ready to play. And we're going to start out loadout one on Railgunner right now. Okay. So. All right, chat. It's time. It's so time, dude. Let's head over. We have the bracket standing thing in the top right, so just you know where we are as well. So this will be good. And I think we're... Oh, I need to make sure that we're seeing the racers. There we go. And we are theoretically in. It's lagging already. <laughs> nice. Someone is lagging. I'm going to refresh yeah. real quick. <laughs> Excellent start, dude. And there we go. Let's find out. All right. Railgunner is the first one up today. So let's do it. Also, we have a new bingo link. So hold on. We have a new bingo link. So if you want to get in bingo early, make sure you type in exclamation point bingo. Get the new bingo link and play with everyone else if you want to join the Discord and share your bingo pages in there. There you go. All right. What do I think of this loadout? Um, yeah. No one likes the polar mine. Let's just say that. No, come on. <laughs> come on. It's better bubble shield. Yeah, but that's such a low bar. <laughs> <laughs> it is. We're scraping the ground here, dude. Like. It was the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. You look I... at a fucking anthill and it's better than bubble shield. <laughs> um 
literally it's, anything. Yeah. I think Polar Field is really, honestly, one of the coolest visual skills in the game. Um, I just think it kind of sucks. So it doesn't like do anything for you that you couldn't have just done by walking away with the other mine or something. It's I'll like... say this. I really like it during pizza, like slowing down the orb shots. That's fair. Well, I just deal with dodging the pizza slices. I think that's cool. I also like that the cooldown is pretty low and it has a long uptime, so you can basically always have one up. Mm hmm But yeah, sometimes it does hurt you. Like, if you're charging the teleporter, it just keeps projectiles on the map longer than they need to be. And yeah. You just run into them. That's kind of horrible. Ar oh, already an ice band for Cap. That is beautiful. I mean, with Railgunner, like, what else do you really need? You know? Also, and we're going to see a... Uh, because we don't have the mine on this one, I mean, we're going to have to see some interesting strats for pillar skipping, either like a host skip or like a design pillar skip or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And these guys are going to be going pretty fast today. If you watch the previous tournament... They're kind of incentivized to go slower because it was basically just don't get last. If you got last, you're eliminated. Here, uh, nobody's getting eliminated in this first loadout, mm -hmm. but the top two will go to the winner's bracket and third and fourth will go to the loser's bracket. So you really want to go fast and get in those top two spots. Yep. So I'm expecting to see some like 30s, maybe 20s on this loadout if they can. Cap really utilizing those pennies well like to see it <laughs> love to see Looks it like dude. waxy found the band as well waxy and cap have the same like build they just have it in weird order interesting how they yeah. found all the the same chests it looks like um corny is really playing that shrine got a goat hoof out of it too cabbage is already basically done with teleporter he only has like a few percent left on charging that so that is not surprising to see but look at his items yeah I mean, he is going to miss out on the band early here, but, um, I mean, Cabbage just knows how fast he can go on Railgunner, so he's just taking good advantage of that. That's true. He's probably the favored racer, ELO-wise, in this loadout. Mm hmm I mean, especially I... for this character, you know, like... Oh, look at this crowbar printer. Look at this Godhoof printer. What is happening? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> this that's it. They have crowbars and goat hoof, stage one railgunner. That's it. Like <laughs> we're good. Yeah. And they have that's a band crazy. on the stage as well. Like just at that point, I would loot up a little bit the stage, get all the crowbars and hooves, and then actually just send it all the way through, probably. Absolutely. Like, if I I'd know... probably go more for goat hooves than mm -hmm. crowbars at this point. Because speed is so fucking good. And with yeah. Rail Gunner, crowbars are really nice, obviously. But if you have an ice band, I don't know. You kind of have damage. Get, like, maybe one or two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Cap is messing with me a little bit with the internet. But it looks like everyone's basically doing the same thing. Corny is the only one that has not found the ice band. I really hope he finds it. It's a little bit like he can see it from where he's at if he's not behind this uh, stump. It's that large chest next to the the giant uh, half tree that you walk up. Yeah, by the fire. Mm hmm. So hopefully he does. So did Cabbage get any crowbars here? No, he's just going all in to speed, it looks like. And then and he's, he's keeping, keeping an APR. APR. Yeah, which is good, honestly. That'll Not probably even be... bothering with the blue portal, just going to the next stage. Mm -hmm. I mean, I smart. You can get anything there anyway. Yeah, even if there was like a feather or something, like giving up three speed for it is kind of brutal. I don't know. And cabbage is the first one on stage two. Surprise. Unsurprisingly, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that ignition tank printer? Ah. I mean, if it was on another loadout, maybe I'd be a little bit more hyped for it. Hey, but... I would eh. probably... All they have is... Oh, they have a nice band. Never mind. Yeah, they're not going to give up the band. Yeah, you can't, <laughs> you can't get rid of that. 
If it was like There's two guillotines, though, maybe. I would give up both of them real quick, but I don't know. 50 50 it? No. For literally no benefit? <laughs> no. <laughs> you have a game. The weight creator problem. looks like Gabbage is not hitting it. Might be wait until after the telly. Uh, he did not get the healing drone on the last stage. Ooh. It looks like most everybody else did. Key printer Cabbage as well, the only one. which is interesting. He might. There's a scrapper right next to it. I would probably encourage the racers to at least get one key here. Um, like, not from the items they have right now, but like maybe they get a white item they don't really want on the stage. Just scrap print. And keys have just been well, so good. Cabbage just got a crowbar. <laughs> so. Yeah. He didn't print any last stage, but he's not really being punished. No. Okay, Corny did get the ice ban, so that is really good. It looks like Corny is also going to check the blue portal as well. So we'll get to see what's in there as the first one. Interesting. Probably can't buy anything, but maybe he can cycle it a little bit. But if there's something Oh, he's really just good cycling. There... He's not even checking. He's saying like, oh, okay, you know what? I'm just going to take the, the time loss here and just try to go further with that see if i can get something later that the other racers do not have which is interesting interesting play it could bite him in the ass but it could equally help him too mm -hmm. uh oh why is everything happening bad to me today i'm i'm locked <laughs> Video buffering? Yeah, Cap, you are fucking buffering. All right, we're back. Jesus. Why are there two radians on the side? The telly? Where is Sulky? Oh. <laughs> Why did Dan fuck up again? Oh, no. Because Dan is just that good. Grant. He gets to play twice. <laughs> oh, plasma shrimp on Corny in that void cradle. Ooh, that is so good. The, the damage that they're all getting with this real gunner loadout is so just free, honestly. And they also just yeah, have, they the have the movement the for it, too. So oh, now gasoline. Don't. <laughs> so that ignition tank. It's they don't even need it, though. It's bait like they're like the real gunner. They can already kill like everything anyway. If I mean, if they go I mean, to it's the still scrapper, nice to have a bit of AOE, though, I mean, it's nice, but they already have the gas. I don't know. I don't think they go across the stage to scrap and then go across the stage again to print. I, I okay. So I think for Waxy, that might be a bad play. But for someone like Cabbage, who has a bunch of speed, is not going to be that big of a time loss. And stage five teleporter, like you don't want to be in a position where you have to kite and have to like move in and out of it. Gasoline ignition tank will help you so much just staying in the teleporter. Because, like, right now, they can one-shot everything, basically. But once it gets to stage four and five, you can one-shot everything still, but there's going to be things spawning in really fast, and it helps to have a little bit of that AoE to kind of get you through. I just don't think Cabbage would do it. I don't know. It depends how long Probably it takes. Because it could take a while. Is it worth a minute, potentially? I don't know. It's a good question. Yeah. But it's definitely the safer strat, I would say. I think your chances of dying and doing that are a lot Oh, if lower. you're worried about you dying, it, then yeah. But I don't think Cabbage is. Let's put it that way. I mean, like, it has four speed here. There's a watch as well. Their damage multiplication is crazy, dude. They have AP round, crowbar, uh, watch, plasma shrimp, band, like... This is like they're yeah. getting a little bit of everything. Plus, they have crit because they're real gunner, obviously. So, so I noticed uh, Cap and Cabbage mainly went into speed on the last stage, but Waxy went basically all into crowbars. And I can't tell what Corny has. Corny has two goat hooves and two crowbars. Okay, so it looks like he went half and half, basically. Mm hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the play is there. I think probably going into speed more is better. Especially with the plasma shrimp ice band. Like, they have damage. That's not a problem. Another watch for cabbage. Goodness gracious. 
and calf and cabbage are on stage three beautiful a vo void cradle here it looks like cabbage did pick up a healing drone on the last stage he's also using that calf nader to kind of heal up here so he can get Which that void smart. cradle i don't we don't really see that being used that often for that like usually people look at it as like oh it's either a damage equipment or I don't pick it up because I don't have the damage with it. But it actually, yeah. like, it does heal you, you know, so. It's just not, like, super reliable. It's not like Wood Sprite or a Dole where you can just activate it and be good. Mm -hmm. But it is definitely healing. Um, and they do have that healing drone. Healing drones are so important in the races. I, in oh, fact, yeah. I think healing drones are priority over items a lot of the time. I think it's better than an item, usually. Like, the average uh -huh. item is worse than a healing drone stage one. Yeah, and it distracts enemies sometimes, too. They have mm -hmm. a hard time hitting it. The only problem is they kind of die in the late game. Yeah. So, yeah, but Especially by then you have, five. you should have some items, right? So it can, like, make Hopefully. up for it. But, like, it will carry really pretty well. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, like, if you don't have any healing, healing drones will get you by throughout the entire run. Mm -hmm. You might have to spend some extra money on them, rebuying them. Oh, oh, cabbage? cabbage already on the teleporter. Uh oh. Okay, okay, we're we're good. Cabbage almost got blasted off the map and hosted, but the ground at that uh, point is just so low. I'm behind. Well, him, Cap right? also hit the teleporter, and he's struggling. A fire band teleporter item. Okay. Dude, what is with the his runs watch. recently? <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, Cap broke his watch. Yeah, oh. he was struggling at the same time Cabbage was. Okay, well, at least it's not a plus five, honestly. That's true. It's, it's rough, but... It's one watch, and with the second band here, he should be okay. But it does give Cabbage a pretty big advantage. He has 40% more damage because of those. It's going to be a 40% faster fight, 40% easier time dealing with enemies. Mm -hmm. It adds up. Oh, yeah. Not exactly 40% faster fight, but roughly. It's roughly. And that's the thing, like, it might take you a bit to, like, go and grab that armor piercing round on the edge of the map, but will that save you time during Mythrix? Will it save enough time? Potentially. It's hard to say. Like, it depends on the run, obviously, but, like, you know, if you're a commando or something, usually or probably would if you know that it's like one of those damage items or something, stuff like that. I think it's decisions like that that make the races so interesting to watch. Oh, yeah, dude. There's so much that goes into it. And it's not just like pure speed running where it's the fastest person to get through it. It's the decisions you make along the way. And one person can go slower um, for most of the race, but then rush ahead at the last second and still get the win so just because cabbage is the only one on stage four right now doesn't mean he can't get last place and the others mm -hmm. will catch up and you also see different strategies like some people like to rush the first couple stages and then heavily loot four and five because that's where most items are and then some people like to do the opposite and really loot the early stages and kind of ignore the later ones Yeah, I think it's like, as time kind of goes on, I kind of like the idea of looting the early stages a little bit more than the later ones. Yeah, I think it makes like, sense. I feel like a lot of racers, they try to go too fast early on, and then that's where a lot of just early deaths happen, or that's where a lot of like just situations where you're relying a little bit on RNG right out the gate kind of come in, um, where... You, instead you could just get a few things early and then kind of know where you're at and kind of gauge how fast you can go from there i think i like that a little yeah. bit more that, that's definitely my issue i tend to go really quick in the early stages but if you think about the way the scaling works where it's easy and then it'll ramp up and then it just gets exponentially harder getting items early on is definitely the play so you don't mm -hmm. fall into a situation where you snowball your run yeah. And it looks like Cap is just leaving right now. I mean, obviously, Cabbage is done and going to stage five. <laughs> but, wow. Yeah. He, he had a quick stage, dude. 
Cap went back to the other side and grabbed another watch, which is basically the situation we were just talking about. Like, is mm-hmm. it worth it to do that? I think for Railgunner, maybe. I don't know, because like it. Hmm. It depends how many other sources of damage you have, right? Because with Railgunner right now, they have the band, they have the AP round, the crowbar, uh, the other band. Um, the watch isn't just multiplying Railgunner's base damage. It's multiplying all of those items, too. But then you have to kind of weigh, okay, but Railgunner kills Mythic so fast, will it actually even save the amount of time it took me to go get the watch? And there's so yeah. much to even think about it. If you're one-shotting everything anyway, a little bit more damage isn't going to make a big difference. Yeah. Opal Printer. I think it's smart to grab one or two of those when you don't have a feather. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. Getting slapped by Mythrix and not losing all of your health is great. <laughs> and, and Cabbage is just going. I knew he killed go. the stage five boss. Mm-hmm. Um... Does he have oh, a toy skip? Plus five for cap? Oh, I didn't look. No. Was it a larva? I think it might have been. I don't know. I'm Maybe not that sure. Maybe that or a golem shot. Blazing larva? Cabbage. Yeah. That'll do it. Tough. Well, that does not put him in a good position because he was ahead, but he kind of slowed down on the last stage, and Corny and Waxy are right there. I would. It's not like for sure though, right? I just want to remind chat of that. Like, even though it's not good to plus five, um, I mean, this is still a loadout that a lot of these guys are a little bit uncomfortable with. A lot of people really rely on the mines, the movement mines with Real Gunner. So the polar mines kind of a little bit of a switch up, you know? It is. Oh, and oh, there's a wax, plus, five plus five for Waxy. Well. See? Right, right there. It happens. It's tough. So if Corny can just play this out, I, I think he's looking good. Cabbage, I imagine, will not plus five. I mean, you never know. But I think at this point, if these guys just play it safe, uh oh, Corny looks like he's struggling. The caster curse. Mm. Oh, those larvae are harassing him. Well, I need to talk to Nightbot about deleting people's messages and chat right now. <laughs> Is Nightbot doing a 1984 cosplay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, chat. Where the fuck? And Cabbage is on the moon. He does not have a pillar skip, I don't think. Maybe there's a way you can do it? Emma, we'll see. If there is, If anybody it. can, it's Cabbage, yeah. He might just do pillars, though. Like, the time you take looking for a pillar skip is oftentimes more detrimental than just doing pillars All right, should be and taking up. the time loss. Yeah. Like, if you don't know what the pillar skip is, right, and you're just, like, trying and, like, going up and down for, like, five minutes, it's like, you could have just been in the fight at that point, dude. And especially when you have a lot of speed. Like, one of the reasons pillars are so time-consuming is just the time it takes to travel to them. Yeah, it's right? so long. And Cabbage doesn't have a ton of speed, but he does have a little bit. Which is another decision, like, from stage one that is paying off right now. And I think getting that speed was definitely the play. I think Waxy may have plus five there just because he's having trouble dodging stuff. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense. If you don't have speed, of course you're going to have trouble. Uh, so I think he went into damage a little bit too much there. The uh, the one hoof on his end is a little bit rough, honestly. Mm-hmm. And Corny is looks like he's gonna get out of here without a plus five. I hope so. Puts him in a really good spot. All these guys are on stage four and cabbage is on the moon. It's insane to see. <laughs> No saver spaces, unfortunately, which just means no free host skips, so. Maybe there's a headset. Nah. I mean, if there is a headset, would you even want it? No, I don't want to lose my two bands, honestly. I would just do the yeah. fight. Yeah. Which, I mean, it would save me some time doing pillars, but, like, I don't know. 
Did Cabbage do this Void Seed? I don't think he did. I think he just went straight to the Teleporter and pieced out as soon as he could. Yeah, I think he just went. I, th I don't even think oh. he left the Void Seed once. Captain or not the Void Seed, though. Sorry. Yeah, Lysate with this build is actually really good. Um, it is. Obviously, what he's kind of thinking at this point, he's like thinking, okay, I don't really want to look for too much equipment. There's only like one equipment, I think, that needs a fuel cell to skip anyway and it's like the chance of him finding a fuel cell and that equipment are really low uh and you can just freeze mithrix over and over again with this one so it's all good corny took void crit interesting well i don't think that's necessarily that bad here i just don't think it yeah. really helps either um in a normal a big regular run i like to not take it because i like scrapping a lot right and if i pick up a lot of crit just by chance i don't get to scrap that for stuff that i want let's say but they're not going to be really scrapping in this either they're just yeah. going to be getting what they get and go so it's fine i think it depends on the survivor but in the races void crit has definitely saved me more than a few times yeah especially on the really cope loadouts there have been um, some but really obviously it's very ones. survivor dependent like it's going to be better on commando than arty for example yep cabbage is struggling with this one exploder okay he's finally got it jesus <laughs> that's why i like having the the puller field though I feel like he could be setting that down and be helping him a little bit oh waxy got blasted up in the air it looks like he's fine no he's not fine never mind he hosted oh <laughs> if you used your charge shot there could you have canceled all of the fall damage probably more than he canceled maybe i don't know it's a tough spot because it takes so long to charge Oof. That was a tough one, though. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> and Cabbage red... is done with pillars. There's a Shutter Injustice on Waxy. No one else has that one. So interesting. And with the DML, yeah, you can kind of get some utilization get some. out of that. I mean, with actually... Gunner, it's kind of hard to, to use it. You have to use your SMG and then shoot him. And on Mithrix, that just takes too much time. By the time you get your Shustus up, he's going to dash out of it. I think they have potential to actually proc it if he's far away because they have Plasma Shrimp. But it's still not going to do that much oh, for that's them true. right now. And here we go. Cabbage is starting the fight. Let's see how his fight goes. Let's see his Pretty initial fast, damage. Imagine. Yeah, I just want to see, like, the chunk, you know. And he's Setting charging. the Polar Field. Honestly, pretty good chunk. And also with this uh, this special, Mythrix has a third less HP. So I was like half HP to Mythrix right there, pretty much. So you have to execute. I don't I don't know what Hopu was thinking. They're like, okay, we're going to give this <laughs> character an insane damage and a 30% execute on Mythrix. Yeah, and some people still think this special is terrible. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe they knew what they were thinking. Oh. Not to mention, it has a 1.5 proc coefficient. Okay. First phase done. Yeah, why not? Fucking more. More damage. <laughs> this is going to be really quick. This is where the crowbars really help. Like, taking out these wisps in as few shots as possible. Mm -hmm. Kind of the limiting factor in this phase. And this is going to be a really quick run from Cabbage. Yep. And so, reminder, we... Well... I guess on the first two loadouts of the day, we can have everyone play it through. But on the other ones, um, or on loadouts three, four, and five, we're going to speed up a little bit. And so once well, the first two people win, we'll move on to the next one. Well, so well. here's the thing. Because Cap and Waxy have plus fives, it looks like Cap might finish first, but it looks like Corny will probably get a faster real time. Corny just picked up a, another Fireband, by the way, too. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll have to, like, actually see, you know, but. Cabbage is almost done here. I imagine he's going to go for a phase four skip. I imagine he usually so. usually does. Yeah, I think he's holding off on. Okay, no, he's just, oh, he's just going to go. A real gunner is so quick phase four, it's okay. I mean, him having to wait until Mythics jumped again and doing phase four is probably the same amount of time for real gunner, so. So, okay, there's no, like, saver spaces blocking a shot either. It's just, it's over already. Mm-hmm. There you go. 
And Cabbage yeah. already doing it. Huge. So I think it's safe to say Cabbage has secured a spot here. Oh yeah, he's he's securing his spot surprise. in the winner's bracket. I mean, we gave him Railgunner first, so... <laughs> I'm just happy I was not in a bracket with this man. <laughs> But uh, I think I'm looking at Corny here for second place. I mean, he does not have a plus five, and that is a huge factor here. But neither has he left the stage yet, so we'll see. That's true. Cap could catch up here. It just depends, because like, if you're in this loadout, it might be easy to say, like, oh, maybe I, I could find a feather, or maybe I could find that pillar to skip, or maybe I can just, like, I'm on the stage a little bit longer, let's just kind of see. Yeah. Um, I mean, it looks like he's walking around a little bit, too. He's so more. Yeah, I don't know. It's and I don't know how much time he's going to spend on that, but he might spend a lot of time. And then by that time, pillars are a little bit harder and then he has a tougher time and then yada, yada, yada. So. I want to see him leave as soon as he hits the shrine. There's nothing he can really get that will help him that much. Maybe go into the opal printer. Ooh. But besides that, poly loot for cap. Yeah. yeah. Oof. So you gotta go, my man. Yeah, and I, <laughs> but Corny also does have that key. So if he does get a blood pillars, then he should be able to find the pilot as well. It's like right on the path to them. Very hard to miss. That's you're going the wrong way, <laughs> Corny. So what is Cap Please. looking for at uh, soup here? I think he's looking for soup. But oh, the stompers. There's headset. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I mean... And he does have a poly loot, so if he loses I, his bands, it's like... He'll still have mm. some damage. Looks like he's choosing to do pillars anyway, though. Which is, I think, the right call. But, um... Yeah. Let's bring Cabbage in here right now. Hello, Cabbage. Hey. You lost. Oh, man. Yeah, tough. Oh, they're playing the base. <laughs> No, you're fine. Um, I mean, it was it was an easy real gonna load out. You guys had all the damage and movement at the start, and then it just kept giving you more. So, <laughs> I didn't have movement. There was a speed printer stage one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. had that, but not more after. Oh, I, I guess so. It didn't really give you more. Some of the others stayed a little bit stage one just to get some extra movement, and then yeah, left I was after. hoping for a phase. I just thought you know usually there's a phase. Mm -hmm. You know, like something like ninety nine percent of runs have a phase. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Interesting that you elected to do the blood shrines and Cabbage is doing the jumpy shrines right now. Cap blood shrine. Uh oh, Cap, 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 Cap. Uh oh. He got knocked off by the design pillar. No. Oh no. Oh. Okay, Corny looking a little better here. Corny's looking a lot better. Hey, Cabbage, I hear you typing in my ear. <laughs> uh, uh, I was responding to some guy in chat. <laughs> oh, dude! I mean, he's still on stage five, dude. That's what I'm saying. I knew he would stay a little bit longer. All right, can I end stream? No, uh, I, I, mean, I can just. I'll keep stream up. I guess. I think. Oh, he's scrapping. Okay, if he gets enough for a headset here. He, which he, he might pillars. actually yeah he has gome deathmark and baldron which are all like unusable in mythrix so yeah okay we could see this pay off for him yeah it's basically just like it's, a replacement been faster. for pillars right now it would have been faster for him to do pillars had he just left after he did teleporter but mm-hmm He'll uh he'll basically be similar real time with Cap if he can just go get headset. Well, probably not, because Cap is starting the fight. He'll probably be done. But Corny should be good. He doesn't have any plus fives. Waxy is on the moon now. Waxy has two plus fives, same amount as Cap. He, Waxy actually got a scorpion. I completely missed that. I didn't even know that either. But 
Waxy has two plus fives as well. If this goes bad for Cap, Waxy could potentially also get second place. I, I think it would require Corny to also die a few times, but... It is Mythrix. And people have been known to die there. They don't have a lot of speed, or not all of them, so... I mean, it's... They could take a slap or something. I mean, pizza always happens, you know? You know? Mm-hmm. I wonder if they're going to find the poly loot here. It looks like they both have keys. But I don't know if Waxy opened the one on the last stage. Hmm. It depends where he picked it up, I guess. But they should all find where the key box is. I think. I mean, it actually depends. Because, like, if you're going to blood, you'll find it. If you're not at all, and you're just going straight to soup on the left side, you probably won't find it. So, Corny might not get the poly loot. Hmm. I don't know. They have a lot of perfecteds to deal with here. I think it's yeah. kind of a consequence of getting here later. Correct. Why are they here later? Good question. Not as confident. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people have been uh, playing returns this week, so um, I, I think there are a few people in here, myself included, that are a little bit rusty. Excuses already? Jesus, you haven't played yet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's totally fair, though. I mean, I haven't even played the game in like two weeks, so. Yeah. I've been stuck yeah. in, in the returns. The returns pit. Cap looks like he's almost done. Yeah. He's Is he going to set up for a phase four skip? Probably not. Oh, no, it's actually, uh, he has to wait a little bit. For it. Yeah, he doesn't he have He could bands freeze up. right now and he'll do pizza in the center if he does it though. Oh yeah, which... and he has a lysate cell, so he can just get another one. Oh there one he up. goes. Got it. Nice. Cap is done. He blip. does have those two plus fives though, which we'll see. Oh yeah, Cabbage, we, we noticed you didn't phase four skip. You just decided to kill Mithrix. I think uh, it was yeah. like faster or the same amount of speed. I'm pretty sure. I mean, he was just not stopping with the pizza uh, like <laughs> Like, I froze him, like, after the second pizza, I did, like, five more. It's like, I don't know. It's kind of mm. rough. I just wanted it to be over. Makes sense. And Cap is done. Unfortunately, he does have two plus fives. So. Why is that? Larva and uh. a design pillar pushed him off the stage. Oh. Yeah, it's a new mm. one. I almost went off the stage. Well, I did go off the stage. I didn't die, though. That was nice. Did you have any opals? Cor no. Oh, okay. Had a Corny is... armor play. <laughs> Traversing <laughs> this map very slowly. He is focusing on the ads, and I don't think he needs to. Nah, he just uh... needs to go. I know there's like a perfected somewhere in the air around him that he's like a little bit scared of, but... Okay, he's got it yeah, now, you though. you should like stand on the bubble and just clear all those guys before you go any further. Yeah, just I think... Just go on the bubble, I mean, you're real gonna right? This, like, wall section here is kind of bait, because they, like, fly around it really quick, and you don't really see where they are all the time, and then, like, yeah. the bubble, you have so much visibility. I mean, it's just RNG. There wasn't any vase. Corny has 10 minutes <laughs> to do pillars and kill Mithrix, which should be possible. If that's, there, but... very, that's very possible, yeah. I mean, but he's going to find head up pace... here, too. Yeah. And he has enough scrap. But does Looks he know like the it. host skip with head stompers? Oh, oh where is that stompers? In the soup. Oh, uh, why didn't I go there? <laughs> would you have gotten? I, I mean, it? I don't I mean, even think given up would the bands. Good. Uh, no, that would have been fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, I think Cap saw it and he didn't grab it either. No, I had plasma shrimp. I had watches. I had APR. I had crowbar. That's fine. Let's bring Cap. All right, should we bring Cap in here? Yeah. All right, hey, Cap. Hey. 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 So that was your first uh, loadout. Uh, real time was okay, but there were a couple throws, of course. So uh -huh. we'll see. Um, the stage four larva death, obviously. Everyone saw it, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, we all I mean, I tried to run away. I didn't have the mobility mines. So Did you have a polar field to try that one? Yeah, it doesn't do anything, actually, which is it's kind of weird. Maybe it's bugged oh, or right. something, but mm, okay. yeah. 
strange. <laughs> but yeah, and then of course the classic uh, charging the design pillar while you're in between the pillar and the cliff is not the brightest idea. So, yeah, that, that would have really cost yeah. you. <laughs> Hurt my yeah, heart when I saw you fall on. Like bad. there was that moment where you just knew you couldn't get back on land, and you're like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah." It was. I was hoping for either. There's a frame perfect if you use railgunner's primary downwards that you don't take any fall damage at all. So I was either playing praying for that or my double Teddy proking. So that's just all I had going for me, unfortunately. Corny might be baited <laughs> into getting the clover here. Yeah, actually. I know. He he didn't take it. He didn't take it. The clover. Does he see it? Clover? It's in the corner on the outside. You didn't check. Oh, okay. There was the stompers. The stompers. I was. Yeah. He sees. I it. wanted to take it so bad, but I Did don't you... know. We had no I mean, right I think to you go made up. the right call. No. Yeah. Cause like I don't know. he died of fall damage right afterward, <laughs> so he didn't. <laughs> yeah, that is I mean, true. But it, but, like if I strategically, to keep a band, it uh -oh. still would have been good. Oh, dude, Waxy almost did exactly what you did, Cap. <laughs> that was really <laughs> scary. Um, well, I don't know. I feel like it might be kind of close. Corny's I... been playing really slow. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Let me pull up the stream. No, see I... what they're doing. Dude, he still has so much time. Actually, he's fine. He has seven minutes. Yeah. One of those minutes, you have to charge the ship, though. Where is Corny he, going? He's going to do the skip right now, I believe. Yeah, but he could just jump down right now. He doesn't know that. It's Why fine. does he not know that? <laughs> I don't know. Man. <laughs> this is the... For safer spaces, you do need to be all the way up there, but... With no, you don't. You, you, do not, no. you, you do not. No. You don't have to be around. all the way up there. Sp oh, Corny. I feel like it helps. It does uh yeah, sure. Corny. He's gonna have to go again, unfortunately. Oh, he hit the lip. He hit the uh. lip. Uh oh. He, oh, he is gonna bleeding Ooh. time. He's gonna go to the other spot that he knows better, uh -huh. I believe. Oh no. Oh mm. no. This yeah, this is bad. Alright, we Good need for some, me. We need some boot camp on this kind of stuff. <laughs> Shut up. What? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to help. What do you mean? This is great for me. Is it? I'm loving this. All right. I mean, I said it was bad, but <laughs> suffer, corny. Oh, man. What the yeah, hell you can is... keep failing the pillar skip. That's fine. <laughs> this is what happens when you have casters in uh, who are also playing next round. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, trying to, um, you're trying to say I'm biased? No, of course not. But look at this. I mean, by the time that corny spent. Going all the way through the stage, back up, back down. I mean, Waxy's already done with pillars, and he's going up right now, so he might still get ahead of uh of Corny here. Oh no, he sells the two plus fives. Never mind. Never mind. So why did everyone loot so much? I see a lot of loot. No, oh, Corny. Corny. I, I think it's you're a... probably the most confident railgunner gauntlet racer. Look at the rock. Okay, he got it. He got it. He's got to hit the no, lip. Relicunner, Relicunner overall just has a bunch of damage, and we got like bams early on. Yeah, right? I mean, I I spent a good amount of time on stage one just because of the hoof printer. I wanted to make sure I had guaranteed speed, and it still didn't help because I died to larva. So, yeah. Okay. I want to see a fast fight from Corny here? It should be really fast. He has poly loot plasma shrimp, two watches, bands. He only has a few minutes. Oh, that was Basically, another thing. Yeah. So many chances for a safer spaces, and we just never found one. Nope. So painful. Yeah, see, that's Cabbage why I won. It was just, it was just RNG. Yeah, if there was safer spaces or a base, I would have just lost. Yeah. I just got that's RNG. That's the thing. Like, you there. can gamble for just going fast, yeah. and it pays off yeah. a good amount of I the mean, time. The, the time it took you guys to clear the seeds is basically yeah. the time it took him to do pillars. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I, just I even called theory. it like I was on stage three and I was like, Cabbage is probably on stage five right now. <laughs> he but... was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Because it, it's totally it. possible with this loadout. It's all and the RNG, items we were though. given. It's all RNG. It definitely helps. Yeah. So Corny has five minutes to end his run. That's yeah. Pretty if he wants to get in the winner's bracket, you have to charge ship. So he Should has I to tell him yeah. in four minutes. I can go it's tell possible. him. Real quick. Don't tell yeah, him. Yeah, go tell him. All right. Be right back. <laughs> yeah, Give make him insider him, info. Yeah, just make him really like <laughs> nervous just for no reason. Get really <laughs> conscious about what needs to be done. <laughs> you need to do it right now. Oh, you're failing. Oh, you're doing it wrong. Oh, uh, just yeah. like in his ear. Just... <laughs> this scorpion's oh, kind of popping off for Waxy. 
Yeah, don't I don't even know where really. he found that. I think that was Cauldrons as well. I mean, I think it could have been also in Cauldrons, but I guess it it was. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm surprised he took that though. If if he did find it in Cauldrons, there was way other yeah stuff he would have taken. Since there was the Stompers and the Clover, yeah, with the Scorpion. Yeah, where did he find it? Disputed. It was stage five. Yeah, that's oh, he was? had that when he oh, okay. was getting to the moon. He found nice. Justice and Scorpion in stage five, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, Both rip stage Justice because it's useless now. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, well, if he had Death Mark still. <laughs> yeah. He maybe could have gone a few procs. You get the uh, the slow debuff from your core field as well. With a Railgunner, once you have a couple of damage items, like more damage items doesn't help you a whole lot, you know? Like, right. in terms of how much time you save. Mm, you were talking about everything. that earlier. That's why I That's broke what... my two watches and then picked yeah. up just one watch because, like, I only need, needed the one, so. Yeah, and exactly. And Mythrix can get two, and then you're just dead. So. Mm -hmm. I need Corny yeah, exactly. to finish this fight, dude. It's going to yeah, be Corny's really actually close. Get close. It's yeah. really close. He's saving for bands. I hope he misses right the phase four skip. Relax, dude. <laughs> but uh, I hope he does good as well, you yeah. know? <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> Jesus. But it, it's really close. Was there any good equipment? I had a remote no. caffeinator. That was the firework printer on stage three. Yeah, I was going to do that as Railgunner. But and there we go. So. Corning got the phase four, got skip, phase 4 skip. And all he needs to do is walk to the ship and then charge it. Yeah. And then he should be fine. Waxy is Don't done as well. Don't portal. Where not is he going? Portal. Okay. <laughs> how much, how many hooves does he have? It's covered up on the cast. Two. Uh, I'm sorry about that. One. I can't fix it right now. Can you fix two. it right now? Yeah, I got you. All right. This is going to be close. I think, I think you should get winner's should. bracket, though. I think yeah. you should. Yeah. Nice. And he didn't die. I mean, he just played just consistent. Does he have a feather? No, he's just... Uh, oh, Save. he's had stopped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're mind. like, right. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit uh, confused. <laughs> Good shit, Corny. Yeah. Honestly, really by dead. about a minute. Yeah. Yeah, how do you feel, Cap? Uh, it, I mean, real time, I did pretty good. So you're gonna have to start disputed in the losers bracket, dude. Oh come on! Yeah. Now. Oh god. <laughs> I have Dan in my bracket. Don't forget. Oh, true. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> I have multiple Australians in my bracket. That's oh, unfortunate. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reminder: We're giving away a gup. So type exclamation point gup in Shut the chat. Shut the hell to up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit yeah we'll give it away at the end of the stream Chad don't worry you'll get your chance well done from Corny and I mean, nobody's out okay. mm -hmm. um, well, all right. Cap and Waxy will just be in the losers bracket and they will have another chance to redeem themselves yeah you'll see them in what is it, like yeah. two loadouts from now I think we're going to do the winners bracket first and then losers so so you guys got me casting for the next two loadouts oh man yay uh... yay no one said yay yeah I, I i don't know about that <laughs> what up corny and waxy hello yo what up? so um tell us a little bit about your run what, what happened <laughs> Holy what shit. the fuck is that 28 there? God damn. What do you mean? <laughs> cabbage <laughs> things. Just cabbage things, yeah. Uh, That's 10 the points. Run, yeah. The run, <laughs> the run was very funky. A um, little bit of up and down. I'm feeling like really, really sloppy on some executions and some stuff. But with those minds, you kind of got to, you know... Uh, so I really went for the slow start, tried to accelerate. It was very sluggish because only two goat hooves, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, once I got the first band, I was like, and, and the watches, I was just like, okay, we got to go. And I was just going and going. And then the, the two plus fives that I had were just, 
it, it grinds me so much <laughs> on those plus fives. I just, that's all I can say. Oh, you would have had it, bro. Holy, I, wa- <laughs> holy waxy. God damn, bro. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, what else can we say? Did everybody go for the, how, like, did it, did everybody go for the stompers in some way, shape or form? Okay. No, no. no. There was Just a stompers you. again? <laughs> and I missed and it cauldrons. again? The moon is called her into a lap. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I miss every stomper, dude. It's it's a scary one to pick up, though, because, like, you had the three bands, and yeah. you would have had a pillar skip, but you wouldn't have been able to really use stompers during the fight. Yeah. So it's like... I, I scrapped. I tried. How did you guys... How did people skip, or were there no skips? Like uh, so... You charge the pillars, and then you go up. Yeah. Yeah, if you charge the two pillars to 100%, you actually get sent up. So. What? <laughs> New tech. What? New tech discovery. Yeah. yeah, making a video about it soon. Yeah. 100% <laughs> consistent pillar skip. Yo, dispute it. They're like spamming you in chat. Yeah, your your audio is fucked, yeah. I guess. I don't oh, think they're going to stop spamming until I tell you. It's through so. us, so. Might be just your stream. My bad. Yeah. Mm. Not are. bad. I'm going oh. into like being against cabbage and cap as soon as i lost that first plus five i was like okay well it's yeah don't worry about it i plus five on stage four uh, to the blazing uh, larva oh which i was almost unfortunate. did that oh, really? yeah. i almost did that Got and then else. and then on the moon please never do this anyone do Ooh. not charge design pillars with you in between the cliff and the pillar yeah did you fall? i almost you. fell off i almost <laughs> yeah, fell off you did i, I saw off. that i fell off yeah <laughs> Is it good though? No. Chat. How's my audio? Can I fix it? It sounds good in Discord. Yeah. Okay. Sounded like my headset after I dropped it. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> They're telling me it's fine. This saying is better. I think we're good. Okay. We got GG's corny and cabbage. The GG. winner bracket. Wow. Congrats. Let's see. I'll see you, gents. On Big clap. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, I'll see you in the finals. So I'll see you in the finals, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Night. Oh, um, I think we're just going right. to set up the next bracket then. I try to am... get everyone in there. Yes. Hold on. We have everyone but disputed, which is fine. All ready to go. Dope. I have to do some back end stuff for a second, so in the meantime, cabbage. Chat. Yeah. Oh no, you go, you go. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm really curious. Like out of the items that I picked up, because this is this is meta, you know? Like out of the items that I am about to tell you, what did you have any way, shape, or form? Did you get a goat hoof? You did get go go to right? three of them on stage one, yeah. Okay, then a crowbar, Ooh. the the ice band drop, beautiful. I mean yeah, yeah. The, the, he just went fast. I just walked. Yeah. See, yeah, I was yeah. debating on getting the goat hooves or the crowbars, and I went for the crowbars. I, I at the end of the the stage one, I was like, "Fuck! I probably should have just got the fucking goat hooves." That's like, fine fucking with the good minds. With the yeah. good minds, you yeah. can do that. You need yeah. to watch this run back because you're on really good pace, but on stage five, you spent like ten extra minutes looting and like scrapping, and you were basically at the same point as Cap, but he just went really. On he was like ten minutes faster. I was already two plus fives in, and I was like, fuck, I mean, I need to see if I can at least get some kind of movement or something, so I just kind of, I don't know. But but maybe, like, that's a thing, you know, we we underestimate the the time sometimes that it takes to simply charge two pillars and go, you know? Yeah, it took like four minutes. Definitely, definitely a mindset, could have set up with more speed beforehand, but I, I really... Spend ten minutes to scrap and look for a skip, you know. I yeah, know. yeah, I got that's, that. That's also why I stayed around because I was looking for some sort of skip, but yeah. there was there was hardly any equipments that I found or anything. I was did, just did, hoping. Did, there did y'all open be... lock boxes? Void lock boxes? No, oh, no, that's a waste of time. I was <laughs> yeah. I was trying to find them to see if we could find if I could find a fucking a space uh, is safe or space yeah or that's what i was looking for too there was a poly loot and what was the other key box it was a uh, all right yeah. all right all right right uh we're ready for the second loadout with dan goji disputed and ready so disputed Ooh. if you're ready um 
<laughs> go in your He's cell. Ready. Okay. Into yeah. the dungeon. And the rest of you guys, Cabbage, uh, Corny, and Waxy, we'll see you guys. Yeah, I'll leave. Yeah. We'll see you guys in a few. Yeah. Yeah. Just leave right. or something. But... Race, do you have a link to the multi Twitch, or do you just have them? Uh, I'll closed? have I'll have a link for you. Right, right now, cool. hold on. I had to, I have to like reset up everyone every time. So. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Um. We should be good, Cap, Beautiful. if you want to go tell them that they're ready to start, and then we'll start up. Okay. Here we go. Loadout number two, chat room. So, again, um, this is our second group, right? And so the winners from this group, the two winners from this group, will fight the two winners from last group, so Cabbage and Corny. So... And then the two losers from this group will go fight Waxy and Cap. And here we go. We're already starting up. Hopefully everyone does like the, uh, the tournament format this time around. It was a... Not only did we have to scramble last minute because we realized we had so many people on the schedule able to do the tournament stuff. Um, but we changed our whole format for this thing. Very last minute. Very last minute. All right. So... It was uh, it was a little bit of a scramble. Hello, where is Dan? Uh, I I told him he could go, and then he started mumbling. So I don't know. He's starting. And then he went deafened. Oh, okay, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> so this loadout, uh, like the last one, is a little bit odd for like I guess what you consider like a meta loadout. Um, we have flurry, large blink, and arrow rain. How do you feel about that, Cap? Yeah. I yeah. mean, <laughs> I mean, it's it's just a worse mobility skill than phase blink. Um, Flurry's okay, but especially when you're trying to go fast and you're not getting as many items, it's it's tough because you're probably not going to find that much crit to scale past strafe. And arrow rain is actually probably the second worst skill in the entire game. So what's the first worst? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? What's <laughs> what's your guess? Because <laughs> oh, I think it'll probably be correct. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's a few. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I do hate myself some some polar mines, but I don't think they're up there. They might be third worst. There's saw, by the way. Saw watch. Even a bungus, not too bad on stage one. And this is actually Ooh. a really good start. The saw yeah, can help you put out the first couple teleporter bosses just easy peasy. So. Yeah, extremely easy, which we saw in the the double saw loadout of last race where everyone was super breezy getting through the teleporter and then yeah. I didn't have it and was not breezy. <laughs> well, you had like so two items. I, I still don't know what. Yeah, you were I so just caught in my head. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everyone got in their own head just, the same uh, yeah, way. That was all like, it was. You watched like, it back, You guys right? were right. We yeah i did it oh, was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny but like you said it like we we could have all just easily gotten through that run if we just weren't in a race but yeah i mean all these racers just have so much on them there's three other people in this case seven other people yeah. that are racing against them and they're trying to come out on top so it's a mountain big, of stress good luck honestly. to them like it's we lot. all get it it really right? is like everyone watching is like yeah like we understand that they're they make a mistake when they're trying to go fast or whatever. It's just heartbreaking at the same time. It's yeah. just like, oh man. It's tough. It's really tough. So honestly, the people that have the uke are my people favorite right now. Too. Nice. Also, Ruddy doesn't have the saw, unfortunately. The two people who have the uke do not okay. have the saw. So <laughs> like I don't know, maybe the uke uh you can nice. Is There's even a red wipe, which isn't too bad. No, which not uh, bad. Disputed has. I think that's one of those items that isn't like as good early, which it is good early, but it's not as good as it is when you're on the moon and you're like either walking towards yeah. a, a pillar skip spot or the pillars themselves or like exactly you're dodging pizza or something. I think that like those situations help a lot. Which is one value. main reason that I went into that hoof printer on the rail gunner run because. Just mm -hmm. getting guaranteed mobility on stage one, it's it's so hard to pass up because it can save so much time. And I was saying it uh, last soda, that was exactly what I would have done too. I was out of like yeah. looted up, gotten a lot of speed early. Survivability. 
saving time on routing it, it's mm-hmm. so beneficial getting that speed early on and it looks like uh ruddy is the first one done with the beetle queen with goji right behind him and so. ruddy's oh no so yeah ruddy and dan have the gore stone which oh that's quite I an think advantage that they can as well loot the entire stage i don't know how early they hit tp i know ruddy got his gore stone second item so he could have uh, probably hit tp sooner Okay, I think we're doing winner's bracket first. Yep. Yep. So that's you, Cabbage. Good luck. Yeah, you're up. Next. <laughs> so I have to play okay. Mando. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you low rolled. <laughs> yeah, I did low roll. Should have just done better. Oh, man. It's interesting. Oh, void it... cradle. Oh, that's a safer spaces. spaces. That's a polar skip right there. Boom. We're in. Almost. I mean, they're gonna get like two speed items. It'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, just the one I mean, red whip is enough. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. So yeah, as long as they find the red whip, then guaranteed pillar skip right away. I mean, which is so nice. It. That's Boom. that's something that I mean, we saw three of the racers just waste so much time trying to find a pillar skip in the last loadout. Mm-hmm. We, we just were able to get the spaces. It would have been totally worth the time, but again, just the routing and using it to your advantage and being efficient with it is so important for these. That's crazy. Yeah. How like, like, is it's easy to think like, oh, I just want to do like the events of the stage correctly, right? Like get the loot and do the teleporter. But the yeah. just every second you're walking the wrong way or like whatever, like, I don't know. It's mm-hmm. it all adds, it adds up, up so much. Mm-hmm. A That's lot. A, another thing that like, it's so much pressure on the racers that play, dude. They're just like, oh, every mm-hmm. second of mine is being either wasted or like is good. And yeah. sometimes I can't tell which. And I'm just like here, like, <laughs> okay. Then you get in your head about that. And then, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a mess. There's a scrapper and a key printer on stage two. And there's a void seed. So we could see a, a potential void key run coming here. I think so. That which would be really good. Really too. mix things up. Everyone also everyone, usually people don't get the same amount of keys, and then if they do, maybe yeah. they skip a stage with a key, and there's a lot of variability that can come with that. But this one, those loadouts, where they're gonna loot obviously a lot more than the real gunner one, obviously. So yeah. Um, but everyone also got the saver spaces, which is also really good. So everyone does have a pillar skip. Everyone has the whip with it as well. So, so that's kind of one thing checked off their list. Just like, hey, we got that done. Um. Just kind of like yep. looking for damage and mo- sorry, mobility now. I yeah, see. now it's less stress on finding equipments for pillar skips and more just like I'll get what I can and mm-hmm. probably get more void items because they're powerful as shit. And this loadout needs damage. So, <laughs> and like we were, the Yuke is a really good start. Oh, yeah. Like we were saying earlier, just like stage five, always looking for like a an equipment, just like where's that skip? Like, yeah. It's just gone. Especially as the stages progress, yeah. It's like more and more that you need to look around for equipments or void cradles. And then the stages get bigger and bigger as you wait longer. It's it's tough. Getting that early spaces is huge for them. Speaking of which on Ruddy's screen, the um the seed is almost dead. And it looks like Dan is actually activating the boss within the seed, which is good okay. if the boss gets killed by it it's bad if the boss gets uh corrupted so he needs to be a little bit Let's careful sure dan doesn't get glooped here he should be good yeah too. nice and it's done Smart. that was good from dan how many void stocks do we have in the seed it doesn't look like many we have two cradles so far that i see mm-hmm. oh and a potential so they don't have any money from this void seed which is Kind of rough. I would have definitely preferred void stocks over the void potential. Personally, I don't so like you're void able potential, to loot more. <laughs> yeah, it's just like usually a it's a, a white, white item. Shop. It's a yeah, white item. It's like Uh-oh. okay, thanks. There's an Ready ATG by the way. took some damage. I think oh, he yeah. fell off and then... to watch. Yeah, that is not good. He I think he was running run. from the uh, vagrant or something. I don't know. I'm yeah. theorizing. Oh, oh yeah, it's kind of nice good. though. With the flurry combo, Goji looking okay, he's fine, he's not gonna get glooped. Good. Um, yeah, the ATG on Goji, they're looking really nice right now. 
As long as they don't throw right now. Okay. Uh oh, oh, Jesus, Goji oh. is scaring me. <laughs> I'm so scared to cast a curse, people. There was a horrible streak when I was casting with Disputed Racing. I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> like, I think Goji must have had scrimmed a lot more with the... Uh, either they got lucky with the spacing on that, or they practiced mm -hmm. a lot with this shift because Ooh. they knew, like, the range of it. Oh, there's just a resonance. That's and they still might not take it because it's the crit might be the still crit, be I better. <laughs> I mean, Honestly, it's actually, a way to get through the stages, but I, don't, I think the crit's better. The backup mag might actually be better because you can That's not bad either. do the double jump and Mythrix with it. Oh, they they so want to take the red item, but I don't think it's worth it. Dan they was hovering the over the disc. Oh, that's tough. Lysate it, cell. It's kind of. Oh, it looks like, like uh, why would you disputed. take a lysate cell? Dan oh. took a lysate. What do I mean, you do with the second arrow ring? Listen, arrow ring's about to pop off, dude. You don't even understand. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you ever take a Lysate cell on Arrow Rain Huntress? That is... I, I think he's kicking himself over that. Dan, I don't think, should have taken the Lysate. That, that's a bad call. We'll have to ask Any equipment that, build is now kind of just off the table. Honestly, equipment that's builds not... are stronger for this loadout than other ones, yeah. just because like there's more of a reliance on it. Yeah, it's kind of like the blight runs where, like, if you find a good equipment that you can get carried on, you're going to keep Ooh, it. ATG and... right here next to the teleporter as well. Everyone should yep. find that. That's so good. There's another I... crit glass next to that vent next to TP as well. There's also void crit out of the other void cradle, which not going to happen. Dope. They should take that for sure. <laughs> yeah. Take the lysate and the void crit. Oh, void items are good. So you take them all the time. Dispute yeah, is getting true. his crit now. I don't know if he's going to pick it up over the saw. He's a good amount of crit. It's a good saw fanatic. So he's taking it though. This is a very interesting run. Yeah. Um, it's, it's looking pretty solid. I think they still need mobility. They don't have a void keys, unfortunately. Mm. Dan's gone. All right. Dan lightsight, out so. first. Interesting. He, did he get any crit? He didn't get any crit. Oh. Oh, he took the backup mag out of the uh, out yeah. the potential, and then I don't know. Hmm. Was there another one? Goji scrapping. Yeah, oh yeah, there, there was, was the crit Goji from the potential too. and the vent next to the TP was another crit, which definitely would incentivize getting the crit over the backup mag resonance disc. I think Just starting to build that up. Resonance disc on disputed, which I. <sighs> If they get an FMP build, maybe, but I don't know. I mean, it might help through the stages. It could be good it's AOE. just not going to help yeah. for Mithrix, that's all. Yeah. It could be really beneficial if they start struggling through the stages and needing AoE that they don't have, because they have, what, one Will-O-Wisp? I mm -hmm. think everyone's AoE is just a single Will-O-Wisp. Oh, I guess the, the Yuke, though. No, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, the disc comes and helps dispute it out, but we'll see. Ready took the disc as well. Oh, okay. I don't know. I think maybe like stage four and five, if they can get enough AOE for the disc and have it like proc a couple times, maybe on something. I mean, actually, stage five, yeah. they could shoot the rocks. The rocks is a free activation. Yep. So if stage five is tough, then that would bail them out pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's a question of do you want that to help you or do you want added crit for the entire run for example yeah right? it's exactly. it's hard it's hard me and this beer were just talking about that last loadout mm -hmm. about like the um, the effect of one damage item and how much effect it has over the course of like a whole run so yeah and this is kind of a weird decision i don't know where i would go with it but goji took the watch instead of the energy drink hmm. out of the try shop which I mean, I understand that you need to get damage, especially with this loadout, but it's so scary not having uh -oh. mobility. Uh-oh, Dan. Oh, Dan. Dan just what blinked Dan? off Did the he... side of the stage. Full blink, oh. straight out in the open. I I just watched it happen. Oh, no. Oh. He, did he have arrow rain up? He could have... I don't know. His lysate cell? I don't know. I... <laughs> his lysate cell. <laughs> I, I think he just used both <laughs> on the boss, walked away, oh. and blinked straight off the side rough <laughs> maybe like maybe he could have looked up and tried a shatter spleen that is really amazing dude 
Oh now, God. With listen, the, Oculorhead, the Lysate the Arrow Rain with Chris. Shut up. Shut <laughs> it, up. It's, it's going to be amazing. That? It's 0. 0.6 second bleed duration <laughs> from the 0. 0.2 Pro coefficient of Arrow Rain, by the way, chat. So it's if up. you want a 0. 0.6 bleed <laughs> duration, man, you, you got it. Yeah, but it <laughs> hits so go. often, dude. <laughs> At least with Flurry, it's what? 0. 0.7 <laughs> times 3, 2.1 seconds? But this is very good for Goji specifically, good. who has a lot of uh, crit mm. now. Like, that's going to be about 26%, right? And then that's just AoE yeah. for, like, the whole run. That's really good. Mm. Yeah, AoE too. So Resonance Disc really just wasn't the call. I mean, they have Yuke. They have the Shatter Spleen AoE, the Will-O-Wisp. The Resonance Disc was just, like, a I need the red item kind of call, I think. Mm -hmm. And I actually do really like Goji's position. Like, we see the Ocular HUD on... Uh, ruddy with the shatter swing potential but i think the saw just building up so many bleed stacks and then trying to be able to hold on to, to that him. with the yeah. crit that you have is really nice it is really nice. i think that could be better off than the ocular hood actually it's tough to say because they both have like a very similar cooldown and you're both bleeding a lot yeah. with either now so mm -hmm. point is both are fine though um yeah both are totally fine especially with yeah. this build both Ooh, really pair well and honestly, even the scythe that's like on the same ring as the teleporter that Dan just found is, oh, is yeah. pretty good. That's just that's nice. a little bit extra crit. Adaptive chest on Raymond Daniels. You got to watch. Hopefully he won't break he that one too. Break. <laughs> is there what another is printer there? who just walked past? What is that? I don't know. Nothing good, like a brooch or something? Yeah, brooch. Yeah, it's a brooch. Okay. Disputed doing the adaptive, skip the watches. Mm, there was a feather he going, in this. A feather in there. Oh, he uh, got a feather at the end. Funder. Oh, he tried to go for the crowdfunder actually, which could have been a really good call, honestly. He was he's trying to go for crowd it. Funder. You yeah, know what? Because he's done that before. For the feather is nice. He's actually been in a race before where it was a scrim, I think, and he um got a crowdfunder out of adaptive chess and it won him the whole thing. And that's yeah. exactly what he was looking for too. I Just mean, a honestly, bit of crit with Crowdfunder Shadow Spleen is really nice. Regardless, really happy for him that he accidentally pulled yeah. a feather, though, because that's really good. Yeah, that was a really nice mistake. <laughs> and on to Grove. Looking okay. It doesn't seem too crazy. Nothing too crazy is happening right now as far as the build, like where it's at damage wise. It's okay. Yeah. They're still, I mean, Already this is just kind of a hard one to build up, you know? Like, they're going to need a lot yeah. more things before this one starts going crazy. I really wouldn't stress too much about going fast with this loadout because, mm -hmm. again, the top two go to the, the winner's bracket and bottom two still just go to the loser's bracket. So, like, if you're able to just play consistent, I mean, the best thing we saw, we saw Corny do that. He was just extremely consistent, didn't die, didn't have, like, a crazy fast run, but the fact that he wasn't pushing himself too much got him into the winner's bracket. So yeah, if absolutely. they're able to just play consistent, get the items they need, and not really get in their heads that they need to push forward extremely quick, it could be big. Also, I just Goji want to point out... as well. Oh, really good on Goji. Um, just want to point out, Arrow Rain, it does not work if you place <laughs> it on an enemy midair. Okay. So yeah. you have like I saw Dan, he was trying to place it on the vagrant, but you have to place it under the vagrant because the air rain has like no hitbox like that. So And then it doesn't reach high enough. Yeah, also. So then <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> There's a mod that lets you place I think yeah, Nux yeah. made it actually. Oh, you can it? place arrow rain on flying enemies. Amazing. I don't know why that's not Gearbox, please. Gearbox. Can we place Arrow Rain on the flying enemies? It's weird because like guys. there's other skills that you can, like like captain's abilities yeah. and stuff. Um, yeah, orbital strike, Diablo. Uh -huh. It's they just like chose not to it was have that just, feature. It was too early on, I think. Arrow Rain is like one yeah. of the first abilities and they just forgot. Yeah, it shows. Yeah. <laughs> Vagrant for the boss. I think Dan's going too quick. I'm scared for Dan. Well, I think what happened was is just that plus five. And you know, he's like, you know what? I'm going to just yeah. gamble on going fast here. I don't get eliminated immediately. I go to the loser's yeah, bracket if true. I lose. So might as well just maybe try. 
might as well push as hard as possible and if it pays out and if luck is on your side then you get in the winner's bracket but if not you're fine mm -hmm. so yeah that's fair there's a what is that red item on ready's screen it was out of a chest oh, i mean he didn't pick up um, immediately so it wasn't that good is it like an idp or something i don't know i can't tell Point is, um, Reddy's waiting to pick up that red item because he hasn't really looted the stage yet, and he he knows that he's gonna mm -hmm. loot up the stage a little bit more. And he's like, maybe if I just find a recycler, I can get something, and it's like gonna yep. potentially be oh way better. God. Oh, Goji! Goji, Goji blocked yeah, it. Just blocked with the spaces. <laughs> oh my god! They got saved. <laughs> They're scaren me with their uh, the it way. They're IDP. running from okay. vagrants. I... <laughs> I know, like this whole run. It's so hard because we're so used to the the phase blink where you just leave, but now you have just this single long blink and it's brutal it, sometimes. It's the worst feeling when the vagrant is like exploding and you look down at your single blink and there's like six <laughs> seconds left on it and you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? It's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. There's a fuel cell on Ruddy, by the way, so oh, really I say... Good. Proving to be not a good call because Lysate with their rain sucks because their rain sucks. So one undisputed as well. Nice, good. That was at the very top red chest. There was a try shop next to it. I don't think disputed went up there, so maybe he found it somewhere else. Ooh, maybe a second fuel cell then to make Lysate even worse. Yeah, he didn't open that one yet. Nice. Oh, he's actually not going to go for the fuel cell though. He's going to get a predatory instead. Okay, that's actually not a bad. Not call. bad. More crit, more attack speed, more bleed. Mm -hmm. He has a scythe good. and a pred now with the shadow flames. So that's fifteen percent extra crit. Yeah, it's a yeah, that's IDP, nice. the red item. I think Chad yeah. said that already, but not amazing. But it's good survivability. It might help next stage. Who knows? But that's yeah. all it will help for is just next stage. Oh, there's two fuel cells on this map actually. There's one low and one high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Dan on to stage five. Really good, real pay, real time pace. He just has that unfortunate death, but other than that, he's been playing pretty good, I think. Goji also right on Dan's ass. Here he's coming. Yeah. And disputed on his way. This is a close one. This is a really close one. Red is a little behind but i think goji is a lively like, way if we had to look at um like where we're at right now i think they're in the lead by a long shot though right or not well dispute it's close yeah disputed it, and goji that's the race but goji has so many items he has four white scrap if there's a good printer goji has three crit glasses they're looking really good for mythic wow. sandwich oh yeah disputed's Nowhere near Goji's level then. Goji, that's so much bleed. That's just so much bleed. And then also potential saw tech opportunities. They're looking honestly really good. Oh, we we have to keep in mind though that the speed had started a minute later, I believe. So their times are a little mm, bit off. So the speed's mm. a slight bit ahead. But not on items. And not the items. items matter so much for Mythrix and Man, Goji's looking really good for it. As long as they can successfully do a house skip without fumbling it, mm -hmm. that could that could really change things around. But really good survivability. And not really good survivability, but good enough survivability. They have a feather. They have serious faces. I feel like that's yeah most of what you need. Goji though. did no speed, pass though. up the energy drink for another watch on stage three. So they're looking for damage. They're feeling <laughs> slow. Then that's probably the reason. But that was crazy damage. I mean, Shadow Swain on a Construct is... Yeah. <laughs> is auto AoE. And there is spare drone parts in the cave oh on God. stage four. The one that the everyone else back? left. Dude. Holy. Ooh. Okay, so Ruddy okay. next stage is going to start looking for drones here, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Ruddy also just got more crit. If Ruddy is able to hit TP... As fast as possible next stage. He needs to leave though. He needs to leave. Because this real time is looking rough for Ruddy. But if he's able to just hit TP quick. And then find like what? Two drones? He's looking really good as well. It is great. 
It's just right at the entrance to the cave down there. Wow. Yeah, right above the TP. It was like right there in the shrine. I don't know We're how gonna... many hits of the shrine he needed, but. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to tell the speeded and he's going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here is disputed actually hitting the rocks um, and using the resonance disc here to yep. actually help clear out the seed because each rock Smart. counts as a kill. Really for good it. play. Let's see if these are worth it. He does have spaces, so should be needle tick is out pretty quick. Fine with Huntress. It's not going to be insane yeah. though. There are two more void cradles though, so this should be. I mean, statistically, this is probably worth it, right? Yeah, like, yeah, I think you have to, especially with this loadout. It's it's scary not to. Another needle tick? Okay. If I mean, one it's of still these are bad. a polyloot or a plasma shrimp, it's just so much extra bleed, so much extra damage. Three needle tick. But they're all <laughs> needle tick, so... I mean, that's still a lot of needle tick <laughs> it's damage. Good. And a soul bound. Oh, a soul Dude, bound. Where Was is the FMB? FMB? There might have been oh somewhere, God. actually. I don't remember. I, I, I feel like... I don't am I thinking the last FMB. loadout? Yeah, I don't it was know. definitely one last loadout. Okay. Damn. If dude. the FMP was there, it's actually the residence disc no, build. <laughs> I was it was so close to happening, oh, dude. With the fuel cell. Oh man. That's crazy. That is insane. I really wish he found it. Or if there was one or something. Man. That breaks my heart. We're always so close. Disputed oh is boy. off though. Disputed's on the moon. Uh, Disputed wow. does know the uh, the host skip very well, so we'll see um, how fast he gets to do it though. Yeah, pretty solid mobility for it too. Disputed, I mean, he doesn't have the best build, I don't think, but he has a very good build, and his real time is looking very good as well. Goji does still have a lead, clearing out the seed, but I think once once Goji is done with the seed, he'll also leave. So this could be. A very close race for first and second here. Goji's looking and Rook good. Is also I mean, not out of the picture with the drone man. Like we were saying, I think Goji having as many items as they do is like. Yeah, they're looking. The like the acceleration the best, the best might just pull ahead of Speed despite Disputed's uh, lead there. Yeah. There's a healing drone on the rock bridge that Goji just passed. So I'm scouting for Ruddy here. If Ruddy can only worry about getting drones and not worry about that void seed i think he could be looking good but that void seed might tempt him too much mm -hmm. disputed going through mass he could have done the the headset host skip spot to just get a little further on the jump he had scrapped so he's looking fine. for soup stuff too he has five green scrap right now pretty good there's a there's wings Ready has wings. Oh. Okay. That's not too bad. I mean, it's going to save time. Yeah. But I don't know if... <laughs> it's tough to know if it's worth to take over... He had the ocular HUD. I don't know. Wings are nice, though. Watch printer? Where's the watch printer, Cabbage? It looks Did like Raymond this... Daniels oh, himself find it? That's five white scraps, so he's not really even looking at a soup right now, anyway. Mm. It looked greenish. Ready to get in the healing drone. Ready's going to clear the entire void seed, which is going to slow him down. If you want to know tick that how to do know. the safer spaces host skip, make sure you're watching a speeded right now. He is almost up. He needs just one more. It's like uh, if you've ever played yep. Portal and you just like preserve your momentum through portals, that's exactly what we're doing here. So, yep. It seems to look and Goji the right actually way doing the really good moon movement that we've seen Cabbage do in the past where. He just hops from one host skip spot to another to mm -hmm. traverse the moon quick. Wait, there we go. A good job, Disputed. Speed is up. And Dan is going uh, again yeah. all into the watch printer. <laughs> Dan does have the plus five. No one else has a plus five yet. But yeah. this could be good if someone like unfortunately special. dies. <laughs> yeah, just go all in watches and then lose. Oh, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Just send I see it. the damage on Disputed. It's, it is damage. He wasn't it's really using his ocular head, and then he used it a little bit too late uh, when he had yeah, already done damage, late. and then so Mythic's obviously jumped, so it kind of wasted the HUD there. If he used it now or right when he landed, it would have been good. There he goes. Goji, I think, gonna make it up right now. Hopefully Goji clean. doesn't mess this up. Uh, I know they did last time they were in the race. 
Come on. Yeah. Dan yeah, that just looks now good. finished his watch collection. That looks good from Goji. Let's see Goji. And they're up. Please nice. just don't. It's so rough when you mess it up on the last jump. I know. You're so going, you're going so but fast. They got it. Yeah. They got it though. Really clean. Good job to the Razors. They're playing great. They're all doing their. Speedy using the ocular HUD. Uh, I mean, but look at Goji's damage. It's crazy. It, they're they're chunking like big time. <laughs> Disputed, actually. I think, could have looted a little bit more. I think this is one of those loadouts yeah. where the damage is actually just so low that looting more would just save you so much more time. Yeah. Potentially, I mean, anyway. Also, the drone man build with Ruddy, it's looking okay. He did get an equipment drone as well. I don't know what's inside of it. Maybe, oh, actually, the ocular hood. I think Ruddy put the ocular hood inside of the equipment Ooh. drone so that when it procs the ocular hood, it's going to crit the drone man shots as well. Yeah, which, which is, is actually, actually pretty smart. crazy actually a really smart play i was i was kind of wary about choosing wings over hood but that's why and it was yeah. a really good reason good job really smart with, play with how low the cooldown is for the equipment drones too that's a lot of extra yeah. damage i think one third or something of your cooldown is what they have so <laughs> <laughs> something crazy like that disputed's doing his classic uh, hide behind the ramp during phase two tech yeah it's very scary it is scary He's, he's he's he needs to practice phase two i think i mean he's it's, not doing bad though he's, he's still consistently outputting damage at least but he's there's been races where here. oh i mean it's he it's been he the moment hid. where it, it uh yeah. was the end of his run basically and goji playing more aggro they're clearing out everything pretty quick using saws on the golems which is a as good long strat. as they keep survivability up Ruddy almost done with phase one as well. This is going to be close to see who gets into the winners. I think, I think Disputed gets passed. I think the Drone Man might just take over for Ruddy and swoop the... Look at that. Look at the Drone Man. Like, I know there's just Ooh. one enemy, but they just melt him. Especially for phase two. Regardless, though, uh, everyone is playing very well right now. I want to yeah. see Dan's damage really with good pace. 17 watches when he gets in there. <laughs> he has 17. Dude, imagine oh, he just hits the ground right there and loses all of them. <laughs> <laughs> just dies. I think he'd probably try to concede at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would. <laughs> Dan using his double lysate to actually skip faster. Yo! Dude. The f oh, he But failed. didn't make it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also, Arrow Rain stalls you less than Ballista does as yeah. well. So, another uh, reason why Arrow Rain is bad. God. <laughs> Alright, he'll get up now. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Disputed, still looking in the lead. Goji right on his tail. I don't know. It's so close, dude. This it is doesn't gonna... look like Goji's going for Sawtech. He's just gonna... They're just gonna try to... Which I'll put as much is damage. No, why did you why did you curse them like that? Uh, it's fine. Why do you it's say fine. anything? Dan sucks. It's fine. True, true. Goji was playing really good though, and what they still are playing really good. It's it's just tough because pizza is an equalizer, and even if you are playing good throughout the entire run, you can still just fuck up. What hurts too is the loss of those three watches. Now this phase is gonna take a lot longer. Yeah. So if Disputed can hold on, Disputed is doing well. He is doing, doing a lot really of damage, good. and he's in a phase really four. Consistent, he doesn't have the damage. ocular HUD for phase four, though. So uh, uh, we'll see what he does here. He's, he's obviously stay close. He has to stay close. Do they have anything that like is dangerous? No. Not they really. have ATGs. There's like a drone that they have. Okay. Disputed's looking good to take first here, then. And if he doesn't get hit by this man. orb. Careful. Oh, Goji. No. Goji with oh, the shockwave. So oh. Yeah. They lost their feather. And I, I I don't think they noticed when they were coming down and rough. That's painful. Ah, so brutal. Another and there we go. Reason why just the done. phase blink is so much more comfortable. Oh, yeah. I think if they all had phase blink, no deaths would have happened oh, at agreed. all. Not even a single, like, everyone no. could have been prevented by it. Yep. 
Every single one. Goji going for the arrow rain phase four skip attempt, but I think they're gonna go didn't... for the saw skip, actually. Mm. No, they're just gonna That's give you phase four, which is also fun. Yeah, they have saw for phase four, so not mm -hmm. horrible. Ruddy now finishing phase three as well. So it looks like we're gonna have disputed and ruddy in the uh in, in the, the winner's, winner's bracket. bracket. Yeah. Oh man. Wow. That was that was an interesting to, turn of events. To be clear, okay, because of the way the bracket works, <laughs> if someone loses this first initial like grouping, they can still appear in the finals. They just have to win mm -hmm. their two next uh runs. So get second or higher in their next two runs. Yep. Which is nice. <laughs> There's a lot of wiggle room for someone who didn't perform as well as Cap. they wanted to in the first loadout to still, uh, yeah, me. <laughs> to still come back, please, hopefully. So I'm going to be, strong. so it's going to be in the winner's <laughs> bracket. We have Cabbage, Corny, Disputed, and Ruddy. And then loser's mm -hmm. bracket, we got me, Waxy, Raymond Daniels, and Goji. Pretty yep. interesting. Very interesting. I need to set up some stuff. Yeah, between get that going. <laughs> next one and now. Ah. Let's see. I can pull in Dan. Probably just once Ruddy and Goji are done with theirs. I'll pull in the speed now, please. Yeah. Juggling so many windows. You don't okay. even know the half of it, brother. <laughs> I have to expand my Discord? Okay, we're good. Hey, Disputed. Hey. You, you got first. Hell yeah. He you did played really, really well. clean. Yeah. We were scared, actually, going into Mythrix because we didn't think you had a lot of damage. Um, but honestly, it it worked out so. Shatter Spleen Ocular Hood and then a last minute soul bound yeah. to keep it up. Dude, no FMP. The the fucking resonance yeah, so nice. would have been so sick. No, so, no okay. you played good. Shatter Spleen Ocular Hood yeah. is so good. I think you just you missed like. FMP. You missed like a couple extra crit glasses, which would have been nice with the Shatter Spleen. And then yeah. there, was, there was an item that only one person got and you would have loved to get. Oh, uh, was there a drone man somewhere? There was. Yeah. <laughs> on stage four in a shrine. Nice. Right above know, teleporter, yeah. I, like on the route. I duplicated my drones in phase four somehow. There's like that one yeah. dead, but I still had it up. Because they died yeah, to pieces. Does that work? Oh, just, okay. Yeah, it just happens. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, can you bring Ruddy in? <laughs> yeah. We get Goji in as well. And do we just pull Raymond Daniels out? Or do we let him play? Uh... I want everyone to play the first uh, loadout. Okay. For this one. Yo, Goji and Ruddy. Hey, yo. Goji, you broke our hearts. You did. Yeah, I'm sure I did. I got this, <laughs> man. You did extremely well. I, I, We really thought that you were going to just take first, like, for the entire loadout. Your build was insane. You had really good pace. Disputed did loot less and was just on better pace overall, so he ended up taking first, but... You had an extremely good build. You had the crit, the shatter spleen. Saw was really good to keep up bleed. It was really nice. Really good. And yeah. then Ruddy, out of nowhere, got Drone Man on stage four. And then <laughs> he actually caught up real time to you, Goji. Wow. And yeah. uh, I assume nobody else took plus fives. Uh, well, Dan is still in the run, and he has a single plus five. So why does he have a cabbage logo? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. on the, the wrong one right now. It's fine. Oh yeah, Corny's there too. Oopsie. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's Ray Dan's. You guys know where he is. It's fine. But yeah, Dan I... threw himself off the cliff on stage three with his blink and died. So that was his death. Damn. Did anyone go all into watches? What? Dan did. What? I didn't uh... do that. It was a watch print on Sky Meadow. Uh, Cabbage is probably yelling at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Get the watch printer. Yeah, I wasn't sure no, if but... it was worth losing the crit. 
Yeah, I it's a gamble, and I don't know. Dan is still kind of struggling. So, did we all take the crit over the uh, resonance disc? I took no. the disc. Not everyone. I oh. took the disc. Disputed and Ruddy took the disc. Damn. Oh man, seeing the times hurts. Oh, seeing the times <laughs> really hurts, man. I mean, yeah, real time, Goji, you you would be in the winners bracket. Yeah. Which is, I mean, it, it's nice, and I'm gonna say that it's really good because that's what happened to me as well in the last loadout. That our yeah. real times were winners bracket potential, but just a couple of unfortunate mistakes. Yeah. Fuck you up. Yeah, and it's tough. I the first mistake, I like did something that I like. Like, I looked the wrong way, and I used the blink the wrong way, and I was like, oh, that's something to learn from. And then after the yeah. first one, my arm started, like, shaking. <laughs> like, I was so nervous. I was like, man, this is, I yeah. have to save for spaces. I have damage. I just need to do phase three. And I was like, oh, there's a bunch of people watching, man. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> exactly. We were talking about that through the through the run. Like, it, it's so much stress for all the racers, and especially in a tournament where, there's seven other people that are going up against them, basically, and there's hundreds of people watching. Like it, it's tough. It's yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. But, but no, really good job. I, I mean, honestly, Dan played the worst, which obviously we see him finishing the fight now. But you three played really good, just all together, yeah. really good on on times. And even really Dan good, played good. Um... He just unfortunately had that plus five. And I think he slowed down after that. Of all the runs I've done in the gauntlet races, this is probably the one I'm most proud of. He did really oh, well. It was really good. A low 30s, arrow rain, flurry, default dash, huntress. Yeah, this is like the I mean, lowest DPS loadout really in the entire game. Arrow <laughs> is pretty good <laughs> yeah. with the spleen. Yeah, Dan took the lysate. Popping off. Took the lysate? That's crazy. <laughs> did anybody else we're... do the... Oh. Uh, Sorry, sorry, go. No, you go, you go. I was gonna say, did anybody else do the cool moon movement with the, no. uh, with no. the spaces? You were the only one. It was just you. Hell yeah. You did save a lot of time. So big dude. props on that. Mm -hmm. Did anyone yeah. else take wings? No, you're the no. only one. Oh. So everyone else play was saw cool. or Ocular Hood. Because you had the yeah. drone man, so you gave like the Ocular yeah. Hood to the, the <laughs> drone. drone man, and equipment like... drone, Ocular Hood. Mm. And you're like, we'll just save time and take wings, which was really, really smart. Really good play. Yeah, in hindsight, that ocular hub was probably uh probably would have been good to pick up. <laughs> yeah, I think I had three fuel cells and a soul bound. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's pretty good. Saw was a good call though too, because I mean there was still the shatter spoon play where you just stack up what thirty bleed stacks with a saw and then you just try to keep it up. But yeah, I don't know. There's so many fuel cells and stuff that maybe the HUD was the right play. Yeah, and I mean, who would have known we would have gotten the spleen? Yeah, exactly. And the fuel cells, so it's like, tough call. I uh, can bring Dan in now. Let me do some stuff on my end real quick. Hello, Dan, Dan is deafened, but I brought him in, so... Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Dan, you suck. Deafened. Just everyone be silent. <laughs> But yeah, that decides our our winners bracket, our full winners bracket. We got disputed and ruddy being added to the the four player winners bracket, and the top two of that bracket go straight to the finals. So, really big opportunities for you guys. So good luck. Are we playing next? Yeah. Yeah. Winners bracket. Winners bracket's are next. Up next. Yeah. Void feed. Get some water. Nice. Yeah, I need to do some. Edit in here, so give me a second. <laughs> Where is Dan? Someone I, message I him. Know. Fucking, what is he doing? <laughs> He's like, oh, they're not bringing me in. What's going on? <laughs> Fucking Dan. It's uh, always Dan, dude. But everyone, you guys did a really good job on that one. That was really good. So from now on, by the way, uh, we're going to be speeding up the the way the loadouts are a little bit more the once the top two are like for sure like undisputed winning um we'll end the loadout and move on to the next one because we have a lot of loadouts today so yeah. makes sense yep 
We have a lot to do. Ooh, yeah, I was dipping. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, we know. <laughs> my bad. So how was the run, Dan? <laughs> just, just sitting in my corner thinking about my watches. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I single, I single blink hosted, and then had yep. arrow rain that I didn't use to stop my momentum. Oh, so just, you did have it. That's what I, I was thinking. Like, I had you a got the fuel cell. cell. Yeah, yeah, the lysate cell. <laughs> you didn't even use it for like it's I one just, good use. <laughs> I just didn't uh. use it. I had an absolute brain fart. I was like, oh. I yeah, think you were just bad. so like stunned by like being thrown over the yeah. side. You're like, oh my I god. I went so far. <laughs> like, how did I go this far? What I. Oh, so many times the blink. Anyway, that's what I get. Bad play. GG, who won? I had to go. Disputed. not me. <laughs> oh, Dio? Nice. Yeah, disputed. Mm. Played really well, nice. just really quick. Didn't loot too much. Got what he needed and played a good fight. Shift off. Yeah, that was it. Nice. nice. And then Goji played really well as well. Had a better build. Would have been around same real time as disputed, but unfortunately two plus fives during the Mythrix fight. And then that allowed oh, Ruddy yeah. with his drone man build that he got on oh. stage four out of a shrine oh, I'd like was to able to, to pass them up. But yeah. I see. Well, my, uh, wait, what shrine? Because I got a desk plant, which is equally as good out of a shrine. On stage four. No, you got it out of a chest. Uh, was it a chest? It was. Okay. It was underground, but in a chant shrine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like right at the entrance of shrine. the cave. Yeah. Oh, like down with the tree mates. Okay, right. right. Center Ruddy's the, the only one who got that, so. Yeah. Yeah. GG. Well done, Ruddy. DJ, well done. Goji. Uh, I'll see you in Mando. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in Losers, dog. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys there, too. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're losers, but we can be winners. So. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I, I threw because I hate Veen. That's, that's the strat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, yeah. no, you guys are the real winners because... Winner's Bracket can skip a loadout, so we're actually losing out on content, and you guys mm. can get the maximum oh, true, out. Mm -hmm. dude. Yeah, we'll see yeah, you guys in the right. grand finals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who's racing now? Who's next? It is going to be Cabbage, Corny, Disputed, and Ruddy, I believe. Oh, hell yeah. In top right. two there, go straight to the finals. Yep. Bypassing the next loadout. All right, I think I'm ready on my end, so uh, Cap, you're still in with me. Um, yep. go assemble the the rest of them and make sure they're ready. The troops assemble. Yeah. All right. Peace out. Good luck. Good luck. No, See good you luck, soon, guys. All righty. So, chat room. This is where it starts to get really interesting. Now we're mixing up the uh, the players. So all the the gold. Uh, players on your screen right now are going to be facing off, and then the silvers are going to be facing off next one. Also, we have a Gup beanbag giveaway at the end of the stream, which is kind of a big deal. All right. Kind of a big deal. All right. They're all in their gamer holes, so just let me know when to tell them. Okay. Give me half a second, and I think I'm good. We're good. You're good? We yep. ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. We going? Yep. Okay. And here we go. I'm ready, chat room. You ready? So this is the winner's bracket, so we'll see. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Oh, I have the volume of someone's stream on. Oh, that's so loud. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I need to change some things. Yeah, same. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Let's get this Raymond Daniels guy out of my way. Oh, I like the cabbage skin on this one. The uh, the dark red for Voidfiend. I wonder what the difference is yeah, going to be bad. when he goes corrupted. Probably nothing. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> It'll be like a little darker, but yeah, that'll be it. Alright, so... Winner's bracket. This is... um, I don't know. I, I think... I'm not surprised by this. I, I guess I wouldn't have been surprised by anything in the winner's bracket, like any like group of people. But I guess it's always surprising mm -hmm. uh, regardless, you know, just because it's just like, yeah, man, cool. this, is, this is just cool that they all like won, you know? Yeah, like there was never like a certain group of people that we just knew was going to be up here. Like Cabbage is obviously well, one of the best Cabbage racers. So here, but... yeah, <laughs> so it's it's 
obvious to see him up here, but everyone else, like, I mean, everyone else isn't as consistent as Cabbage as being good at the game. So it's cool to see mm -hmm. who we got. Okay, so let's get to the stages on this one. So this is the first one of the day where we also have Aqueduct. So we have Pot Rolling as well. Do you think anyone's going to go for it? Oh, we oh, saw yeah. Sirens. Oh. Mm. Mm. I think we'll see some Pot Rolling. Maybe not if it's like super stretched out, like super long roll that needs to be done or something. But yeah, I think we'll see it. I mean, Voifin does good with anything. A Focus Crystal even is huge. We see that on Cabbage. Mm-hmm. But there's not much that needs to be gotten for Void Fiend to be quick, as long as you're comfortable enough with it. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, what if it's just one of those characters um, that feels like you just use anything? You know, like anything's yep. good, nothing's bad except really healing, I guess. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, I I think I've said this like when he first came out. Like he is probably the best well like all rounder survivor in the oh, game. Oh, for sure. He can do any proc build he wants. He can do any burst build he wants. Obviously mm -hmm. not as strong as like loader or something, but still like very successfully doing any build that he's given, which is very important for the races. Yep. So I mean, like, yeah, You're just being able to use anything you want. Like, all right, well. That's why you can go so fast too. There have been some really cool yeah. Void Fiend speed runs where it's just like you just go, man. I and like you I, just get like a little bit of speed and like a couple watches, maybe an AP round, and that's like even that's enough, which is crazy. There's a speed printer on stage one, by the way. Oh, the again. <laughs> so this might which be kind of rough, I, but especially yeah. on this map too. It was better last time when we saw it on um, Siphon Forest when there's usually just so many more items and it's like okay yeah. well i could stick around a little bit longer i could get more speed here but with roost it's like there's not really that much stuff usually so or in comparison mm -hmm. rather so. yeah and they already all picked up the focus crystal so it's like i'm gonna give up damage for speed which i do think is the right call like focus crystal is nice and getting damage is nice but we've seen just mobility take over a void fiend run mm -hmm. so much uh, it's tough, but I think just getting that speed, especially stage one, is so important. Can the tournament be one hour longer, please? Longer? <laughs> we have six loadouts. Dude. We'll see how long it is already. <laughs> We're halfway through, and it's two hours in. Oh my god! A little less than halfway through. Yeah, we're yeah. We're a third third. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a six hour event. I don't know what you want. <laughs> Hopefully not. I mean, listen, like I said before, we're going to speed up yeah. the loadouts a little bit, right? Everyone has played once today fully to the end of the run. So now that everyone's a little bit more comfortable, got their practice runs in, if we need to be like, okay, you lost, dude. We don't need to see your run. Like, we can <laughs> cut it. Yeah. Um. So. Oh, man, it looks like uh, the speed is printing speed, but he didn't want to lose that focus crystal, unfortunate. But it's okay. Yeah, it's just a gamble, yeah. unfortunately. Oh, a crit class that the speed got out of the shrine. I would have That's printed huge. the war banner for speed yeah. before I did that too, but oh, it's and there okay. it goes. No, no, no. You you keep crit. You keep crit. Uh, Even if that means getting one less speed. That no. That hurts, man. I don't, know. I don't like that. <laughs> he he could have easily even just yeah walked back to the printer before picking the crit up and getting another speed and keeping crit. So uh crit is so important on Void Fiend. I mean, I, I gave Dan a lot of tips on his last Void Fiend run because that cost him his last race. And it's really just utilizing Corrupted Form as much as possible. Literally as much and as And in the most efficient way as possible. So yep. always popping Corrupted Form right when the TP starts to make sure you just clear out the boss. You don't have to worry about anything because it's so strong. And just, yeah, any, any way to just increase the amount of time that you're in Corrupted Form is very, very, very valuable. Kevin so. going for the early pot roll and the hardest button in the game, uh, Wisp of Spawn. All right. The pot He's being is assaulted, rolling, rolling away. It's gone. gone. There's another pot there <laughs> uh, if he wants to try it later. But I'm hoping the other pot spot, wherever it is, is better than that one. 
Cause... I wonder if Cabbage was just like, I'll try to get it right off the bat, but if I don't, I'm not going to go for bands. I feel like he would do that. Especially I feel on like Void he Fiend. would do that. <laughs> no. Void Fiend can really just go. And Cordy's build is actually looking good then, because he has the hooves and he got the crit. The crits. The crit Let's is so go, nice, and he's Corey. the only one that has it. I wonder what happened. I mean, I guess it was in the shrine, so like, I don't blame everyone else yeah. for not going fully into it either. Oh, and then Disputed gets another crit. So not fully punished, oh. but he still, it would have been better but if he had two crit. crit. Two crit? Yeah. I know. <laughs> but yeah, not fully punished at least. We see Ruddy trying to roll pots as well mid-stage. It He's is trying dangerous. to do it as efficiently as possible. Like, this is the hardest spot. So it's like, if they can do it yeah. right now, just might as well, like, blah, blah, blah. But Yep. If not, it's okay. There's a couple backup pots there as well. There's a band for Disputed. Okay, so oh, I think if Cabbage is... finds that band, he's just not going to roll pots at all, probably. Yeah, and I there's think more speed on the stage, too, that Cabbage just got. Man, what is happening? Uh, I want people to TP. Disputed, I think, <laughs> is going to. I want Corny to TP. It's time. It's time. Already, too. Yeah, this look at very, that. Cabbage very is walking good setup. straight for it now. He knows. And they're like, fuck extra bands. I don't need it. We have crit, we have movement speed, and a band. Mm -hmm. Some of us are just like that. Like, the Railgun Run was like that. The Huntress Flurry Arrow Rain was not like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta you gotta know the loadouts, you gotta know the characters, and I think that's, like, one of the real challenges um, with these races yep. as well. Like, a lot of people think, like, oh, I beat Eclipse 8 before, like, it wouldn't be that bad, but it's like it's knowing all the tricks. It's knowing and being comfortable yeah. with all the loadouts, everything like the amount of time that goes into practicing everything and making sure you're good at everything uh, when it shows up is crazy. Because, like, again, these loadouts are homework. random, you know, like we're not saying like, oh, Cap's playing. So I guess we'll put in like Loader and Mander or something. Uh, yeah. We just roll some dice and we're like, all right, you're playing this today. And he's like, ah, fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And then it just happens to be NG per disputed every time. It's not a, yeah, I don't every know time. How it happens, it's but... just so weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, this is definitely loadout. They already have a guaranteed pillar skip, even though if they do just have the three hooves, it's a pretty slow one. So at least Cabbage has the extra energy drink on top of it. We see mm -hmm. disputed with four hooves instead of three. But this is definitely a very good position for all of them right now. As long as they're confident enough and comfortable enough with Void Fiend to yeah, we'll just see. start going. I mean, even with this much speed, I think they're pretty well off for Mithrix. It's not too much speed so that when they yeah. use their shift, they fly up to the top of the arena. But it's enough to like be comfortable with dodging, especially if they're in corrupted form and they can just kind of zip past them. Yep. I I really don't think anyone's gonna go for bands. Out of the people here, I don't know. Maybe Corny would. I think maybe he doesn't have the band yet. That's true. I think he would then. A sticky bomb. That's so nice. <laughs> There's a watch also on stage two that Ruddy has. Oh, the the other button is right here next to Corny. If he doesn't mess up this pot, okay. it'll be pretty easy for him then. It's a tricky one at first, but it's fine if you can get it down. Oh, looks like he's yeah. He's fine. See, disputed going for the other plate right now as well. I just don't think he I just, knows. I don't know. Plate is. I understand why Corny's going for it because he doesn't have the band, but I mean, it, it's just me. I, I feel like I'm more comfortable on Void Fiend than other racers might be, but it can be done without getting done. the pre bands for sure. But again, it's all about comfort levels. Everyone's at a different level with different survivors. So, Ruddy's gone though. Ruddy said, Ruddy's fuck done. the extra bands. He so is cabbage doesn't have a lot but good spawn items. on a scrapper might as well just get the free scrap there that's what void Ruddy's cradle thinking. at spawn on stage three and avoid seed disputed is struggling with this button if he only knew where the other one was and corny is kind of struggling with his own there's a vase on stage three and corny and got the pot printer. disputed no good he's job, gonna corny. lose the pot yeah, and disputed. See, this is this is why. This is why. Like, you already have the band. Don't and do now... this one. This one is just <sighs> painful, man. Yeah. I think if you just that, that's knew... minus two, probably two minutes for disputed right there. Which is not good. I mean, again, though, if no. he does lose this loadout, he still has the chance to play another one. Um, yep. It's not great position wise, but it's 
not the end of the world. Still and it's possible. Not, not even saying he's losing anyway. I'm just saying, theoretically, yeah. you know, someone could lose this yeah. loadout. <laughs> Disputed. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I mean... <laughs> I mean, now that Disputed has given up on bans, he's going to be ahead of Corny, because Corny's going to get bans. That's true. Unless he says screw it, because now he has the one ban, but at this point, he already opened the gate. He might as well. So... Wow. But yeah, the vase on stage three is huge. That is, I mean, they don't need any movement speed for an extremely quick pillar skip. They have a really good spot at the TP to just clear out the void seed, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. There's a void scent on the the void cradle that's on uh -oh. spawn stage three. Cabbage is struggling. Cabbage is getting blasted. Oh. He's okay, he's okay, but it is a little bit scary here. These uh, uh, yeah, beetle guards are like spawning it. like right on top of them. <laughs> the pests are out of the way now, though. He's doing the tech where you can, a lot of people don't realize this, uh, Void Fiend's Corrupted M1 goes through walls. So he was actually shooting the Beetle Queen through that little lip there on the little uh, bridge. Yep. And so he was getting the extra damage in. Very easy. Which is And really actually nice. really like Ruddy's build. Ruddy has a, a syringe, which I took a syringe over a watch in my last Void Fiend race. And I really do think it is such a strong play. Again, just playing around Corrupted form is insane. And having more shots with your Corrupted form is insane as well. So... I really there's, do like the, the syringe. There's also an argument to be made about uh, the upkeep of Corrupted Form with crit and also getting yep. into Corrupted Form faster because you're procking more crits. More attack speed. Yep. Yeah. So it, it plays in like multiple levels, just getting more hits out to keep Corrupted Form up, getting Corrupted Form back, dealing more damage in Corrupted Form. It's it's huge. And honestly, the War Banner just for being extra comfy for Ruddy. Mm -hmm. Getting through the TPs is nice. But yeah, everyone it's... should see the equipment try shop for the pillar skip equipment, so... Hopefully. Oh, uh, Disputed got double Beetle Queen because he took a little bit longer on the mm. stage, which is really Just rough. barely longer, too. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. And we'll see double Beetle Queen for Corny, but he has the three bands, so... Yeah, he has three. So it's not going to be, like, the Jaro's band AOE. too bad. Yeah. There is a printer. scrapper, I think, on this stage. There is. They it might have been last it. stage. No, okay, okay, cool. Okay, yeah. So yeah, they. I mean, fuel cell vase just handed to them. That's insane. Uh, cabbage just printed <laughs> I'm actually a fuel cell. Surprised. As well. Yeah, I'm surprised Cabbage is going to this void seed. There's a feather. Cabbage yeah, he has, has a feather. One. Wow. Yeah. It's somewhere here. <laughs> I don't know where, but <laughs> it's got to be around here somewhere, on this side of the stage. What do you think Cabot is looking for in the Void Seed? Plasma Shrimp Poly Loot. I mean, that's it. <laughs> mm. Not Wungus. Actually, I think he might be looking for a saver space for a bad. faster skip as well. Well, he has Vase, so. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah sorry. I completely blinked that. Yeah. Yeah. He got a Lost oh, Sears, Oh, he though. got Void Crit. Uh... Why? That was, yeah, that was, uh, I think that's even more, like, even worse than picking up a Wungus. That is horrible. Oh, was that a key box? Oh, shit. So everyone needs to find the key box this stage to get that feather. If they wait till oh, next really? stage, uh, they will not find it. Okay. Yeah, and then everyone has a key, okay? Okay. Oh, the void crit is so painful on Cabbage, though. I, yeah. he hates it. I hate it. We all hate it. <laughs> that is bad. I don't know if that was oh like a reflex God. pickup or what, but that was yeah. painful. Rough. <laughs> I mean, again, just only neutering your corrupted form <laughs> potential, <laughs> which is rough. This bleed on Ruddy, too. This is looking like a pretty good proc build for Ruddy uh, the, here. He's going to scrap some more. The Discord link is discord.gg slash risk of resources, actually. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ruddy has a DML. Did he choose to not take the vase? I don't know if he saw it. I don't know. Maybe he might be thinking, or he might be underestimating how long it takes to skip with Void Fiend. And he's probably like, well, I have a skip. Maybe. Yeah. It could have been that too. I, I don't know if he found it or not or what. Yeah, he he took the question mark. There was a wing and a vase in that try shop, and he took huh. the question mark. Do you think he could have misclicked or maybe just wanted something else? I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe. I mean, I, I, I think didn't he's look just going full it. fuel cell build. I okay. mean, he has four fuel cells now, I guess, with hey, some bleed. I'm hyped. Tentabobble. I like it. It's not horrible. I, I think like maybe he's what? probably. 
What? I like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a liar and a thief. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we knew that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so yeah, it's not a bad though. idea. I do think I would do this if it was a different equipment, maybe not for DMO. Yeah. But it was a risk. Dude, and there's a mocha was... printer on stage four. If there's a uh, ocular hut anywhere, that would be crazy yeah, as well. That is for sure worth. I would. I mean, they have way more than enough speed to make up time. I think with ocular hut, such the a crazy Mocha equipment printer for void field. It's really good as well. It's underground. I hope people see it. They might. There's so few Ready things on for sirens it. usually, though. So I'm pretty sure they'll find it if they're looking for anything to buy. So yeah. Potential think... molten perforator from the TP drop here. Potential someone uh, a woo skipping with void fiend. Yeah, uh -huh. come on. All right, they Let's got a rose bugger it. from TP. Not bad. That's not bad. I like that. Especially with void fiend, the added armor stacks are just insane. Yep. But yeah, the oh yeah, so ready actually has an extremely easy a woo skip, but everyone does have an a woo skip with their default M two that's uncharged. Mm -hmm. If the projectile flies through the hitbox, they can a woo skip with just that. But the DML is such an easy setup for it that I, I think we will just see Ruddy do it. The and maybe that's another reason didn't Ruddy find took any the DML. Equipment. Oh, that's rough. Why? Oh, that would be a good uh, catch from Ruddy, actually. But yeah, he didn't I, know I, I it do was, think that was a DML. Play. It was a question mark, right? Uh, Yeah, true. Okay, yeah. yeah he's an right. idiot. He just gambled. Uh, <laughs> he is a dumbass, but it paid off, I guess. <laughs> There's a Gubo on Disputed now. How did Disputed miss the try shop? I don't know. I'm really surprised. I, I think he just went right to TP after he um messed up the bands and he was like just oh, whining. He didn't it even through. get the void seed. No, he just kind of went. Or just yeah, okay. 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 The void seed didn't really give anything good, so that's okay. Yeah. He didn't get the key box though, which cost him a feather. So Recycler that was on the disputed. big one. Oh. Oh. Freon has the first equipment reroll. Uh, not horrible. Probably better for Corny's build. Or even Ruddy's. <laughs> yeah, shit, with the fuel cells. <laughs> <laughs> Just start blasting, dude. Yeah. Uh, Ruddy did lose a watch, which is pretty unfortunate as well. Mm. Not too big a deal, at least, but it is it is a good amount of damage gone, especially with the DML build that he's going for. With the speed, it's kind of a conflicting thing for him. Uh, because I know he wants to go really fast here, but this recycler kind of just wants you to slow yeah. down a little bit uh, if you want to get some like good value out of it. And I know he doesn't really want to do that, so he's got to really pick his recycles very carefully, and like he can't yeah. greed too much. Yeah, it's a brutal thing about recycler. You just greed. Cabbage yeah. missed his AWU skip with his secondary, so he's just leaving. But he's onto stage five and looking really solid, really good items. Stage he five. does have the void crit though, which why the hell? But <laughs> you know, <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. Has anyone hit a blood shrine? Yes. It's probably for Bingo. I should have answered that. I was just <laughs> <laughs> ignition on Dude, Corey. Wait, wait, wait. He's Did you really just see that? Nerf. Cabbage deleted what? an elder with void crit. Insane value. Yo. Way worth at this big. point. Yeah. That's a yeah. that's a Vrit clap, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's massive. It looks like Cabbage at this point in the state is a little bit struggling though. He wants to take out the uh the pre-spawns and the world spawns here because they're gonna be terrible for TP. So he's trying the best he can. Uh just yeah, kill these two elders. Are big to get rid of. But Ruddy was about great. to leave. Uh -oh. Oh, the face. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ready was about to leave, and then he barely saw the mocha printer, so he got a couple mochas nice. before he left. And I really hope he tries to go for the A. We skip with the DML. Cabbage is getting blasted. He lost his elixir. He's shaking his head at that one. Yeah. The speed is having a little bit of a rough time during the CP as well. It's taking him a while. I think he yeah. will take the, the Rose Buckler here. If he Another can. bleed for Ruddy. Oh, he re-rolled it into a predatory. Interesting. Oh, nice. That's actually really good. Okay. I mean, I he needs Ruddy the found the recycler. And Ruddy's the only one that has really easy potential to get a red item on stage four, so I don't know. Lysate on Cabbage. He didn't pick Yo. it up, to be clear. Good, um, he didn't dan it. No. 
<laughs> but that's really good for Disputed, actually, because he might be able to re-roll that into a plan for Polyloop. Yeah, honestly. That'd be really good. That is true. Ruddy hasn't been breaking any eggs. I don't think he's going to go for the skip at all, hmm. which he's already traversed the entire stage. He could have easily just set it up, but... Yeah, that would have been a free red unfortunately. for Ruddy. That's another, yeah, like, he, homework thing. Yeah. The, uh, all the AWU skips and stuff. Ruddy is one of our newer racers, so we don't expect him to be as comfortable maybe as others, but... That is something that we would have really liked to see. He already, I mean, he did loot the entire stage, basically, so he would have been well able try. to break eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the DML setup, it's so easy. To speed it, spend a little bit more time on stage four, looting up a bit. I don't know if he's going to try to go for the AWU skip here, either, or if he's just looking around. I mean, it would be really beneficial for him to try because he has a recycler as well, so... Yeah. Like, double chance for a good red... That's crazy. Cabbage had to step away from the TP for a second here. He wasn't able to kill the grandparent fast enough. Um, but you're going to stay mm. underneath, actually, so it's all good. And he has actually Shift also keys. cleanses debuffs. And he hasn't even found the key that he has now. So I don't know. Mm. All right. They disputed has a ton of stuff on the ground right now. Oh, he actually just picked okay. up the ignition tank. I'm surprised. Oh, I'm he was surprised. leaving. Yeah. He didn't. He just had to get his stuff. <laughs> I really wish he would have tried. I, I think I do. <gasps> yeah. Wait. A stage five TP drop is a boss item, and oh. this could reroll it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Low Disciple? Charge Perforator? I mean, he has the ignition oh. tank for Molten Perforator now. Potentially. Oh, yeah. That's that would bad. be big. We'll have to see what. What pays out with that? He's going to be the only one that gets it unless someone else finds a recycler on this stage. But I, th I think I really do like Ruddy's build the most. Yeah, it's not bad. He's got a lot of attack speed. He has three three uh, bleed now with the DML just flooding as much like 1.0 proc coefficient missiles as possible. It could be a lot of damage. And he won't be pushed out of the TP because he can just spam his equipment Yeah, and kill the boss. He might be pushed up by this elder behind him that's sneaking up on him, shotgunning him, though. Be careful. <laughs> He's fine. So yeah, Cabbage is done with a TP now, looking mm -hmm. pretty good pace. Not amazing damage compared to others, but the pace is there, which is really nice. He has the vase for just easy moon traversal. Only two people have the vase, which is so crazy to me. Yeah. I really thought we would just see everyone with vase, but... Me too. Ready chose not to take it, and Disputed did not find it. So, disputed at this point, he's either well, he can skip pillars, so that's okay, but he's probably yeah. looking for either like a faster skip or a more damaging equipment or something. Oh, disputed's not mm -hmm. able to reroll that light right now because he's kind of getting bullied by the construct and the blazing elder. It looks like Cabbage found an AP round print on stage five, and he's just Ooh. literally going all in right yeah. now. Yeah, he doesn't even care about speed. He, no, he, he has, has a pillar skip. Yeah. And it's honestly like if you can practice enough, it's pretty easy to just survive the Mythrix fight with no speed. I really hope that the speeded goes back and rerolls that Lysate because that's a huge item yeah. that's just going to waste if he doesn't. Could be a really big damage boost compared to the others. The thing is, like the speeded, he might not be able to go into APR because if he does lose his speed, then he doesn't have his pillar skip anymore. Yeah. So it's pretty dangerous. That's true. Another reason why Vase is just so powerful. You don't have to have other items for he the He got a skip. feather out of a reroll, though, which is huge. Ooh, he rerolled okay. a, uh, nice. a Razor Rise. I think it was a second green reroll or something, maybe. Cabbage onto the moon. There we go. And Cabbage with a lot of damage. Far. Okay, stage five is going to be a strange stage for a lot of these guys here. I really am interested yeah. to see how Disputed handles it, though. Yeah, Corny's still looking like he has a pretty good setup as well. Same as Ruddy, so... I think it's really... I mean, Corny's gonna pass up Ruddy if, just on the moon movement, because he has vases. Mm -hmm. I I don't know how the damage is gonna go. It's gonna be tough to know who's I the no runner-up per second right so now. far. Cabbage <laughs> looks pretty good for first, but he could die as well, so... It's hard to say I don't anything. Know. Yeah. Everything's up in the air right now. 
And again, this is the winner's bracket. So the top two of this race go straight to the finals. Straight there. They secure their spot. So and really the, important to get top two. The two racers that go get in third and fourth are not eliminated out of the tournament. They go to the second loser's bracket. Yep. Where they'll face the two winners of the first loser's bracket, which will be me, Dan, Goji, and... Waxy. Waxy. Yeah, that guy. So, the, yeah, that, that person. <laughs> my teammate. <laughs> I know, it's so hard. There's so see. many people, dude. <laughs> Actually. There, yeah, it's so much. <laughs> Man, Corny is spending a good amount of time on this stage. I think he's going to leave soon, though, hopefully. Ready on the moon. Ready's looking good, though. Really good pace. And really Ready has a lot of speed. Yeah, yep. like five, six speed about with the two Mocha, uh, Energy Drink, and Four Hose. Like, that's really mm -hmm. nice. They also do have Warhorns. So, actually, who has the Warhorns? Disputed Cabbage. cabbage. Oh, so just not Ready. Oh, no, Ready has it too. They all do. Okay, cool. Yeah, what are you and Ready's going to be able to use his Warhorn a lot with all those fuel cells. The speed is struggling a bit here. I think he really needs yeah. to go reroll that uh, Lysate if he hasn't already. A Polyloot Plasma Shrimp here would be insane for him. Or oh, even a Void Band. Oh, void no. Touched. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not the biggest deal for grandparents, but they ah. do get extra health when they get Void Touched. Yeah. And that just made if they do longer. get hit by a rock, that Needle Tick could hurt. <laughs> I mean, they have uh, Void Fiend Cleanse, so they won't be Needle Ticked, but... yeah. As long as they have the, the shift up, they'll be good. All right, here we go. I just go. want to see the boss item reroll. I know. I want to see it too. Corny going to Cauldrons. Interesting. Actually. He needs to Does get to the scrap? bubble platform before he could base over there. He's trying to like spam it right now, but he's almost there. Cabbage took a little bit of damage here. It looks like he's a little bit lower than I thought he'd be, but phase two is almost done for yeah. him. He's looking all right, though. Ruddy I, is caught I, in the spiral of being like going up and down <laughs> over and over yeah, again. Too high up. When you have when you don't have a feather on Void Bean and you just have like a lot of speed, it dude, it's terrible. And it looks like Disputed rerolled into another Beetle Guard. So, oh, ah. lovely. <laughs> I mean, it's Word. not it's not like a <laughs> Duclius or anything, but hey, there's whatever. a Band Cauldron. There's a Tesla Cauldron. I, uh, I don't know. Did it? Did these guys not see the APR printer? Because I feel like that would have been a yeah, better. Yeah, I guess use of not. The, uh, I don't know. Because Corny would have done it. I mean, he already yeah. forfeited random white items for bands, so I just don't think he found it. Because the AP printer is huge. Yep. And Corny just lost, unfortunately, like maybe about a minute, just because he decided to go to Cauldrons. That is tough. Cabbage is I mean, looking really bands, good. But... He's in the middle of phase three right now, just in pizza phase, half done. We'll probably see Cabbage uh, take this, but plus fives always happen. So you never, I mean, they do yep. have a feather though and some good speed. So. Especially pizza plus fives. Yeah. Disputed, unfortunately, just still looting on the stage, man. Um,. He went yeah. so fast after the band mess up. I think that's the thing that messed him up a little bit. Um, There's a red had... at him. There's a behemoth on him. Oh, okay. That's nice. <laughs> if he had just kept his pace for stage three, I think it would have been fine. He would have had the yeah. base, and then he would have been able to go a lot faster comfortably from there. Yeah, I think he got in his head. Like, I wasted a couple minutes trying to get bands and then didn't get bands, so yeah. I need to pick up the pace, but you just you can miss out on so many things, unfortunately. Another feather reroll for Disputed. Right. Yeah. He's going to feather up. He's just rerolling right now. He's he's caught in the, the reroll loop. Cabbage, as long as he doesn't die to some beetle guards, he should be solidifying his place for first here. Which guarantees him a spot in the, the final. So GG Cabbage. GG Cabbage. Like Cap just said... Uh, cabbage is going whoop, straight to the final from here. So, yep, he gets to skip one loadout. Beautiful. Disputed found the AP printer, but unfortunately, I think it's just it's just too late for him, which is rough. 
Reddy's looking really good for potential second place here. Also solidifying winner's bracket uh, grand final placement. But we'll have to see. Courtney still has a chance here. Yeah, I mean, anyone could die at this point. Ruddy is still one pizza away from death right now, so. Yep. I will say Courtney didn't utilize his corrupted form very well. He was at like 70% corrupted form, like while he was in corrupted form. And he was just kind of hanging on the edge of the arena, which you really just got to get in there. You have to you get, gotta in get in there with Void Fiend. Yep. Yeah. You got to be comfortable enough to just dodge anything. You have your shift, which is really good mobility. You have your M2 that pushes you upwards, kind of like an extra jump, which you can use to your advantage to just stay in the fight. It's all about corrupted form. That's all Void Fiend it is. is. Ruddy scaring me a little bit. Which is why we see Ruddy really just being aggro. Because he knows that this form is the DPS form. And Disputed just starting to skip right now with his recycler in hand. Yep. Ah, no. Rough. <laughs> ah. And he didn't even get really baited into the recycler. What did he have before that? It was the um the Gubo. He had nothing. The Gubo, basically. Yeah. So, so. It's, it's like might as well take the recycler, but unfortunately, it was just those stage three equipments that were so impactful. Even for Ruddy, that he didn't even take the vase. He he had an extremely strong build because of the fuel cell printer DML. And there we go. Ruddy is done. So uh, okay, kill the beetle guard. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see uh ruddy ship i mean there's always potential for someone to to grub it yep. at the ship but we'll see but it looks like we have our first two grand final participants yep ruddy an amazing speedrunner he has countless gauntlet world records Which cabbage also a speedrunner and mm -hmm. yeah i mean they they do what they do best they speed run <laughs> yep, they do fast things. So, GG. I'm just getting the bracket stuff right now. And it is Void Fiend, so I, we shouldn't see a death to the rescue ship, but you never know. So, I've we'll seen hold on. crazier shit happen. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see how it plays out. I'm going to go use the restroom before I got to start up my run. So I'm right. back. I'm just doing the editing stuff here. Okay. And I'll bring in Ruddy in one second. Oh, and that's a plus five for Corny, unfortunately. It doesn't really matter, right? Um, Because right now, him and Disputed are still the ones to come, you know, in later. But. I'm sure that didn't help uh, him feeling against the, the in the next run he has to do. Because remember, all of these guys in here play again. So. Oh, let's bring in the time for cabbage. Uh oh, I don't have the time thing on this one. It is fine. Where is it? There we go. Uh, what was happen if someone somehow didn't charge ship before the detonation? Yeah, we've thought about that. And originally, um, what would happen is be like a forced DNF, actually. But we've custom coded it so that it just gives them an extra plus five. All right, let's bring in Cabbage and Ruddy. Hello, you two. Congrats. Hello. You guys. Oh, I love Void Crit. Yeah, so what happened there? I picked it up because that's a good item. Yeah, Why I what? thought so. <laughs> yeah, I presented I didn't like it just for the audience, but it's just a good item. <laughs> so congrats, you two. You guys are going straight to the uh, the finale. Um, All right. Nice. So you guys have a little bit of downtime before... You can go eat, bye. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Uh, you guys have a little bit of downtime for next one, so if you guys want to do something, there's like two loadouts in between now and when you play next. So, yeah. Um, Cap, you can 
probably pull the other guys out. All right. Some DNF. Will do. And I'll work on getting our next group together. But good job. How you guys feel about that run? Yeah, it was pretty strong. So lots of speed, bleed. Well, why didn't you take the vase ready? Because there was a fuel cell printer. And you just wanted like a damage equipment set. Yeah, because we had the speed to peel us, so interesting. I it was okay. Everyone else take the bars. For the people who saw it, yes. Disputed didn't see it, unfortunately. Um, I saw it. Right. I didn't take it. Why didn't you take it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What you saw? Don't tell me you saw the equipment. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see our bracket. So. We have Cabbage and Ruddy winning that one. Congrats, you two. And they're going to go boop straight over to the final until the captain load out. Uh, Corny and Disputed. It was a good run, actually, but you guys are going to the uh, the Artie run, which is going to be after the next one we're doing here. So the next one we're going to do is the Mander loadout with group or the first loser bracket one. So but how do you guys feel about that run? What do you uh, what do you think about it? Uh, was there a feather? The only thing I, I lack I had, in complete safety, you know? Yeah, I had two. Where was that? God damn it. From feather was from a key box. The first key box oh, that none of you found except oh. Cabbage. And then damn. the Recycler was there, and it was two rerolls for a feather, actually. Hey, Corny, we're the real winners here. We get more content. Yeah, true. Hell true. Yeah. I'm smad I didn't get the recycler because I feel that was the the dividing factor that slowed. Yeah, shit. That's Wait, fine. What was the recycler? Yeah, uh, stage four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like away from the TP to the mm. the other coast of the map. Yeah. I'm really sad, Ruddy, that you didn't go for the AWU skip with the DML. I entirely <laughs> forgot. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like you, you did like a full lap around the stage you probably could have just popped the eggs yeah, on the yeah. way and it's such an easy setup but i was like thinking can i skip with m1 or m2 but i completely forgot yeah. that mm -hmm. the easiest one of them all yeah do we hey, know GGs. what it was ggs no damn very good cabbage fucked up yeah. his it would skip so I knew I screwed up stage five. I had two separate occasions where uh, void seeds would corrupt the boss, so <laughs> that was fun. Bull rugged it. Bull rugged it. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. Right. I'm setting up some stuff in the back end here. Uh, can someone make sure our other racers are ready? I know Cap, you're ready. I need Dan, yeah, go Goji, and Waxy to be ready. I need to do some nameplate stuff here on the fly, which is fun. Hey, Scott, here, what have I missed? You've missed everything, and also nothing, because we're only halfway through the event today, which is also crazy to say. <laughs> True. But uh, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far as well as uh, players. Yeah, it's been I'm, fun. It's been definitely hype. Not looking forward to the flamethrower, no, but yeah. Why not? Because the insert <laughs> is better. <laughs> Be fine. <laughs> I know, I know. I wish you I wish it's the return flamethrower. Oh, yeah. awesome. Honestly true. Returns flamethrower busted, busted, like honestly. Oh boy. How do I enter the GUP giveaway? The GUP giveaway is at the end, and you will have to be in the Risk of Resources Twitch channel. Yes. Oh, sorry, I was not muted. Huh? <laughs> I mean, everyone needs to hear that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Giveaway is at the end of the stream. Yay. 
It's a giant gut bean bag. Uh, the spear, tell them how large it is, just in case they're not familiar. Uh, it's very massive. My dogs like to fight over it, even though there's room for 75 of them on top of it. You could feed a family of four, or you could house a family of four on this gut. Oh, yeah. Easily. The gut goodness. So, who's looking forward to what? I mean, in my case, watching some Roll Mando. I love watching some Roll Mando. Oh, is it Roll Mando? Uh -huh. It is a Roll nice. Mando. Uh... Yeah. All right, I think I am ready on my end finally. So, we're looking good. Um, is everyone, are all the racers ready? Disputed your cast with me right now, right? Yes, you are. Oh, I am? Okay. You are, yep. <laughs> I guess. Yep. Cool. Uh, cabbage, be gone. I'm going to move him to the help desk. All right. So, loadout four, here we go. Uh, disputed, I think you can let them know. I think they can hear me, but... We're going? I think we're going, yep. And it ready, chat. This is the fourth loadout. This is the loser's bracket. And let's see if they can bring it back. I mean, something important to note here. Two of our racers are going to be eliminated uh, here. So say goodbye to two of your favorite racers because they're gone. <laughs> it's right. unfortunate, but it's got to be done. What well, has to be done? We have to eliminate two people here. Oh. Yeah. And that's sad. There's only one Australian and we have to eliminate two people. <laughs> <laughs> there's still time for ready later i guess there's always time <laughs> that's true okay so, so what do you so, think about this loadout it's roll mando very close to default commando uh you got the grenades honestly this is one of my least favorite loadouts the grenades are probably the best thing about this loadout i know you like the um, i do that M2, but I don't think it's very good for races. No, probably not. I think it's it's nice when you can get a lot of items and then start piercing with bands and like do a lot of stuff. But, you know, um, shotgun is also really nice. So, you know, you just go fast with it. Um, I feel like it'd be better if physics for that were not broken in this game. When you pierce an enemy, sometimes the shot will just go upwards for no reason. Oh, did you know that um, Gorek made a fix mod for just that? And they have oh, released have it already. On? No, we don't have it on. Not we in should. the races. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually do that probably soon. But um, yeah, if anyone has experienced that pierce bug mod, it's it or not mod bug, but everyone has experienced that bug. It happens with uh, Arty Ice Spear, Commando, uh, Phase Round, anything that pierces, even Loader Punch and Merc Dash. Um, You'll go through an enemy or two, and then your character model or the the hurt box of the attack or whatever, it goes straight up instead of just continuing its path forward. It's really annoying. Um, there is a fix for that. I don't know what the name of the mod is. I don't remember. Gorek, if you're around, you can post it. You're allowed. Cool. Yeah. Shout out to all the modders out there. Keeping this game alive. Yeah, and... Thanks to all the modders involved with uh, Risk of Resources as well. They're all doing a, a fantastic job. So, who in the last loadout? Cabbage. Um, okay, Surprise. so these guys got gas. First item. Cap hasn't found it yet, but he probably will. That's, like, ideal, I think, on Commando. Gas is exactly oh, yeah. what you want to find on Stage 1. It looks like there's a tent to bobble. There's two Void Cradles, it looks like. Um... One has a tent bobble. Let's see what's in the other one. Ooh. Wax is about to open it right now. Crit. I would take that. Or really? Commando. I would definitely take Void Crit. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's one of those builds that, like, it doesn't really do too much damage, right? So, like, if you're not really over relying on crit either for it, so. Um, it, it, later, it could 
fuck you over if you get a shatter spleen. Yeah, that's like the main way that decision would not pay off. But I mean, what are the chances that happens twice in one race? Right? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We but shatter spleen printer on every stage now. I don't think it's too bad though. I mean, like we've we've seen plenty of runs in the loadout races where commandos just like stage four or five and commandos struggling a little bit right so especially with some like choice bosses and such like world spawns so i don't think it's necessarily too bad i think yeah. it is a little early though to to really tell it's it's one of those decisions that's tough because you just got to send it one way or the other um it's not like you have the chance to get it stage three and really make that choice like oh you know this is how the run feels mm. like it's going etc you just gotta it's gotta guess essentially kind of feels that way with needle tick too yeah but i but think needle tick taking it really early on is hard i think generally though needle tick like is though. fine though like even if you do have like full needle tick it's still not terrible it's still doing a lot of effect with your run i don't think void crit always does it's a little bit harder. Yeah. But I definitely see where you're coming from. And I agree. It, looks it like can Dan be tough. Did take the void crit. So hmm. happy at least one person went for it. We'll see how that differs from everybody else. And it might. And it might not. Gore's Tome for Cap. That's really awesome, actually. I love to see an early Gore's Tome. Reminder. You can cut like one or two minutes out of every stage just oh, by yeah. having that item. Like, I just want to be clear for those who don't know. The teleporter event enemies actually give you less gold um, than non-teleporter event enemies. So when you start the teleporter, you're actually earning a lot less money. And it comes out to about like half as much money earned because I think they give you like way less money than that, but they spawn more often. So that's yeah, like it's like 73% or something. Yeah. Um, you even it out. You're going to be so, a nerd. It's a little bit rough, right? But with a Gorse Home, Gorse Home drops full amount every time, regardless if you're in a teleporter or not. So that's a lot of extra gold for just doing what you're supposed to be doing anyway in a teleporter, which is just fighting stuff. So mm -hmm. it's not bad. Economy items are super important, and the earlier you get them, the better. Like, oh, had yeah. they found that stage four, it wouldn't have really done anything. But here, it's really going to have a big payoff and me and the speeder were just talking about it last time he was in here it's just like especially when you go into a strategy that's like looting a little bit more early on and then yeah that's just like full time saved as opposed to if you're not really gonna loot later anyway oh also we saw um aqueduct here again so this is the second uh pot rolling map we'll see how it goes so disputed the pot rolling last time in your run yeah yeah, I didn't like either of those locations. I think the other one wasn't too bad, though. I think the the one you were trying was way worse. I I think it wouldn't have been too bad if you did the other one. I think you got messed up, though, because you, you spent all the time on the flower and you're like, ah, I got to go fast now because I wasted three minutes on this one. Yeah. Stage three was where like a lot of the magic happened, too, with the, the builds and stuff, which was like. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah, I think I misplayed that. I, I just wanted to get pots. And I wanted to get bands. I already had one band from one of the chests, but... Mm -hmm. It was funny. Ruddy and Cabbage actually got the one band and then just skipped getting the bands. Uh, Corny was the one who actually went out and got the bands as well. Interesting. Yeah. And Corny also lost, so... <laughs> <laughs> Not the right strat, apparently. Yo, yeah. Quail from the Teleporter. Very good. I love that on Commando. Quails I like it better with the slide raised. though. Everything's with, better with, with roll. Slide. Yeah, <laughs> it's so painful after coming back from Risk of Rain Returns though, and seeing roll as like the worst ability in this game by far. Uh, because roll in Risk of Rain Returns is actually really good because you get iframes and it's re like you can dodge anything. Uh, in this game, it you don't get iframes. It slows you down from just running speed because it doesn't scale with sprint speed or sprint speed cans or anything. Um, so it's usually better to not actually roll. Unless mm. you're like falling to your depth. Usually. Yeah. So. 
it's a fall damage cancel, and it is slightly easier to pillar skip uh, when you're like on the little branch and you have to roll up. Yeah, it's kind of nice, but beyond that, slide is superior in basically every way. It's tough. That's tough. <laughs> Hope these guys get some good pot locations here. I mean, that's the best you can like hope for. Every... I mean, this is a character you like. It's kind of tough because, oh, there's an AP printer on stage two yeah. as well on Capscrin. But it's kind of tough because on one hand, you're like, OK, Commando has no real damage here. Um, I kind of want bands. But then you're kind of thinking, like, do I want to get bands if I can't use them that well? So, like, there's definitely some back and forth here. I I do think it's the right call because I'm assuming they're going to all try to get an equipment that does damage and try to get like a band procking equipment. It's like their goal. There's a yeah. band right next to TP as well and a chest. It's like the chest closest to the TP. Oh, nice. Like, There's also a scrapper here. So these guys can get a bunch of APRs. Oh, Dan threw away his gas for the APR, which is really rough. Mm. That might cost them a little bit. I don't know. He crammed it. There's literally a scrapper right next to it. Dude, remember? So, oh, man. I don't... <laughs> the... He did this last time in the uh, in the multi loadout. <laughs> like it was a, it was like touching the ATG printer, and he didn't see it. it what tough. printer is that next to Dan there? I don't know. I just looked up and I missed it. Okay, it looks like Calf and Goji are doing the teleporter. Right call, honestly. They have Gore's Tome. They should be able to loot. And it's this map doesn't have as much loot as the other stage two variants because of bands. So yep. the credit value is a little bit lower. But honestly, so it's still like way OP regardless. And like, a shuriken as the teleporter item. Oh my. So now they're definitely going to get bands, I think. Yeah. I mean, now that they have such a very strong band proker, I mean, it's not like I say very strong. Consistent. It's very consistent. Yeah. Um, Grenades aren't consistent. Not as consistent. No. Especially like the later you go and there's just more flying enemies. It's tough. Yeah. And it's just like you have a lot of control when you throw a grenade into a group of enemies. It's like you, you don't, don't know, know what, what you're going to hit. Yeah. Not to say that shurikens are perfectly accurate. Goji is scaring me a little bit. Please don't die, Goji. Uh, the brooch on Goji actually saved them a little bit there. I don't know if it was like between life or death, but it definitely saved uh, their morale because uh, yeah. they were really low. For sure. Brooch okay. is, uh, I think, slept on a little bit. I think so. Early stages, it can be used a lot. And especially if you have like two brooches, you can actually get like full barrier very easily with just like a gas. It keeps you alive and it keeps you charging that teleporter. Mm -hmm. When you don't have healing and you feel like you have to leave and come Ooh. back. That's never and Dan gets punished with a uh, ignition tank after he gives up the gas. So th there's kind of an interesting decision there. There's a repulsion armor and an opal in a multi shop. Hmm. What would you have gone with? Uh, I, um, they're both I think... important, but, but probably wrap because I can get through a run without opal, but I find I really struggle if I don't have at least one wrap. I would have gone the other way. I think Rap is better for teleporter events. I think Opal is better for like Mithrix and uh, obviously it's better for the big hits, but I'd like be looking more towards the end there. Is really rough if you don't have Repulsion. That's um, true. Like Burns and Bleeds and like Titan Laser, which Dan is dealing with right now. It helps with that a lot. They're both very important though. I think you can make an argument for either one. Agreed. As long as they get one of the two and not the mystery third option, <laughs> I think they're fine. Yeah. It's really tough now. for Dan here because Dan doesn't have the AoE anymore. So he's actually having to lead away the enemies in some kind of like pseudo cope state right now just to fight the boss. And he's actually using the uh, phase round to pierce through that group as it walks forward back to the TP. So not bad, but. It's just now how simple a one gas loss can be so magnified. Yeah. I mean, AoE is super important, especially on a character like Commando. Mm -hmm. Not having to click M1 on every single enemy is just going to be so good for you. But speaking of rap, uh, there was pennies next to the teleporter. 
and Goji can really utilize that. He has two, I'm noticing. Uh, he scrapped his pennies, never mind. Okay. But uh, <laughs> that that's really powerful. If you get burned by something, oh, yeah. you can basically just loot the entire map. And there is a lot so of good. blaze enemies on the stage. But also, like, really wanting that uh, that AP round now that you can just get it. So That's true. And they do have Gore's Tome, so they have a little bit of economy. But, man, I just like uh, gushing about roll of pennies. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Every time that I'm you shield. pick it up in a, in a race, we're like, oh, there he goes. Like... <laughs> You always seem to find it, too. I don't know how you find it every time, but you find it. Sniff them out. <laughs> smell that There's copper smell, on a, dude. On a stage, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to be the first one to leave here? I actually don't know. I don't... Oh, and there's a syringe printer, actually, that Cap is going to as well. Looks like Cap is going in Ooh. his usual half and half. Classic. Smart. Honestly, really good, especially with um, I... potential bleed coming up, too. I hope he finds the ignition tank. It's right next to teleporter. He chose something ignition else. Tank, out of it, I think. I think. Oh, did he? It, ignition the tank ignition makes tank. Such a big difference. Ignition tank was the question mark. Oh, there's a vase. Oh, a multi shop on stage three. Okay. Well, that's really good. <laughs> hope everyone finds that. Yeah, it finds it. I looked yeah. at it like four times and I was just like, I don't need this. I don't know why. I yeah, I mean you needed it clearly, but <laughs> I wish you picked it up. I thought you just didn't find it because I thought you were just going too fast that stage. <laughs> I Honestly. appreciate you giving me the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, no, well never I'm just again. An idiot. <laughs> stage three looking good though. This is actually um just almost my favorite setup for stages, actually. I love score shakers here. There's a lot of multi shot variants for like equipment and stuff, so you can pretty much get what you want usually when you're here. And um, best bosses they have a potential for Shatter Spleen, Little Disciple, and then next stage they have also potential for Molten Perforator, Shatter Spleen, and uh, a lot of credits on that map, too. Mm -hmm. So they have really good potential on this run for looting a lot and getting a lot of good stuff. It looks like uh, Dan and Waxy are kind of synced up, and it looks like Goji and Cap are a little bit synced up in their runs. It's kind of like this, this little pattern on my screen. There are so many equipment multi-shop here. Cap getting the vase. I mean, they almost have a, a full build here. Yeah. I'd say Goji is looking the best, honestly. Cap did go half and half with the wrap and the attack speed, but the attack speed doesn't increase band damage. And the rap does. Oh, there's a capacitor here too. The APR, you mean? But yeah. And a gun. Oh, if there's a gun, they need to get the gun because they can get Shatter Spleen, dude. Because the boss. Where's the gun? Uh, it's in the middle. Okay. It's oh nice yeah, I see Goji. it. It's nice to Goji. Yeah. Wow. Cap's Cap going a little bit too fast. Missed out on a full Shatter Spleen, especially when he printed syringes already. That's tough. okay. Um. Yeah, remember earlier when I said there's no way there's going to be a Shatter Spleen? <laughs> yeah, well. Well, don't I look like an asshole? Dan already is the only one with the Vrit, too, so. I don't know, see. And there we go, Goji actually picking up the gun. Beautiful, Goji. Good. I love that. And, this is, and Goji crit already too. has crit, yeah. Like, this is amazing. I really wish Goji found a little bit of... um syringe right like even one would have been kind of nice here but it's okay like this is still he does, perfect he has fine. one oh never mind yeah i, I think was there a predatory <laughs> printer last stage i feel like that i feel like there was and they just didn't go into it but i could be completely wrong There's i don't a know what that green one item. there is a regen can... scrap that goji just found okay so cap not getting the shatter spleen sucks but he does have a vase and he has a lot of bands here yep I mean, if he just goes fast, potential. he can definitely win. I think if the others loot up too much this stage and get too much of this stuff, it's going to be kind of rough for them. Goji getting the Wungus out of the uh, Void Cradle on the other side of the map, really actually good. That's the kind of healing I think they needed or they, they were looking for. They yeah. had the drone, but they needed something more reliable here. Definitely. 
I don't know. I think Goji's looking really good here. I think they just need to go to TP, though. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. They have the gun. Shoot the boss, and uh, they're good. I know I just rush metrics. it's still better to loot up a little bit more, though, because they still need some amount of movement speed or, like, defense for Mythrix. Um And their damage mm -hmm. isn't totally there yet, even with the Shatter Swain, but it's close. Yeah, that's true. And they do have a Tenta. So that'll help a little bit. And there we go. Goji, really happy to see that Shatter Swain. That is really good. I wonder how many of the others and, are actually going to go for it. It's just all if you look and, and it's see a the teleporter. gun. A scythe for Cap as with well. With another band, too. Yeah. Scythe is nice. If he had a Shatter Spin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. They might. He might be able to get it next stage. We'll see. The good news is, though, is everyone knows the vase is on the map. Uh, if someone doesn't have the vase, they've seen it. Uh, Cav actually picking up the capacitor instead for a band build. Did you say that already? I don't recall if you did. Uh, I wondered if he would. Which, I don't know. Maybe that is the good play in this position. Like, if he finds safer spaces, I'd say that might make sense. But he doesn't really have a lot of speed, so it is going to take a while to get over to the host skip spot. Yep. And he's like... Actually, I don't even think he has enough speed to skip. Right now, he needs a little bit more. Not yet. Cat picking up his Gortone drop and leaving the stage on the stage four for him. So let's see what stage four is kind of looking like here. Very interesting. There is a Void Cradle right off the start as well. Uh, a Bungus printer, which isn't great, but for those of the people who got Wungus, which is everybody, I guess they could get a little more healing if they feel like it's necessary. I don't think they will, though. I think they want to keep as many white as they can for damage. Yeah. I'd be looking That's for there. like a feather, safer spaces, opal, speed. Yeah. Like Any just kind of, of that. defensive stuff right now. Looks like Waxy is going for the gun as well, which is beautiful. So we'll see. Uh, the two racers on the bottom half of the screen are going to get Shatter Splain. The two racers up top are not going to have it. So. And I think we're going to see Dan struggle here a bit. Losing that gas on stage two. Not only losing the gas, but picking up the Vrit which is losing out on the Shatter Splane is also yeah. really rough for AoE. Like, that's double the loss of it. Shatter Splane is AoE. Yep. I think it's more of an AoE item than a single target item for most characters, anyway. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, like, Stage 3 is kind of the breaking point with Area of Effect, where you can get through it, but then once you get to Stage 4 and you don't have any Area of Effect items, you're kind of screwed, and you'll have to cope a bit. He was already coping stage, stage two a little bit, right? Like the teleporter. Yeah. It wasn't like a huge cope, but it was like he had to step away from all the enemies, which is losing teleporter charge time. Oh, there's a gas printer on stage four. And there's a gas printer next to a soul bound that just popped out of a chest on stage four. Oh, nice. Do not tempt me like this. <laughs> okay. There's two more void cradles as well. Stage four is packed full of void items. So it looks like Dan will have a recovery solution for AoE going forward as well. Mm. If there is an FMP and there is one fuel cell, that's enough for a really good FMP build, actually. Because they have the uh they have the ignition tank, they'll have the gas. I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at Dan too, because he doesn't have the shadow spin or anything, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it could be good. Hmm. Potentially. I think Koji has a really good build right now. I love Goji's build. I wish they had found the uh, scythe on the other there's side of stage printer. three, though. Oh, okay. Cap lost his gas, but... Uh, there's a gas printer. It's fine. I wonder if there there's is a, a scrapper on the stage. There's an ATG right on spawn that Goji just found, too, that no one else has found yet on oh, stage four. beautiful. Looking at Cap, basically. This is such a good run, actually. This is yeah, really this is good. exactly what you want to see. Hmm. And a Murph from the teleporter. Oh my god. And that's just a natural drop. Wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright. Again, having that ignition tank would be really good. 
I'm surprised more people didn't take it. It was a random one. They couldn't. Oh, they didn't know. Is there? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't register. No, they. It was like Shorm something else, and then a random, and they, uh, the two people who took the random gun. What I mean is also again really good for Goji because Goji is going to have the ignition Murph along with the Shatter Spleen, along with the ATG, yeah. along with the AP rounds, like, and the base. Really good stuff happening here. You know, Goji's happy to see that one. Yeah, I, if I were Goji, I wouldn't even look at stage five. I just go straight to Mythrix. I would scan around for the tri shops for a feather, I think. Yeah, feather would be good. Maybe open a few void cradles if you see him. Yeah, he, he like, sees the speed printer, I think it's right next to him. You really don't have to spend a long time. Oh, no. And the heartbreaking plus oh. five from Goji, man. It was delayed oh. on my screen. I'm like, uh oh, what happened? Who died? No. Goji. That is rough. Um, they stood in front of the mending bell and just took a chunk out of them. That is really rough. That hurts me but on I, so many levels. If anybody can come back from this, though, it's Goji. It is Goji. They have the build. They they just have to have a good mental here. That's which is the hard part. And there's a poly loot in one of the void cradles right next to TP as well. Wow. Like Dan is for sure going to struggle. Cap doesn't have a skip. Um, Waxy is actually looking pretty good. He just got a poly loot. Oh, man. And then you got that soul bound. The poly loot uh, shatter screen play is really good. Oh, yeah. Looks like he just found it. And with the ATG and the Murph, you got a good proc chain build going. Mm hmm. You know, Cap is opening there, this void crit on the other side of the map that I wanted to see. Oh, it's a Lysate. Nah, no one's taking that. <laughs> Not I think Cap's one. looking for safer spaces. He is, for sure. Oh, another Uke for his poly loot that he hasn't found yet. He will find it eventually. Yeah. Goji getting the soul down. I mean, no one's going to leave this age with, like, gas from the gas printer, though. So the build for the soul down FMP is not really going to going to fly. Yeah. Unfortunately. Maybe another day, my friend. There's way better options. Opal from a shrine. I think that would really help Goji here. Mm hmm. I mean, that would have saved mm -hmm. them, I think, from that. Yeah. Bell. Rejecting that Opal earlier for the wrap. It's so tough, dude. Oh man, Goji is is no. Oh, the squid polyp, the squid polyp. Oh, oh they no. actually lived. That Goji stopped moving because they were like, "I'm dead. This is it." And they actually got the collapse hit and didn't die from it. And they're like, "Oh my god!" And then they started moving again. That was why did they not die there? It. The base damage from whatever they got hit by just wasn't enough to kill them. Okay. And they are going for the speed because, I mean, like, look at how slow they are. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. Wow. Losing the gas isn't that big of a deal anymore either because they have the Murph, so. And the Shire's Plane. Spleen. Yeah. Yeah. But losing the crit would suck. Oh, Goji needs to be really careful with these crabs, dude. I. Yeah, I please stop printing. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh man. He's fine. Cap on uh, stage okay. five, looking kind of good. Now though, you with that, that multi shot. No, with Goji having the plus five, I don't know. This is I don't know who's in the lead. I don't know who's far behind. It's really hard to tell. They're all kind of so around the same point though. Um, like Cap is the furthest ahead, but he doesn't have a skip either. He doesn't have the ATG from last stage either. So, is that another soul bound? <laughs> just... Wow, there's been a lot today. Uh, interesting. I, I think I found one in one of my runs too. Yeah, I really wanted the FMP build on that one as well, but it just didn't happen. <laughs> uh, there's an ignition mm. tank in this one that Cap is taking. 
which is good because the Murph actually between the Tenta Bubble and the Molten Perforator for Mithrix, it actually can work. Uh, usually with uh, Molten Perforator on Mithrix, he kind of just dodges out of the way of it because it's really slow. But if you can just freeze Mithrix in place, suddenly it's it's actually pretty good. So yeah, a lot of value there. If they get another Chrono Bubble to add into the Tenta Bubble stack, that would be really nice as well. There's also a Scythe in that multi shop. That could be I a don't... play for Goji here. Maybe. It's kind of hard to say on that one, though. I mean, he already has, or they already have an ignition tank. And reminder, chat room, the bottom two players on this loadout are out of the tournament today. So this is like, there's a lot riding on not losing here for these guys. Yeah. I honestly don't know. It's rare that you get to stage five and you don't know who's going to win. But this I one, no I'm, I'm at a loss. <laughs> Hopefully they all do well and have fun. Smile. Oh, there is a uke printer on stage five. Dan just okay. pinged it. Okay. Well, it's on the outer ring. I, I mean, he's the first one to see it. Dan could potentially win here. I mean, all you need is that... Honestly, that, yeah, honestly. Dan doesn't need the uh, the bands either. I would like to keep the ATG. Um, so if there is a scrapper nearby, I'd I'd try to keep it. But like, you can get so many, and especially like looking at someone's build like Goji's, right? Who has the spleen or even Waxy? Uh, mm -hmm. That would be insane. I'm surprised he only got the one. Well, like, he had the uh, regen moves, scrap. You just win. I think he's just waiting for Scrapper, maybe. I don't know. I don't think there's really anything you could lose there that would not be worth it. Shrug. I mean, uh, probably loop procking off of an ATG would be kind of crazy. It would be, but like that versus... A few extra procs from it. 10 all the time. Boots. And I mean, take the time to, to scrap. Either. There's no way he's not going into it, to be clear. I just think he's... Looking around, a he's little waiting bit. a little bit. Yeah, I hope that's the case. And it seems like he's the only one that found it, but he definitely had the confidence. Like, okay, I see it. I'm gonna go hit teleporter. I don't think yeah. Cap has seen it. Drone man out of the legendary chest that Waxy just got. Oh, can, okay. can this be a turnaround here, dude? If there's a gun on stage five and Waxy finds it, kills the wait, wait, wait it's empathy cores. cores from there it's from the boss. From the telly. It's actually just from the teleporter. Oh, Waxy. Holy. You need to go, my man. <laughs> he doesn't know that he needs to go, but he needs to go now. Wow. Really? That gamble on the legendary chest paying off for him, maybe. I don't know. Now I really don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't. The Drone Man Empathy Core build at the 11th hour. Holy shit. I think Waxy just saw the speed printer at the end. I don't know if he saw it there before. It's there's a card on the stage as well, which I don't think they need. That's kind of a little bit of a bait item here, probably. I want to pay attention to what Cap is seeing on this map. There's another ATG as well in the multi shop up top. And a feather. Oh, Cap, don't do it. Take the feather. Oh, no. All right. He took the ATG for an extra bit of damage there. Um, and he's just leaving. I would have taken the feather and just gone in all into polyloots, probably. And he's going to have to do pillars now. Yeah, unless there's maybe a headset, but even then, that's going to be way slower than just using the vase. Cap has to be really confident in his movement here. Um, he does have a just a couple of movement speed items on a quail with roll, so it's not like it's going to be easy for him. It's going to be a little bit tough. We'll see. And Dan is it looks like he's coping a little bit. He's not standing inside the teleporter a whole lot. Uh, it's got to be a little bit careful. Looking at Waxy, I need Waxy to print that uke. I need Waxy to hit TP. And I need Waxy to get that Emily Core build. I think he's going to loot run a lot more because he's scared about the no speed, honestly. Yeah. Um, Which is kind of scary. He already has so many drones, too. Oh, man. I think he's also almost like I mean, is a good play, but I think Waxy is looking around for a possibility of a gun as well for the Empathy Course, um, which does make sense. Yeah. There is a Scrapper on Stage 5 as well. I don't think really anyone is 
going to see it or go into it, but it's there. Oh, All right. What is the seed? I don't wow. know. Dude. It's like every time. <laughs> Cap doing pillars. It looks like he's going for a soul pillar first. He's having a really hard time killing a perfected elite, so we'll see how successful his soul pillar attempts are. I would have rather he just gone for design or something, um, but we'll see. If he has a good soul pillar here, it's worth it. If he doesn't have a good soul pillar here, it's not worth it. So that's the gamble. He's trying to go for the high roll. Mm. I don't know. I'm kind of looking at Dan now. Really? He's the only one that I think knows about the polyloop printer here. No one else found it. That's the craziest thing, actually. It was just on the outside. They just had to walk left and no one did it. Oh, man. But I, I want to see him go into it. Anything could happen in the Mythic fight because... Wa Waxy's doing the teleporter now, though, and he's going to have some cores here. So if, yeah. Wax, or if Dan takes too long... If oh, Waxy is comfortable enough to leave like pretty much immediately with that build, um, I don't know. We'll see. Cap is trying to do his second pillar. It seems like these soul pillars have been kind of slow for him. This one is pretty good, though, because the enemies spawn on the other side of the little uh, the wall. So this one's pretty free. I think that's why he probably went over to this one. Um, because he's like, you know what? We can just get the free one in the back and maybe just gamble for the other one next to it. Waxy's about to find it. Waxy's about to get it right now. And I want to see his face when he sees it. Oh, I yeah. I oh, don't yeah. imagine he's going to continue to loot. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. And good for Goji the actually getting some uh, sticky bombs from the uh, the whatever the soulbound. Wait, Goji didn't pick up all of their um, sticky bombs. They actually left one on the ground. They only picked up two. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I think Goji's going to finish first real time, but I'm actually looking at Waxy here. If Waxy leaves, if Waxy doesn't leave, then yeah. we, yeah. Cap is starting the fight, but yep. if Waxy goes immediately, I think he'll be able to overtake him. He does have the vase too. He can get right in there. And Dan did not go into the polyloop printer at all. Why? I don't know. Whatever. We're moving on. <laughs> it's. I don't even think Dan has a uh, a banned build besides his like shurikens, you know. So. Huh. Man. We'll have to oh, ask man. about that. Cap is having a decent fight. He does have a good capacitor band build here. And Goji is melting Mithrix as well. Goji has that plus five, though. That is really and rough. I think it's really going to cost them. Listen, though. I mean, Cap doesn't even have a feather in this fight. Like... The possibility of Cap dying here is very high. It's not like Goji's totally out yet. That's very true. Dan doing what he does best on the moon, staying around waiting for a vase to proc. <laughs> yeah, he used to do it at the All beginning, right, and some like I don't know. Sometimes it's faster to do that and then just wait it out, and then other depends times on your movement speed. Faster, just run. Oh, and Waxy did immediately go. Nice. All and right. He's got a fuel cell, so. He can get yeah. up there pretty quick. Coming out of nowhere. I'd love to see there it. There we go. I'm really excited. The legendary chest paid off in a big way this run. And it never does. You know, like it's always like absolute trash every time and it takes a long time to get. And it's like, <laughs> but Goji's the first one on the phase two. He's about to. And they're about to enter phase three, which is good. Um, Dan actually doing a lot of damage. A lot more than I guess I thought he would, but he does have the extra polyloot. Yeah. I want to see Waxy's but damage. Here we go. Let's see. I do too. This should be a lot. This is going to be nuts. It's not going to like instant kill Mithrix, but it's going to be a lot of like heavy. Look. Oh my God. It's free. And he's even shooting. Are, are his cores up? Yeah. Yeah. They're here. They're they here. Are. Oh. Holy hell. He's got to be careful of Mithrix though. Yep. You just got to survive. 
I dude, this is so close. They're all like basically within a phase of each other on Mythrix right now. And I have no idea who's gonna win. Obviously, Goji has a plus five, but like any of them could plus five here easily. Oh man. And reminder, it's the bottom close. two of this loadout are getting chopped. And the top two are going on to the second losers round, so. And phase two will go really fast for him as well. The oh, cores yeah. absolutely melt the ads. Everyone's just got to focus up. Oh, man. Goji on phase three. Oh. I'm ready, dude. Cap is done with phase two. Waxy starting phase two. Gart. Oh, no. Oh, Goji is in the middle of pizza right now, dealing with this uh, golem. Trying to get some... Okay, just get it out of the way. I'm going to say maybe try to set up for like a Shatter Splain uh, proc there or something, but it's this a little bit tough. This phase two is going so fast for Waxy. Waxy is starting phase done. three. Oh, man. Dude, Amber the Core Drone Man. There's nothing else to say about Never it. Fails. Never fails. Never fails. That's why you always try to go for it every run. <laughs> Goji is doing really well in their pizza. Oh, they're getting flanked by some ads here. Okay, they lived through another wave of it. Oh, man. Dan Waxy's is uh, starting cap. phase three right now as well. They're all in phase three, all of them. Oh, man. This is so close. Oh, it's another plus five for Goji. I don't know what happened. That's rough, though. That might be the uh, nail in the coffin for, I for think Goji so, on this unfortunately. one. Unfortunately, Having someone else or two other people get two plus fives each just to stay in. Um, oh, this is so close between Waxy and Cap. Dude. It might come down to a phase four skip. It might. Which would be and harder for Waxy because the drones will just kill him dude it might come down to cap not having the face to get to the ship faster right like that's it... true oh cap does face for a skip here and yeah. waxy doesn't it depends okay. oh dude if waxy has a tough time in phase four here he can actually die because of the empathy yeah, cores. Is... oh no this is and not the, good Cap has a lot of speed but he just needs to get second right yeah he just needs good to get second to cap. i Honestly, Good job, Cap. I didn't think Cap was going to win this one. Oh, no. He's yeah. got to be careful. He does have ATGs, I think. Waxy does. So he's got to be really oh. mindful. And Mythrix is shooting a lot of the ads right now. Uh-oh. He's getting prickled a little bit. Don't get hit Looks by like that shuriken. are distracting the other cores. Uh-huh. He's got to orb phase, which is really good. Dan almost done. Dan might go for a phase four skip right here as well. So we'll have to see. Dan not getting the phase four skip. Oh no. Waxy getting hit by an orb. The other cores are coming for him now. He needs to start running with the vase. Move. He needs to use the vase. He's uh, using it. He might get hit by an orb because he's really low ground. Drone. Okay. Dan just really going for the phase four damage right now, trying not to get hit by an empty core. It, it goes, it's between Dan and Waxy. Whichever one finishes first is going to be the first one, and they're going to get to the next loadout. Waxy finishes. Oh, but... He needs to get out, though. Oh, but yeah. Dan is a little bit uh, different on his clock because he started a little bit later. Oh, I don't right. know. I don't know. I think Dan is actually going to get ahead of Waxy and get into the next loadout, dude. Oh, no. And, and Waxy That's crazy. Because Waxy did not get the phase four skip and he spent so long on that. Oh my god. Yeah, look at they're so synced up right now. We'll have to see the end time, uh, just to be sure. That's the only way we're gonna be able to find out. But dude. <sighs> I, I have no idea. Bring in cap. You wanna bring cap in here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Congratulations! It's going pretty damn good. I was I was happy with that run. I think I played no, you did actually run. really good. Had some shit in it. <laughs> did Man. it? <laughs> oh yeah. We're waiting right now for a frame like win. Who gets in the next oh, load? God. Yeah. So because we have like load time stuff in here with the time, so I need to actually see the oh, end shit. clock sent to the website to see who is the actually real time winning. was crazy here. 
Yeah. <laughs> we're all there. Wow. We're, we're mm -hmm. all there. But Capacitor was the best. Well, well bring in Gochi as well. It wasn't. It was the Drone Man Empathy cores, but oh, you started uh, yeah, okay. the fight way sooner. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man. And everyone is out. Bring in all of them, please. I'm busy. Okay. Oh, my God. You're okay? <laughs> no. Welcome. Hey. Welcome hey. in. Um, I'm waiting um, on the website right. to tell me who actually got into the, the next loadout and who got what? eliminated. What? <laughs> really? Wait, Ooh, we're all finished at the same time? Yes. Wait, it yes. wasn't yeah. me, right? Cap is no, for sure no. in. I'm sorry. Cap for sure won. We're okay. Everyone on give a, a, a GG Goji wow. clap in chat, though, because they played oh, very shit. well, regardless. I'm sorry, um, but you were the first one eliminated out today. I hope it was uh, fun. It and was, you did well. It was really... Like, you were in such the lead so far Oof. in, and it was that bell that took you out. It was painful. It looks like Dan scrapes the head Dan of did. Waxy and uh, gets ahead. Um, <laughs> look at the times. To be Raymond Daniels, okay? <laughs> yeah, well, the GG of Waxy. Oh, my though. God. Did everybody oh, get the insane. drone, man? No. No, no one got the only one. No. The only and I one. still lost? Yeah. yeah. Yes. It was really close. <laughs> Where was right now it's embarrassing. All right, Jesus. Yeah, so where was the drone man? <laughs> In the legendary chest. Oh, oh okay. Oh wow. Cool. I that's like yeah. That's not okay. even cool. I didn't spend okay. enough. I mean, I just got everything else. Now, uh, there's some controversy. <laughs> there, there was a polyloot printer on stage five. Dan was the only one that saw what the it. Fuck. And yeah. he did not go into it really. No. Oh, I saw. I saw fuck? the. Uh, I saw the ukulele <laughs> printer. I didn't want to lose my bands. And uh. Mate, what? did you, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I, I doubt myself so much in races, man. <laughs> like, yeah, it's crazy. I, I, I am like, I'm so confident that I watch Cabbage play. I'm like, this guy is stupid, but he's why is he winning all the time? <laughs> why is he winning? Aww. I did pillars, by the way. <laughs> hmm? yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, you Cap didn't take the base a lot faster. I got the capacitor, and he still went faster. Yeah, capacitor, the capacitor bands. The yeah, bands just, and the capacity. You that just is your build, and then I, I, yeah, I just went. I God. tried to be as efficient as possible. Tried to find a pillar skip, but if I was just quick enough, I was able to outpace you guys. And oh, I mean, barely. I but I, was, I thought I was going TB to TB. I mean, I did loot a little bit on stage four, uh, four because of that legendary chest. I had enough money for it, and I was right next to it. I was just like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go mm. for it." Wax yeah. double soulbound too. To the phase four skip. Dan got a phase four skip oh, and you didn't. Oh, the phase I didn't get four phase skip. skip. I didn't I get phase four skip. I didn't get it. Didn't during, during that oh. last slice yeah. of pizza, I was oh, okay. like, okay, my drones are going to fucking kill him. I'm not going to be able to phase four skip. I was like, I accepted yeah. my fate at that point because the drones. Okay, the, the, real, the real moment that I was like, from the get go, I was like, I'm on the back foot. Did anyone lose their gas to no, the AP it was only with the scrap I, I, right I next it. to it? Yeah, That's I crammed it. Oh, you yeah. did yeah. too? Okay. Yeah, I crammed it big time. I went over, uh, like, I, like, oh, I have three white items. I risk one, gas straight away. I went over the hump. There was a two scrappers. Two. I was filthy yeah. the entire time. <laughs> Not a single of AOE the rest of the run. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was, okay, good. I was good a fun one. Did bands, right? Yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah. Oh. Uh, nice. Right, we well, had the shuriken for the TP, so I was like. A, a reason for yeah. two seconds. The yep. shuriken for the TP was really just like, okay, I, I need to just get these bands in. It was a pretty mm -hmm. easy spot. It was just the kick flip up the slanted. Oh, can someone tell K play? he's up? He's casting because all of my backup casters nice. are playing in one uh, <laughs> right now. <laughs> it happened. Which it happened. Who's, in the next, who's in the next one? Uh, it's going to be Cap, Dan, Corny, and Dispute. Okay. All Ooh. right. GG, uh, uh, Waxy, and Goji. You guys played well. Um, but you guys are the eliminated, yeah, so. Oh. Really close oh. real time on that Mando run, which is crazy. Yeah. All right, I had fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. Peace out. Hell yeah, guys. Good job, guys. GGs. GGs. Oh, what fuck. am I looking for right now? I have to play Flamethrower already now. Yeah. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Can we just play Blight Accord? Yeah. <laughs> Can we please do blight right. now? Is that me? Yeah. <laughs> In your like most despair moment.
begging for blight acrid <laughs> <laughs> we've had some rough ones recently uh, yeah <laughs> we'll see how this goes as long as i mean the main thing here same with the last one if you could just stay consistent you have a good chance of getting first or second but shit waxy was right there that was very close last loadout mm-hmm did anyone else get the two soul bounds on stage three? Yeah, 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 that was sad. <laughs> Even there, I was like, if I find a capacitor, I'll just take that and leave as quick as possible. And it was down there, so I was like, oh, I guess I have yeah. to do it now. <laughs> so I really wanted that capacitor. That's what I did. I really did. But like, yeah, I yelled was... myself so many times when taking the vase. Yeah, it was just so comfy, just yeah. knowing that you'll have damage. And then I got the yeah. soul bound on. What was the first soul, hey, soul band? First soul band was on oh, Abyssal. One. Oh, I got one on second. Five. Yeah, second was on this on Sky Meadow. Yeah. yeah near the spawn so I had two there, soul yeah. bounds getting through pillars with capacitor. Like, all right, not too bad. Chilling. Oh yeah, two salt. Yeah. Nice. All right, wouldn't take long at all. Nice. Mm. Good shit though. Man, really close times. Man, if I did, I reckon I could have won that if I didn't print my gas because I spent two of my TPs. I had to kill a boss after the TP was finished charging. Uh, so I couldn't yeah. kill anything. <laughs> it was rough. Rough. I yeah. think if you just went into the poly loot printer. Yeah, that's Yeah, that I probably should have more. So where was yeah, that? Like, too. On the other side I of the teleporter, been... like around the outside yeah. ring. Ah, the damn. ring that's not there sometimes. Mm. But like, and I have my ATG and my shuriken, my bands and stuff. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like your bands yeah, really do anything compared to the value of the, yeah. the poly loots, though. It would have been better. Yeah, if you just did that and you didn't loot that map, I think you would have been okay. Yeah. Well, I know. I'm still we into still got anyways. Yeah. Adi, so... Yeah, good luck. Right. <laughs> My favorite. Uh, <laughs> did someone talk right. hey? He's up? Or... No. No. Can someone do I'll that? jump in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What's up, Corny? What up, what up? K is hey. up, correct? K, you're in. Yeah. All right. Um, it happened. So it's going to be, yeah, it fucking happened somehow. So it's going to be <laughs> Cap, Dan, Corny, and Disputed. Um, <sighs> K, <I'll... laughs> Yeah. It's so funny. We you're have like backup guessing. casters prepared. Yeah. They're all racing. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. One, one constellation. Somehow you managed to no. get the wrong constellation. <laughs> No, Dude, the back. I've got the real drags. Sorry, chat. Can we can we start fast, please? So I I like yes, I yes. actually yeah. Well, I'll just do I'm a probably. twenty minute time and yeah, and then that that's fine. Moving. That's fine. You can. Yeah. I need one second before we can start. Please just oh, hold up. Right. Oh, this okay. is like it's, this it's is like oh like, like we'll be waiting in the dungeon. We'll be waiting in the dungeon. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. This is like Gen One. <laughs> like after if, we had this big Gen discussion about the generations were. Yeah, we had a risk of resource. OG racers right now. Gen Basically. one just cap is alpha racer. We we coined that alpha racers. Cap and, and grub yeah. are alpha. Then ever True. since we <laughs> like since January, like we haven't missed a week since January. Everyone who was there at the start is gen one. Limu, Cabbage, and uh, me are gen two, and everyone after is gen a uh, new gen. Yeah. New that's gen. what we decided. The I'll new take gen. Alpha you decided status, new that's gen. pretty good. Yeah, yeah you got alpha. alpha. And that's yeah, you're that's the only one who's data, active and alpha. Moved to alpha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm an alpha, so <clears throat> what the fuck is happening? Anyways, yeah. I am like not even listening. Right? <laughs> but, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we need to, we need to, uh, yeah, do something, right? I guess you need to wait this, a minute. This back. already loaded. Oh, so we got uh, ice. Oh. You get I mean, it. So the play now is yeah. looking for a uh, play of ignition tanks, right? Ignition. Tank I'm looking for a feather. I don't care about yeah. that shit. I know it's pretty free to be honest. Yeah. You should also have thirty. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, can we get a gamba on like who's going to be the first person to panic flamethrower? And I think it's Iron Surge. That's going to happen. I, I never do that. It's hard to spot, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I'm surrounded by like five wisps and I press uh, flamethrower, it's not intentional. Right? It's not intentional. Yeah. Surely. It, we'll, I'll definitely talk about it once it happens, okay? But maybe not make it a gamble. It'll, it'll Otherwise, happen. people are going to be mad. On, on whatever decision we take. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> true. <laughs> All right. I say anything, Kay. I think we are good to start. Thanks for being patient on me. 
Right. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. You guys luck, go and luck. play. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Except for Cat. Bye bye. All right. Fifth loadout. <laughs> so, what up, Kay? Welcome in. What up, yeah? Hell. Hello. I'm also here. No, it's been good so far. I watched the entire thing. I had a lot of fun so far. Oh, yeah. It's, it's fucking awesome right now. Um, hey, are my... we starting or are you guys going to tell us when to start? Yeah, you can, you can right start right now. Go. Start. Oh, Go. Okay. Shit. Do we need to <laughs> tell Corny as well? I can, I can go. Yeah, just make sure he knows. All right, chat. So this is the, the final losers bracket. So this is the, the losers of the winner bracket and the winners of the loser bracket. The bottom two players in this bracket are also being deleted chopped out of existence and the winners here are going to the final that's right we have another one after this it's so it's insane there's a lot of honestly we've been having to go to the absolute end of each run because we just don't know until like the last second really for any of these so they're insane it's, it's also not as going as long as i thought it would um we're i thought it'd be a lot longer today but we're actually doing okay every round has been decent so far in terms of items yeah even though we had bad loadouts like we haven't seen any like runs or was, anything i was scared but... yeah mm -hmm. so what do you think about this loadout okay? maybe now yeah the loadout is not great i Perfect. think the loadout is very playable but in terms of going fast it can get very tricky because most of these are very used to iron search and while flamethrower yeah, yeah. is definitely possible to play quickly on, if you aren't used to it, you just um, get into situations which you don't want to be in relatively easy. And that's the big danger here. Yeah, just like any um, any movement skill loss is just like... It's, it's hard because you always just throw yourselves into positions that you know you can get out of, you know, and you just don't have that anymore. Yeah. Like you just said, it's just... Like, oh, I'm here now. And like the realization of being in that situation that you didn't even think about. But positionally, you're just like, oh, I'm dead. Like, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead now. And Artie is unique, unique in the sense that um, you can float like forever with Iron Search and basically never touch the ground if you don't want yeah. to. But it's the complete opposite. If you play without it, you will basically never fly unless you, I guess, climb a structure like... Uh, like disputed is doing right now but it's mm -hmm. very opposite play styles because with oh, iron yeah. surge you usually don't touch the ground right you just sit in the air iron surge up and shoot them with your m2s and them once but now it's you actually got to kite enemies and pay attention mm -hmm. and a reminder chat um after next loadout we are doing the giant gup beanbag giveaway so if that's why you're here then uh, two more loadouts left. This one and the next. It's gonna be big, dude. It's. I mean, your chances of winning, admittedly, are pretty slim, right? There's gonna be a lot of people to enter, but, but, it's possible. It's only like what, probably one in a thousand, realistically. That's not bad to win a giant thing, you know. Fifty percent, essentially. The are you gonna? You don't. Are you gonna enter in the uh, GUP giveaway, K? I am. I mean, I'm going to be in class, so I don't know if I will like catch the timing, but I will try. <laughs> I will definitely try. I want to go. Don't listen to Kevin. There's no giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin is the worst. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be big. It's the last cup giveaway I think that I'm aware of that exists. Um, Man does one today, I think. Oh, does he? Never mind then. Why do you wait so long? Pretty sure. I know why we waited on Risk yeah, of Resources, because no. we only stream once a week, but... Uh, yeah, well, because Dan maybe wanted to wait to get, like, his dub RL. Did you know... know? Hold on, fun fact. Did you know Dan did his birthday stream so late that it was actually closer to the next birthday than the last one? He what? <laughs> you heard me. It's, huh? Huh? Didn't no, wasn't it like one of them it, was it, like his dream birthday and one of them was like his actual birthday? No, it, it took him like nine months to do a birthday stream. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and he still called it his birthday stream. I was like, "What are you talking about, dude?" <laughs> you... Anyway, so 
I'm not really surprised anymore. I take it back. I mean, it's, it's Dan, okay? Uh, um... It's Dan. Dan stuff. And look at that. Uh, Dispute's already going to say true. I, don't even, I looked away, and he's just there now. So, looks like there wasn't really much looting to be done. Uh, there's a Mocha printer on stage one here that Corny got. Which is kind of cool. It looks like uh, Cap went to it as well. Actually, Cap got a key, which I don't see anyone else have. And I like keys in races. That's great. Dan just, Dan just opened it. It left it on the ground, but he will uh. get it. And Corny should also, if he goes to the right now, then that's the key chest. Okay, it looks like Dan is uh, playing more of a macro approach to the uh, Mocha printer, which is right next to TP. Just giving up a few of the white items and getting the key later, which is totally fun. It um, gives more, uh, like, attack speed, ben like, same throw benefits from attack speed, right? Yeah. So, more procs. But also, it's just faster charge on the uh, the M2, which is just more damage as well. Which isn't oh, bad. And These stages speed, um, is... can be kind of rough if we don't get a feather or something. These are stages I'd want to see if I had Iron Surge, probably. Because, um, you know, uh, RPD and sirens can be pretty heavy on, like, rats and larvae and stuff. So we'll see how they kind of handle that situation when they get there. Hopefully they, I mean, obviously they all went into the mocha printer a little bit. Disputed going into it less than the others. I think you want to keep the healing and the crowbar. But, and the wrap. He was talking about the wrap earlier. He really likes them. But the no speed issue is kind of going to be the big one. Oh, and there's a speed printer on the stage. No. Oh. Oh. Solved. Solved. Easy. <laughs> Everyone should take time to loot and um, print some speed then. Because out of we, the, we... Uh, yeah. Out of the yeah. key box is a will o wisp actually, as well. Well, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Gives a little bit of AUG, uh, AOE. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, no no aerial mobility problem gets solved a little bit by movement speed because it makes kiting a lot easier and therefore you don't miss high in surge as much. Yeah. And I think yeah, with a feather, you'll be fine, falling. though, if they ever find one. Yeah, feather is the other big item they're looking for in terms of mobility. Mm -hmm. I think wax ball is also going to help, but it can also feel a bit bad because artificer's acceleration isn't great, and Correct. sometimes it, uh, there are situations where you don't want to get looked into a certain direction, you know? <laughs> yeah. I think that's why it's kind of unfortunate that it's a an energy drink printer, not a hoof printer, though. Because I feel like the energy drinks really send you off in a way, and it's really hard to uh, counteract that acceleration momentum. So, at least they have some speed, though it does help, obviously. But I find whenever I have like only uh, sprint speed with Artie, it gets sometimes a little bit rough. Mm. So, yeah. Did anyone wait to see if there was a scrapper on the stage before? No. I don't think in. so. I think they just saw it and just started blasting items in the printer, so. <laughs> Doesn't look like there is too much on the stage. No, just kind of like... I've seen like a leeching... <laughs> the leeching seed out leeching of the tri shop. And, um, Shurikens, which... The tri shop and the large chests yeah. take up a lot, and then they give you squid polyp and, and leeching seed, and you kind of... There was a shuriken... In a, in, a other, in a different tri shop, or was it the tri shop with two question marks? It's a tri shop with the Reckler and the uh, Pred. Okay, yeah, then there is a second tri shop with that, which has Shriken. Yeah, okay, nice. Okay, so two. Interesting. That's why there are no items, because green tri shops cost a lot in the early game. Yeah, they're very expensive. I think. And there's a large healing chest for the Aegis. <laughs> oh, of course. We see where the credits win there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they can open that up and get the uh, the Aegis. So that would be really good with their build with the, the leeching seed that they just got. Um, that'd be fantastic. Type in Aegis if you a... love Aegis. <laughs> yeah. You could also open Interstellar Desk Band because they always are on the ground with Flamethrower. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I mean, there, there are things out of it that aren't like that bad, but like overall, it's going to be something not great either. <laughs> if they have the money, they will open it up, I would assume. But uh, definitely passing it up is not a direct loss. No. We see people struggle a bit with the boss here. Corny's kind of low especially. here. Yeah. yeah he's, he is glooping. He doesn't get to attack the boss. He's just... 
He did let go of his slug uh, stage one in favor of just the healing drone and Mocha. Mm, yeah. Um, but he's still taking a lot of damage here, and he gave up the wrap as well, which means like his ability to stay in the teleporter safely is a little bit low. He did charge it to full 99 already, so he doesn't have to be in here anymore. I don't think he's just looking. I think he's just kind of in the zone right now, though. But they, they all don't really have a lot of damage yet, so bosses like this are a little bit tough early they game. Have a little bit. What do you mean? They, oh, right. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> I forgot. Look how much damage they don't have was procs for it yet. No. They don't have procs for it yet, but once they have procs, the flamethrower is going to start doing things still, but we can uh, pretend like it does something. Oh, yeah, true. And the boss item is up on a branch. Cordy's looking for it. Where did it go? Where is the boss? It's another oh. gloop. It's <laughs> another, another gloop. gloop up in the tree. <laughs> Unfortunately, stacking gloops only reduces the cooldown it has. Yeah. It, I think it goes from 30 to, I don't even know what it goes to. I don't even remember either. <laughs> I yeah, doubt they're going to have a gloop build. I really hope that they find a boss printer. Actually, that's that's kind of the hope here. If they find like, I don't know, like a little disciple printer or something, that would turn this build upside down. And we still have a few stages oh, yeah, for that to happen. Uh, energy drinks. Mm -hmm. Anything would be good here because two gloops are essentially useless. Like one is okay for bad situations, but you are never going to use your gloop twice unless it's like a really bad situation, but you don't want to. No. So, And especially like we're wanting to hang on the watches that we find, not really give them up for gloop damage. Yep. It's good with engineer. Once we find them. But this is not engineering. So, <laughs> uh, looks like a few of the guys. He's not engineer. Huh? Oh. oh. What? Okay, dispute. So I said disputed is happy. It's not. It's not engineer. And then he proceeded to almost die. But he blew all the enemies away. Actually, I think yeah. Corny got a backup mag from a shrine, intended on going to print more speed, and then forgot about the backup mag. I thought he already had one. I don't know. Maybe I'm insane. I thought he left one there though. Someone did. I don't know. Well, Dan just bought both of those and decided to go into the energy drink now. Yeah, he's uh, he's keeping those two items. Interesting is Dan did not open his key. Hmm. And he is probably going to lose that here. Which kind of tells me he just takes the items and leaves after picking them up. Yeah. It also means that if he ever finds another key, he will get a different item because his lockbox spawned and uh, the... Correct. So what are the whispers in there? Yep. I learned it now. You are learned you proud it. Of me? <laughs> I am proud. He said the thing, dude. I don't have to be the one that says it every time. Oh, Corny found a band. State Corny, the first one. Oh, easy. To stage three, and he found a band immediately. Not Everyone was, really but I needs him that. on the beach. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is gonna be the weird thing now. Uh everyone else has shurikens, which is fine right now. And it still is fine with the band, but they need to be more conscious of when their band proc is up um, because otherwise they're going to be losing damage if it's not with the m2 so yeah if you charge up that's like quite a big difference mm -hmm. and especially see, with um... the mocha attack speed it's going to realize oh they got a tc drone nice yeah. <laughs> we love that i'm sure everyone is going to buy that one well yeah because it's good What's the next stage? Oh yeah, Siren's yeah, it's next gonna do stage. a lot of damage. Oh man, <laughs> it's totally not gonna get stuck and die in the next ten seconds. It wouldn't do that. Once you go, TC is better. Once that. you go to Siren's, no, never, shut up, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Okay, there is yeah. Okay, the fire, but the the ice band is in front of the cave entrance at the okay, beach. Yeah, yeah. In the small chest, yeah. Just to the right, I think, when they Dispute, spawn in. Disputed got it, and, and Cap also has it. So we're only looking at Dan, who is kind of in a different spot already. So let's hope he goes back to find that. Missing that would be terrible on, on Artificer. Devastating, even. And it looks like Corny is the first one to start the boss. Hopefully they get a... Uh... I mean, it would be cool to get another boss item. Two in a row, maybe then into three in a row. But could proc a lot of turfs with flamethrower. Just saying, Murph. And it would also like ignition tanks. The stocks would go up even higher. Oh yeah, the 
the fucking the socks for flamethrower true <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i'm about to lose everything would actually be really cool if we, if we if we saw a firebolt like true firebolt it would be cool actually but we'll see i mean hopefully there is it's some sort of like ignition no tank somewhere happening. yeah Yeah, reminder, chat room, the top two players from this loadout are going on to the final, and the bottom two racers in this loadout are being chopped. So this is a kind Bad. of a big one for these guys. If they don't make it in the top two, I mean, they're out for the day. So they really, really are hoping that they can uh, stay in for the final loadout after this. High pressure situation. Very high pressure. Because, like, usually in a normal loadout race that we have, um, you get to play four in a row. No big deal. Uh, there's never any threat of elimination. It's just kind of like, oh, you kind of win or lose, but not playing the next loadout because you're just terrible. That's kind of high pressure, dude. You kind of got to gotta log in and Imagine do your best. losing, dying, not being in the final. Couldn't be me. Imagine losing the final. Losing out on content. <laughs> and that's the other thing. Everyone wants to everyone wants to be in and play more too. So That's true. And the teleporter item was Bandelier, I think. Unless he just didn't pick it up yet, in which case it's probably also bad. But yeah. I think it's Bando. It should be. I didn't see either. And there's an adaptive chest. Corny adaptive chest. Corny adaptive chest. Uh, there's a lot of good options there. Could, Looks like he took the goat. That was a decent choice. That was pretty good. I think honestly, if I was in that situation, I probably just taken the crit. Uh, the first one that showed up or something, because I think the damage here is a little bit low. But I don't know. There were some good choices there. I think he took a good one. But what I noticed is that after like playing re uh, returns for a while. And mm -hmm. the adaptive chests there are so much faster than Dude, in this game. They're so crazy. Back and it was so slow, it was so free. I'm See? not even gonna lie that like suddenly the adaptive chests were so free here. And they even are very good in returns because I feel like you get around 50% of the time for some reason. I am so bad at the ones in returns, but lately I've been getting <laughs> better. I just like it. My age is showing, dude. I have I have old man reactions now, dude. I can't. I'm not one You're of those boomer. young, spry, fucking one millisecond reaction gamers anymore. But I am actually. I've been pulling some good items from it. So I need. I think I just need to practice to see which items that like I want and to recognize them and yeah. download that into my brain. But it's crazy how much faster they are in a in that game. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's funny though. <laughs> And Corny is off to All stage right. four, the first one. Siren's Call. What I'm looking for on Siren's Call is one, they have a Void Seed, so they could try to lure Abu into it. Only problem being, the Void Seed is pretty far away. Mm -hmm. So the other option they have here is just not like spawn Abu at all, and then well, Corny is going to spawn Abu, but they couldn't like not spawn her, and then after doing TP and finishing everything, try to Abu skip with Ice Spear, Nano Spear. Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't really seen many Awu skip attempts today. I feel like of the two times that we had Siren's Call, or was it just once? I don't know. It's been a day. Uh, I was hoping to see more, but I'm sorry. It looks like Corny is think... going right for Awu, though. He's hitting eggs. He's finding them. So we'll see yeah. if he can get the instant skip, but um, he's definitely going for the uh, the Awu Void Seed tactic. There's also a Scrapper on Stage 3 that I didn't see before until right now. The cap is going into it. Well, there are no no good printers on that stage, right? So it's just mm. preparation. Yep. The this is the stage. I think if someone is going to die, it's going to be on this stage. Um, nah. I don't know. I don't think anyone will necessarily. I just think if it happens, it's going to be here. Stage so. 5 also, I think. Without the, without the mobility, stage 5 can get very dangerous. Barney, by the way, just found the Wood of the Wisp. Wait, I, I'm 100% sure if I saw him find the Wood of the Wisp. Yeah, he found it. Nice. Uh, from the lockbox. Because he did not get 
he was the one to leave without the key, right? Or, or am I confusing things? What's the second lockbox? Oh, oh. Uh, Dan just died. I'm a seer, dude. I can see into the future. Uh, <laughs> so Glacial the, the brass totally contraption gave... horde, by the way, <laughs> in the cave. Yeah, I, I was going to talk about that. I was just uh, trying to yeah, finish yeah. my point. Yeah. yeah. Horny got a one of the wisp out of the lockbox, and I'm confused whether or not that's the second lockbox giving another one of the wisp or him not having a key before, but he has one will of the wisp from before. So probably just the I, second I don't know how, how Yeah, okay. But yeah, the, the boss is a horde of many gla glacial brass contraption and then immediately yeah took uh took one to the head apparently. A clean plus five to the dome. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a scary map, dude. Oh, oh. Disputed oh. was on three HP. Holy not, not shit! The cap, sorry, the the the, the, the order is wrong uh. for me. Cap was on three HP. <laughs> okay. Cap actually good. going to find that egg so he can get healed by it. Really good. That's kind of rough, dude. Thank God he didn't have any watches. He would have broke them. That's that's yeah. the best when you you get low but you live and you didn't lose out on like your whole build because of it. You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh man. We see also Dan still Dan's Dan's in a really not... bad spot here. There's larva all around him. He's There's a done, corrupted no. elder on the TP just camping it. So he's got to figure out a plan <laughs> of attack here or something. Maybe use the flamethrower for good damage. Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, yeah. I think. Oh, uh, Dan's dead. Oh, no, he lived. Oh, Cap. Cap. Dude, why? why I... I'm, I'm just seeing it wrong all the time. Yeah, it's fine. Pop left this cap. I'm, cap I'm sorry. Barely cap lived there. the second time getting to under like 10 HP for a cap. Yeah. <laughs> what Holy hell. And you were talking about earlier, like no one would ever gloop twice. Well, gla cap Making is glooping. Me my words. Fucking... Making me eat my words immediately. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Did Horny oh. kill Abel yet? Did, did, did that happen, by the way? I don't know. Because I have no in... idea. In what the red item is. Maybe... I don't know. He spawned Ewu, and the void suit is still there, so I'ma just assume that it died. Otherwise, it would be annoying him the entire time. Maybe he's gonna get the red right yeah. now. Oh, okay. the red is there, and red it is mist. laser scope. Laser Not scope. Bad. No crit. Without a single crit. But, you know, I, I, there's I, crit okay. on the stage somewhere, also, to be clear. There is, yeah, there is crit on the stage, but there is a bingo tile called laser scope without any crit, so it actually happens. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to find that out because it was like, yeah, that's never going to happen, but it's funny. <laughs> I put it on. What's happening today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is tough, man. There's also an ATG on this stage. Which is really good. In front of the... Cap is glooping uh, again. Right cave entrance. <laughs> no one has gotten more value out of this thing than he, like, did, than he has. Like, it's so... So I, good. I don't know how he didn't die. Like he should have been dead twice. Oh my god, he's scaring me even more. Okay, he's fine, it's fine. Holy edge. I mean at this point, yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Alright, we see Corny clearing the void seat. One item is a Wungus, and the other is Polyloot. Okay, Poly that's big. Nice. No, I hope everyone goes and gets items. It. Yeah. Yeah, they should. It, after the TP, it's like one or two enemies remaining maximum. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's the second one of the wisp. Yeah. Because Dan did not get the first one, and this one is just the second one. Oh, a backup mag printer for Ice Spear Artie. This is actually really big potentially here. It'd be good. And there's the second ice band. Oh, nice. Where? Oh, on the the it's, little spire it's, uh, rock. Yeah. It's, if yeah, you yeah. go into the into the wreck and then yeah. Quite hidden actually. You don't okay. disputed might as get I it right say now. that yeah, disputed yeah. gets it. But... Yeah, not so hidden, dude. Relax. <laughs> it is in a in an unconventional spot. Oh no, I agree with you. I agree. <laughs> it looks like everyone is gonna get that uh that poly loot. Corny leaving without getting the crit, which was in the teleporter, actually. The uh the crit chest was. Corn is actually the only one who killed yeah, Awu as well. So. Yeah, and I don't think Cap is gonna. Cap, Cap didn't start the TP yet. What? Like, 
Yo, Cap, you gonna leave without a point? No, he didn't start the DP yet. <laughs> I oh, just realized. Man. He was just having such a hard time with the rest of the stage. Oh, that's yeah. that's not good. But, I mean, Dan we already about a... has a plus five anyway, so... We didn't talk about equipments, did we? Cause not we... really. Cap and uh, Disputed have a pillar skip in Chrysalis, while Corny and Dan do not. Oh my god, Cap got was frozen on stage four. Most and... <laughs> It Holy must have been on stage four, because Corny... Yeah, so, like Cap has it and Corny doesn't, so that's actually quite a big difference. That's something Corny's really missing here. This Dan tried to Abu skip, did not get it, did not get the. That's a watch printer right when they spawn into skill. stage five, by the way. Right in front I, of me. I don't know if Dan wants to go into that. He uh... has like 19 watches, PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have a plus five, so he might be like, hey, gotta do something, and then just go into it. Who knows? I, I would approve of the play, I'm just saying he could be, so... <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. He's in the place to do it, though. Definitely. Disputed hitting the TP as soon as he found it on stage five, by the way, spawning Zy constructs. Two of them. Which isn't amazing, especially on, on Ari with no mobility, but he has a chrysalis, so he is fine. We'll have to see how uh, how Corny and Dan deal with it. Dan so far, it, it looks like Corny and Disputed are doing a lot better here. Sorry, I thought you were done talking, and then you kept talking. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> it, it seems like uh, Disputed and Corny here are doing the best so far. But I feel like this is one of those loadouts I could just like turn on a dime. So I don't know. I mean, it may be that Cap, in all of his cope right now, comes back later and gets uh, qualified for the final, but <laughs> I don't know. I feel like in Mythrix, anything can happen with Flamethrower. With, um, it's a lot less scary to fight Mythrix with Iron Surge because you can yeah. be the entire fight in the air. The only problem there is Pizza, and it can get wonky to dodge while in the air, but with I mean, Flamethrower, they... you're constantly on the ground. and uh, Head Stompers on damn. TP Stage 5! On TP Stage 5, that is a pillar skip. Oh, well. uh, they have bans. Um, they just won't be able to get up in the air with it in the Mythrix fight without a quail or something. So, interesting. Oh, but, well, the Chrysalis uh, people will. Oh, that's true. But that's still a long cooldown, though, for, like, what, two stomps or something? Mm, yeah. It's not, it's not ideal, but they can make use of it. I don't know if it's worth even, but worth pointing out. It is. Just have to make sure they don't... Um, get into do a uh, prison in the wing prison because if they get into the wing prison while skip. stomping then they are in the air for a while <laughs> yeah thank oh. god dan doesn't have the chrysalis oh dude don't remind me there. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest clip on this channel probably dude <laughs> it is <laughs> it is amazing oh dude I am really hoping that Dan opens that chest that he's walking around because it is the Stompers. Even if it like you can't use it to do damage right here very well, I mean, it's still a feather, essentially, so it would help him out a lot. And he's going to... Oh, he tried to open it. He didn't. I, I'm being teased. This whole interact. Dan. There he goes. He got it. <laughs> and a like, feather oh, from TP. Just... So this is really good. This TP is giving them pretty much everything they need to be fine in the Mythrix fight. Um, I was a little bit worried for them for like, you know, just being able to dodge all the Mythrix stuff. But Feather plus Head Stomper is, is beyond free for these guys. I think the only one who did not want to see these items might be Dan. Oh, means Dan is glooping. Plus five is a lot less. He's fine. <laughs> Loop and Broach interaction is cool. Disputed walked away from the teleporter. Um, not really that much money right now. I really Disputed does not have enough money. To oh, open up the uh, chest. Oh. oh, he did. Okay, nice. There goes. Yeah, okay, okay. That was you. You scared me there, but I think Disputed opened it first, and that's when you saw it. <laughs> oh, okay. Might have been corny though. Anyway, everyone is going to find it. Cap, is, Cap also found it. Yeah, everyone has... No, Cap is on stage 4. What am I saying? Cap is top left. Okay. You need to <laughs> lock it in, dude. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. It, it does... 
uh, you know, seem bad that Cap is still on stage four, and it does seem kind of bad that Dan has a plus five, but still. And Corey is off to the moon, actually, the first one there. So let's see how his uh, skip goes. Oh, wait, can they skip with headset with Artie? I don't remember. There's like one of the spaces yeah, that's weird with Artie, right? That's the no, one they, they can if they know what they're doing, then they definitely can. Oh, so Kevin just at, the, at the bridge, as soon as you get out, you yeah, have just, to just, yeah, just click space. Feather, I then yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold I space remember, and I remember. look at the rock. That's the most important part. Looking at the rock. True. We're like one of like three people. Okay, you can see the rock. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Nah, nah. More people see the rock. They don't realize, but they see the rock. Yeah, it's just like it's a timing thing. Once you spawn back up, you just need to to jump. Usually, with every other character, you can just hold space, but with Artie, she floats, so you just need no, to. No, you need to hold space here. You need to hold space here. Oh, you're gonna use feather. Oh, like when you you hold space when you teleport up, but you need to jump. Oh yeah, you need to let go of space, or you're gonna hover. Yeah, yeah. that's what I just said. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> you're correct. You are absolutely correct. I'm Thank sorry. You. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and the other key box I mean all the key boxes there just fucking will us out <laughs> Cap finally on stage 5 everyone else on the moon on the moon yeah I mean listen like disputed or corny they could still die and Cap still could come back but it is kind of tough uh, I like disputed having the wings though that is really good um, but we'll see Thing is, I think Cap Cap struggled a lot with stage four TP, so I think he might be thinking of looting a bit before hitting TP on this stage. I think he so. He didn't know well. that headset is inside a TP, and there is a void seat you can clear. There are gaps you can clear for money, and you can loot. And he's kind of he doesn't know it obviously, but he should be going if he wants to have a chance. Okay, Corny, looking Corny at the disputed rock. He is both looking missing at it, the uh, the host skip there. They're using their feather, um, so a little bit rough. Yeah. It looks like the spear is just going to wing up, <laughs> which is, he's like, I'm not going to fail it again. Up. Yeah. The thing is, the others can't. Yeah. And that that's still going. Yeah, Dan, no, Dan did not get it. He got a bad jump. He might just go for the for the other spot now. Corny so shaking work. his head. And the Spears fight. This is really good. If they can't get the host skip here, then they're either going to have to do pillars or something. So. If Dan gets the host skip and Corny still struggles, then plus five might also be like not important or he could offset it. Yeah. And Dan is enough? going up? No. Doesn't look high enough. No. He needs to do I mean, it again. He can cycle it. He needs to roll it again, then. If he's inconsistent at it, then... That's true. Did he use his feather? I don't know. Oh, yeah, looks like he, he got it. it. And... No, he didn't. Oh. <laughs> one more, one more. He got hired. Oh, it works, man. Okay? We see the speeded stomping. Took, like, a good fifth of Mythric's health there. Which is very good, considering you can just take the last third with ice... Uh, wall or nano spear. Mm -hmm. He's really getting good freezes um, here and having good uh, freeze yep. up time. They all have backup max, right? At least one. Um, disputed, disputed has none. Hasn't. No. But um, as soon as you have one backup max, you can always have Mythric stunned. Like you can cancel his every yeah his every jump. So, oh, corny, corny might have to just do pillars. And that's what he's kind of thinking now, yeah. Really tough, because he got there the earliest, too. But it's just like, it's kind of a hard uh, thing if you don't know the the mm, timing yeah. for it, so. This could be Dan's, Dan's avenue back into the into the competition for our finals. It depends how long Corny takes on Pillars. Not only does it take time, it's also Pillars are dangerous he has and, two to design yeah. right next to each other but i'm already scared for him 
I am with all scared these as well. running around and he I'm getting knocked around by by the pillar itself and Tap found the headset. Good. And he's doing TP. But um still far behind. Not impossible to catch up, but probably would need plus five by by Dan or by Corny. Disputed definitely looking the best here. Oh yeah. I really hope Disputed keeps this uh, momentum forward and has a good mm -hmm. phase three. Because he's doing really well. Even if he fell to low HP, he would have gloop. And ironically, he could gloop all the uh, phase two enemies away. True. I mean, yeah, no watches. No so. watches to loot. He even has an elixir, so he wouldn't probably wouldn't die unless he got like one shot by Mythrix. It's like one get out of jail free card plus gloop on top. <laughs> and here we go. The you speed see how is in phase three. Do you see how many curse decks this Peter has? 11. Is it 11? Which is and just enough to have uh, yeah. one shot protection, by the way, chat room. If you have 12 curse stacks, you do not have one shot protection and you can get one shot by stuff. So, like pizza. <clears throat> Eat a pizza. Eat a pizza, get healed, and loop Mythrix. That's quite a, a bold play. But I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm not saying you should go for it. I'm saying it's a possibility. Corny. Dan is already in phase two because Dan's damage is very good. Um, as disputed is. Corny just He's struggling with the ads. Yeah. I think there is a there is a wisp he can't he can't kill yet. He can't get close enough the to perfected use or shocker. Near him as well. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he can't use flamethrower, he can't get in there with it? Damn. Nah. Okay, it came close enough. You, you can't stun the the elite wisps. You can't stun the normal wisp either, can you? With the ice, which makes it very annoying to deal with them. Disputed doing pizza right now. He's just got to be careful. He can take one pizza hit, but not if he gets hit by an ad first. So he's got to be really careful. Corny's still on this pillar, and look how bad it is. He might actually plus yeah, five it's... here, unfortunately, too. It is really he bad. He's blooping. Oh no! And he plus five still. No, that he is. He died anyway. That is rough. That is so painful, right, man. It's, it's Dan looking to lock it in here. Dan and dispute it. They oh, just both man. need to finish without dying, and they got it. It is so painful. Disputed is going up for hopefully his final stomp. He does hit Mythrix, and that should be just about the threshold. He's trying to go for. A a phase four skip here a little bit okay he's fine he's fine he's just got a spear right now and oh something ate his ice band something ate the speeded's ice band he didn't get the skip <laughs> it was an atg from something oh my god so he has to do phase it's four fine, now though. i mean it's, it's fine. It, it is just, fine it's just for, like man. For phase four trust he got He's it. just got to really not mess up here. If he messes up here, then he has gloop. Okay, he can he can always just gloop. He doesn't have. Oh, he has it back here. You're right. We're good. He's giving the ice band. Oh, I thought Actually, he had a fire band. Never mind. I'm insane. He didn't have fire band. I thought you were just referring to him. No, I up I literally just thought they had both bands for some reason. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. My bad. Unfortunately not. No, it's my bad. I said Farben instead of Ice Band at some point, and you might have just picked it up unconsciously. Yeah, it's actually your fault. Uh... <laughs> it's my fault. I'll take that again. Oh, no, I just didn't know. Right, it's so easy to say they have both. Really good Disputed job, Disputed. Got it. Disputed is going on to the finals. Um, Dan is looking good to go on to the finals here, but we just don't know yet. He could still die here again, so. I don't know. And we have to make sure that uh, Dan or no one has a chance to even catch up to Dan at all. And meaning just Cap. We'll have to see Cap's damage here because Cap did print seven watches. Oh, so true. there is a potential. That is true. All righty. But this is, this is getting really close now, though. Beauty's taking years to get to the ship. Oh, I know.
He doesn't have many years left, dude. <laughs> this phase four should gonna, be pretty free for Dan, though. So I'm gonna leave as soon as the dispute is in the car. By the way, I have class in like three minutes. All right, that's I fine. Should have gone like a while ago. But thank you for uh, like at least one is in here. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being our backup caster today. When oh, the actual was, was worst funny. of the worst happened, and all of my backup <laughs> casters got so into funny. one loadout together, so I mean, it was. It was funny seeing these uh, four first-gen racers go at it for a chance to uh, to meet uh, Cabbage and Ruddy in the final. Yeah. And there was another good loadout, by the way. We we had, uh, in terms of items, mm -hmm. we had a lot of suboptimal loadouts today, but always we, there was just something, like a lot of things actually in there, making it good. Fully loot, headset, ATG, a band early on. No bad loadouts today. Cap has the potential to catch up here, actually, which is crazy, but it could theoretically happen. Yeah, look, Dan is so slow, by the way, to get to yeah. the ship. And Cap can use his chrysalis. Yeah, true. There's that as well. But he also just has so I much think damage. Cap is faster. Cap is faster right now. Unironically. He needs to end this first phase. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's bring right. disputed as well. GG. Hey. Hey. I do. And K is out. So it's just me and you, dispute. What up? Congrats, by the way. You won. Yes. You won. Oh, that head stomper in the stage five teleporter. The I know. <laughs> Holy shit. That was like the what? thing. You excited about going to the final loadout? Yeah. Huh. Cap is in wing prison right now. Um, yeah, that happened to me. I swear to you, there no. was a moment I'm like, oh, I'm dead now. Cap greeted, and he should have just gone for the, the step up there, and he could have gotten a head stomp, and then he just wasted all that time. Cap needs to kill Mithrix within a couple minutes to catch up to Dan and actually beat him to the final. Um, so that was really not good. <laughs> Cap has a lot of damage here, though, so we'll see. It could happen. Corny, unfortunately, dying again. Corny didn't get the pillar skip because he didn't get um, wings and he couldn't do the headset skip very well in Artie, so he had to do pillars and he died on him, which is really unfortunate. Man, K clocked out so quickly. <laughs> Dude, he has class now. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah, he wasn't even supposed to like be here. Man, that was a, a tough one. No AoE. Oh! Really? All Cap has to do is phase four, and if he can do it quickly enough, um, he can actually beat Dan. Oh, this is really close. He has to just not mess up this phase. If he does it really well, and he stays up with his damage and everything, then it'll be good. If not, then this could be rough. Tensely watching... What up, Dan? Oh, good day. Cat might beat you right now, which means you might not go in the finals, but we'll see. What was happening? I've got He's doing radio, phase so... four. Yeah. He's using Sorry. the colossal damage of flamethrower. And there we go. I think, I think that was enough. We'll see if how he does if he gets to the ship yeah, I think though. Forty-five in like time. or something, wasn't I? No good portals. 46, 46 and a half. 32. Ugh, yeah, easy. Oh, uh, GG. He has wings here. Yeah. This looks Holy good. Holy shit. Wow, really scraped by. So, how was your run, Dan? I mean, you died. So Dude, I got blasted by those bills. Holy hell. <laughs> I pressed my gelatin too, and it was, wasn't enough. It just, uh, I don't just know if I hit it the frame that it hit me. I don't know, yeah. but it does... Like they went off, but like I still just I feel like I only got hit by one and it did all my health. So I got felt like a frame off hitting that gelatin, I'm not sure, but yeah, it was fine. The bands are good. All the mobility came at the end with the stompers feather right next to the stage five TP. Mm -hmm. Can you skip the stompers feather on Artie? It's weird. Yeah. With the feather. Yeah, it is weird. If I didn't have enough speed to be able to counteract a god awful <laughs> acceleration, I wouldn't have been able to. Oh, you just did it in like the safer spaces spot. 
Yeah, but like I only just just skipped by without hitting my head on top of the teepee, on top of the stage. Oh, nice! I found like just, and that was with like six energy drinks and a red whip, which is insane. Jeez. But uh, yeah, it doesn't work. The feather messes you up with Artie. Oh, that was a stressful yeah. one. No AOE, like the entirety of that run. I know. Well, like, that's been my last two runs. I've had no AOE periods. Yeah. That one um, wisp, I guess. Can someone go in and tell Corny he's off the hook? For sure. Hey. Hey. One of I you get, three. Uh, Thank you. This you got. What happened? Yeah, you got a third, so you're out. See you, loser. I'm going next one. So you threw? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, I plus five. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It was actually really close, uh, Cap. <laughs> Even though he plus fived, uh, you were like a minute away from him. So shit, he barely scraped in. Hey, yeah, Corny, how's like it was... going? Yo, I feel like I was struggling through those early stages. No, you were struggling. It's kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> It was brutal. Plane throw arty. Yeah, so I got, was... uh, I got blasted by the bells. I started stage three TP mm. and turned back myself. I used the elephant just a second too late, and I got the fucking blasted. <laughs> just instant. Yeah. I was really trying my hardest not to die. I've died. I glooped like five times. Dude, that I don't know how uh, you didn't die. Actually, <laughs> I don't know either. You got to like under ten uh, health like three times on stage four. <laughs> to be clear, so. Yeah. 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 Um was, was there anything that we missed or not is really. it disputed just a god gamer? It was just tough. Yeah. He's the Everyone he's got the stompers he, at the end. Yeah. The head stompers were so nice. Yeah, dude. Shit. The gift from the heavens. <laughs> um, mm. Gents, is there something that I have done wrong once again with the host skip or are you not like you are allowed to do it with the feather or not? That one is uh, tricky. There's a setup yeah. for it where you have to hold space. So you have to use your feather and then you have to hold space right before you spawn back at the top or else you'll get your feather back and then, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, with Artie, All it's right. weird because you have the hover. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you have to yeah. time it. That one, I think Waxy has a, a clip of it. Maybe you can study Shit. that one. There's like, a, yeah. there's like a shadow you can use to judge when to hold space. Oh, that, nice. that was tricky. I don't know on that, Courtney. I found wings on stage four. Yeah, that's what oh, I did too. Much better, much better. Yeah. Yeah, I was the same boat as you, Courtney, but I spent to the normal safer space spot and did it. And just did it there. Nice. So, but yeah, yeah, it's weird. You gotta practice. Party. You gotta practice. We out. It's fine. GG, uh, gents. Oh, GG, Rough guys. Well done. That was scary. Go then you're yeah. casting with me, I think, by the way. So you're not leaving. Right, For the cool final? Base. The finals, yes. Oh yeah, yeah like, finals. is there is there no one else? Like, <laughs> <laughs> guys being banished to the shadow realms. <laughs> um, let's see. So for the final, it's going to be cabbage, ruddy, Shit. disputed, and cap. So I need to set up the thing for that. But uh, can someone go to make sure that they're ready? Also, can we get a GG clap for Dan and Corny? You guys did great. It was obviously GG. just a GG tough GG one, um, but it was really well played. Really you, so, like, it was it was close all the way through for everybody. So, GG. really GG. well done. Oh dear, those bells, man! <laughs> what have to be bell? I'll <laughs> get you. They were scary. Uh, like, we didn't really have too I much mo or AOE as well. Like, yeah, I a little whisper too. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 if you could have like a hit hit marker, it was directly between my eyes. Like it hit me <laughs> fair square in the head. <laughs> Blap. It's fucking blasted. <laughs> Damn. And that was stage three. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the rest went well. Dude, mm. I, I don't know how I didn't die stage five, man. Trying to do that TP with no AOE? Jesus. You didn't pick up the stompers before? No, not oh, till like you... after. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, not till then. I didn't get them till after yeah. either. So I got the stompers yeah. and then I flew too high up twice in a row. So I wasn't able to actually stomp the Z constructs until my second wing came up. So, like Icarus, um, like a... you flew too yeah. close to the sun. <laughs> yep. Dude, true. <laughs> All right, let's take down yeah. the uh, take down the cabbage, I guess. I guess we'll have to kneecap yeah. the cabbage. It's the goal for today, isn't it? <laughs> the final boss. <laughs> yeah. 
the little red gremlin in the corner. <laughs> I am almost set up here. Um, and they're ready. Cabbage and Ruddy are ready. By the way, Ruddy has the world record for the gauntlet category. By the way, so oh, for captain, that sure. Is true. sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> and disputed can't speed shoot. So, uh, I mean, kind of free. Oh, not a spooder. <laughs> Not a spooder. His Don't hands are like too that. frail. That's the arthritis. <laughs> yeah. Now, Cabbage was saying he had some like binds he uses. I must like try to figure that out. I know like Corny his switches hands, his like binds when he plays Captain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, like wrapped his hands in like cotton wool or something, like binding his hands. Why can't I pop out my chair? <laughs> Good shit disputed, though. We're in the finals, dude. Yeah, man. Twice in a row for you. <laughs> See, I got beat by Digo twice today. God damn. I got... Damn. <laughs> damn, you did. Yeah. That's how you know you're doing poorly. No. <laughs> it's not what I meant, but... <laughs> All right. Now I just need to set up the stuff. The actual stream link. So everyone's, like, you guys got your timings down, right? Like, I don't know. Surely you got your timings for your Dabo strike ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Were you saying something? Are you talking no. to me right now? No, sorry. <laughs> I was out of line. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, you weren't spoken to first, so. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, we didn't so Adobe is sock to talk. <laughs> right. Anyways, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's like the second Harry Potter reference you made me in a week. Stop liking Harry Potter. The first one was good though. Anyways, <laughs> this is the final loadout of today, chat room. After this loadout, we will be giving away a massive gup as well. So, uh, it's a gut beanbag. What else to say about it? Other than it's huge. So massive. Yeah. Hold on. I want to make sure I have the, the right link thing here. I'm going to go to my gamer hole. So let me know. Also, if yeah. like an American wins this, like the odds are you're going to get this beanbag for I get my own beanbag from Gearbox. Just so you know, you'll get it before me. <laughs> Probably. Which is insane. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting some lag on my end. Dude, the cabbage, cabbage special. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, who's handling? Uh, my handling prediction. Some gambers. Yeah, if you want to. Hell yeah, I'm in the driver's seat. Let's do this chat. Let's make some, let's make some resources. I'm lagging. Okay. All right. I think we're. Hold on. I can't watch the YouTube streams right now because they're messing up. Just give me one cabbage. second, chat room. Is it cabbage? I guess. That's just is what this stream so. lagging? Oh, is it just. <laughs> Hi, that's my default excuse. I just blame it on them straight away. It's the YouTube streamers, man. Actually, okay. yeah, we've got two YouTube streamers. That's it. We've got two YouTube streamers in one go right now. That's tough, dude. All right, I think we're good. It's rough. All right, you can tell them, I think, that they're good to go. Uh, uh, hopefully. Yeah, lock it in. Uh, hold on. I don't know. The YouTube streams are lagging for me. I can't, uh, I can't watch right now. Give me a second. Does it affect, is it still affecting the other ones? Yeah. One moment. Dude, you guys are so ready for the gup. Holy chat, relax. Relax. Don't There's relax. only one gup giveaway. <laughs> it's time. It's almost time. <laughs> I do uh I do get rid of the gup uh emote that Carl made because I have like a timer thing on my channel. I just have that 
purple lemurian with a gub explosion going for my chat every 10 minutes is driving me crazy yeah well that's awesome so all right buddy i think we're good go tell them and we're good all right all right here we go chat room the last loadout of the day the finale of the championship this is the end, dude. We'll see. Hold on. We're not listening to this right now. But something like it. Here we go. All right. Here we go, chat room. And after, we're giving one of you a beautiful gut bean bag. Honestly, from someone who has a gut bean bag myself, it's very powerful. And it's very cool. It but really you do need to make sure that you can actually have it in your house, okay? Because it is massive. It's like four and a half feet wide. Okay. It is, it is not a small thing at all. So yeah, You think we're joking. Like, we don't, no. we don't want a letter explaining that your marriage broke down because the gut was too big and your wife, like, dumped you, right? This is, this is a big gut. It takes up an entire... Oh, we have headset first item on Disputed. Holy, got to refresh this stream. This is... It's it. Oh. This is a really fast fucking run. Oh. Oh, wow. What is lagging? Holy. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm refreshing. Yeah, right, you have the same problems I do. Was yeah. it... Yeah, was it right next to spawn or where was it? I looked over at the speed screen and he had headset. So <laughs> here we go. All right. Yeah, ready right. was started because he didn't have his beacons. It's fine. He's got it. Oh, yeah, that's the usual. I thought that bug was fixed. I need to talk to yeah, Derek about thought, that. Yeah. <laughs> it was like one of the three bugs that got fixed in their update. So, okay, cool. And that's there's a resonance disc. disc. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to do a red, <laughs> how many reds gamble, but they get too many reds. Damn it. Why are you like the worst at the gambles? Dude? I, I just thought it was a, would have been a good one. I was too slow. This is crazy, uh, actually. This is crazy. Good. Oh, Cap's nice piss yellow as well. That's not gold, chat. That's piss yellow. Don't let him tell you otherwise. I mean, it looks kind of gold. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a big night with that lot of water. Uh, four. Uh, but it only applies when you exit your pod. Oh, okay, so he just didn't exit his pod yet. That's fine. <laughs> but, uh, this is crazy. All right, we're going to sub. I mean, if there was a, a time to just literally send the loadout and go, this is it, dude. Yeah, dude, absolutely. With that mobility, it's huge. I wonder Headset. if anyone's going to fall into the... I don't know, like, because there's... you got 40,000% damage to but then I wonder if people are going to go for, like, headstomp stuff instead. I don't know. I mean, headstomp like, stuff is just prop. easier to set up, you know? Yeah. Um, That's... I feel like for Mythrix, they're going to do Diablo stuff. If Diablo doesn't kill, they'll finish them off with headset. Um, And through the stages, they'll probably just, like, do Diablo on a boss, but headset everything else. Sub twenty five. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like check. only one person has the headset though, and it's disputed. And I don't know if they're gonna go back and loot it. Uh, Ruddy might find it right here. Yep, there it is. Wow. Beautiful. Was that uh? Oh, was that, yeah. Okay. That's ooh, ooh, that's great. How's cabbage, man? Watching cabbage between runs. Like, he loots so efficiently. Like, I, I can never pinpoint it, but he just manages to get items quicker. He's so good at racing. It's He's that so prismatic, uh, like... Yeah, true. All that time spending playing prismatics, basically. The prismatic uh, strat. Because you have to, true, you know? True. Yeah. I, uh, and yeah, Cabbage is out the without getting thing. the headset, though. Uh-oh. Oof. That's... You got the res disc, look. I mean, he still can win, but that is a big thing to lose out on from the first stage. <laughs> so we'll see. Cap like is DO speed shooting era. quite a bit. Um, I'll, I'll go over it a little bit. So you'll see Cap specifically doing it a lot because, and Ruddy as well. 
and cabbage. I guess it's not disputed, but um, if you shoot oh, your shotgun, it has a long reload animation. Uh, you can actually cancel that reload animation by pulling up the beacon menu and then canceling out of that beacon menu quickly by sprinting. So what you have is this like this double cancel situation where you can shoot really, really, really fast. Um, and it's sometimes very hard to pull off, but oh, Cap sees the chest. Cap might actually get oh, the headset no. as well. His spotter senses the tingling, dude. Yeah, he went back for the uh, the void crit over here. Oh, Jeez. nice. But yeah, you'll see that a lot. And we're also going to see some tech with Diablo Strike. If you hold Diablo Strike in your hand, okay, like you're going to place it down, it actually starts charging up the next Diablo Strike uh, on your bar. So you can actually use two Diablo Strikes, and that's great for Mithrix because you can just double hit them, right? So... Yeah, when are people going to cook them? There's so many. Depends how much damage they get, though, right? If they are they if they get enough with just the, if they get some bands AP rounds, it could be they they could be saving time by not doing the cooking. So we'll no, 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 because they have headsets, so they can just walk to the skip spot and leave, and they could start cooking way early in the tunnel. So it would just be oh, right, like free. Right. They just need to think, get there and do. It. I think Cap might, and I think Cabbage might, maybe Ruddy actually, because he's the. Ruddy is a world record holder for Captain Gauntlet runs, by the yeah, way. That's how we found him. That's how Ruddy uh, came up on the scene. It's his um, insane uh, Captain Very, very powerful Captain record. Disputed, maybe. It's tough, but we'll see. I mean, it, it's so yeah. easy to forget until you're at the room of the arena and you're like, oh, man, I should have been charging. Yeah, I can um, confidently say I wouldn't have thought of that. You can see Ruddy practicing his speed shooting as well a little bit there. You can do it with the off beacon. Um, you also need your beacons, by the way, to do it. But it adds in a little bit of a uh, an M2 click in there. He's actually the only one on stage one, which is a little bit surprising to me. I guess he wanted to yeah, loot the reminder, a little bit more. Yeah, reminder, Chad, he's about a minute behind on the clock. So yep. It looks like he's pretty far behind, but... He's, and we he's take in-game time for the, the time at the end, so there's no real pressure here. It's fine. That Dune Strider too. Dune. Mm. You'll be real careful, Dune Strider here. We can see Cap actually doing the uh, the Diablo tech right there. He's actually holding one in his hand, and now he only has ten seconds uh, until he gets another Diablo strike. So, really well done. He's gonna try and guess it. Guess nice. where it's gonna land. I've seen him do that a lot. He loves to try and like just guess. I mean, he already placed it down. in the corner. I'm delayed. <clears throat> Australia cables. <laughs> Really enjoying it. All right. Did you guess it? Was I right? No, nah, you just waited till the boss got there. And ah, okay. Never mind then. Yeah. Shut up. All right. Party's an Aquadux. No, I, I think everyone should honestly get bands here as well. Headset and Diablo. Absolutely. The bands are free. Go and grab them. And that's like a couple second Mythrix fight overall, right? So that's all you gotta do. Dude, imagine if this was a loader. I saw chat. Like, if this is a loader final, oh my God. You, I know. you wouldn't be able to get up to go get a drink. It'd be done in 15 minutes. There we go. Ruddy is oh, open cool. the gate for the bands. All you got to do is just place down the uh, beacon on one of the buttons. The challenge, I guess, is just finding where both buttons are. Disputed as well. I really feel bad for Cabbage. Cabbage is the only one without a headset. But honestly, maybe that's just Cabbage's handicap. You know? Um, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see, yeah. I think a I lot mean, of he people. Has the, he has the, the resonance disc, so you know he's not completely yeah. missed out. It's the most not the most consistent, but it does some damage sometimes on occasion. I think a lot of people are expecting just Cabbage to win because obviously he's shown a lot that he can. That's very good. Yeah. Um, he's very consistent, but without having the headset here, something's gonna either crazy has to happen or he has to play out of his mind. So yeah. we'll see. Because he's going TP to TP. So, like, speed and feathers are going to be an absolute miracle to find. So, he's at a big disadvantage. It might not look like it, it might not look like it right now, but going into stage four or five, especially Mythrix, like, yeah, that, re that difference is really going to kick in. Disputed is waiting for his Diablo strike for the, the elders to get bans. Honestly, it may have been faster. So, uh, uh, there's a talk like like you bring him over to you. You don't have to run all the way out. There were no speed. There's mm -hmm. there's method there. I imagine. 
it's so crazy because Cabbage left stage one so quickly that he already has bands and is in stage three. Um, yeah, that's correct. So <laughs> he's zooming. It was really just that chest, like right off spawn, dude. That one large chest <laughs> they missed. All right, Caps Cooking heading in now as well. Cap is stunning him right outside the range of Diablo. He needs him to walk forward a tiny bit more. There he goes. Oh, he didn't get both, out. though. I keep... A little delayed. Yeah, I keep... Anyway, whatever. You're fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm honestly shocked Oh, that... and... Huh? He's... So the pre on as well. Cabbage has... If everyone gets the pre I'm going to have Headset, Dabbler Strike, and pre -on. Is that like the three most damaging like yeah. abilities or equipments in this game? <laughs> well, Supercharged Rail Gunner, but yeah. I mean, you can't yeah. have that here, obviously. So what Cabot is doing as well, right? I'm not a lot of people may realize to do this in his shoes, but he got the pre -on. He went fast enough to actually get it with getting bans on Sage 2, by the way, oh. which is crazy. And he's actually using the Resupply Beacon, he used Prion there four times <laughs> in that like short, uh, like 10 second period. He killed the horde of enemies behind him. He killed the boss, another horde of enemies. Like he just. Jesus. So I he forgot has about, I forgot about the that. resupply beacon, dude. And that's a Tesla for Disputed. What is with the Reds? Oh, when is that? Wow. Holy, the AOE for days. Holy. This might be a situation where the headset may only be an advantage because it's a pillar skip and feather. Yeah. Um, and if I were just wanting cabbage to find a pillar skip, basically it looks like cap got the, the plarva from the void key, which I right. guess he was the only, no, Ruddy has the void key as well. Interesting. If he dies, he does get void bands though, which would be kind of brutal, but I think he's just saying like, okay, this is the final. We got to do something. I don't, I don't think he liked the other options that much anyway. So. But if he dies early, if he dies before the Mythrix fight, that is oh pretty tough. He didn't think to go for the uh, the Prion there either. Interesting. Mm. He likes his doll. Prion's another one, like this uh, speedrunner mentality. Like, I know Cabbage and, like, Zinc and Cap, for example, that, like, all they think is, if they see RPD on the stage list, all they're thinking is Prion. Like, it's just a, it's a different, yeah. it's a racer mentality, man. It's, I was talking about it earlier, but the, there's such a disconnect between, like, skill sets. Like, being consistent at Risk of Rain 2 in general doesn't translate to racing. Like, it's, it's a completely different mindset. It's so impressive. Oh, yeah. I love picking like as mu as much as we give cabbage some rubbish here for like in void bands and yeah you know you know the drill <laughs> yeah like, I love picking his brain because it's so interesting to like things that you just don't think about so cool yeah like the all of the prismatic mindset too and just like besides just the speedrunner mentality stuff is crazy everything is so different Whoop. But it's well, it, what it comes down to is just really making use of everything that you have. And I think that's something that yeah. isn't really done as much as it could be. Um, like really making use of all the items, all the equipment, all like the abilities that you have on that stage and the movement options. I mean, I mean, we've seen, you know, time and time again, that's what Cabbage has been uh, best at. So. Yeah, it definitely is. Ruddy re-upping on a key from the Void Key. He didn't find it in Sage 2, so he has another box. And um, nice. he didn't want to get the Void Band or the Life State, so he's like, you know what? We'll just get another key. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy. I wonder... Everyone's going to get testicle here. You know what's crazy? Is that testicle is the best AOE we've had in three loadouts. She <laughs> is nuts. Anything? Oh, surely no one's going to go for Awu here, right? I mean, they could. I mean, a cabbage could easily hug him, right? That voice seed is like in the exact same spot, I swear, as the last one. Might be. I don't know if That's they're going to go identical. for Awu. I think cabbage won't. Um, I think cabbage is just 
on this speed streak right now, which is crazy because that's exactly what he needs to be doing to win. Uh, he doesn't even know he doesn't even have a headset, but he's going. <laughs> God, the prion with with the uh, resupply beacon is so strong. Holy! It's crazy. If if you can use all of it, it's really good. It looks like there is a vase on disputed as well. So if Cabbage oh. does find the vase on the stage, which I think he found at the stage, um, then I mean that's his pillar skip. Yeah. I honestly, Cabbage might just leave after this stage, though. Like, is I think done. He might, honestly, I mean, is he gonna is he gonna dabble escape? Is that on his mind? Probably not. I would I'd doubt it. See it. I mean, I think he'd just rather do pillars. I don't know. I mean, there might be yeah, another. I'd love to show yeah. We'll see. I mean, I'd it might just dabble be. Escape would be sick. I would love it too. He might just be looking for an equipment on stage five in one of the multi shops or something. Oh, dispute got a stage Doesn't three. Okay. Never mind mm. So he can't get it. Uh yeah, Cap is really looking through the adaptive chests. Dude, have you ever noticed how slow the adaptive chests are in this game compared to returns? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just I pray. I just pray with risk of rain returns, man. Like it's just it's instantly so fast. Whatever I get, if I, I just look for it. I look for a tinge of red and just hit it. Like, oh, whatever. That'll do. That's exactly it's what so I've been doing. Fast. <laughs> There's a speed printer on <laughs> stage five. Oh, oh, man. This is this is what uh, Cabbage needed, too. Hitting that. That Gamba, the sub-25 Gamba. Do you guys want to know? You guys are in trouble. <laughs> you you guys are in trouble, man. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sending it too? There's a red whip printer on stage four as well. I don't think anyone else saw that, but Cap is going for a key box on stage four. Let's see what it is. It's plasma shrimp. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, the voids this the the voids that I have been rough. They've been there was like yeah. three void cradles, I think last stage five, and they're all needle tick. See? That was so <laughs> that funny. Was <laughs> Cabbage killing the stage five TP boss pretty quick. God, just pretty I, easy. And look, and it's done. Yep. I, someone else needs to get to stage five to stop him, dude. Someone else. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh my god. Oh just man. Poor grandparent, man. Just didn't know what I was walking into. If someone takes too long looting on stage five, it's going to be too late. Cabbage is going to be done. <laughs> he is actually. Yeah. Mm. I will see what happens again. the The difference for that headset for the mobility is big, and we'll see how it affects Cabbage and along in the in the moon. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. You never know. I mean, really, he's Cabbage just plus five coming. Really, is just looking for the pillar skip. I mean, he might just have to do pillars, and and he's missed two of them, which sucks for him as well. Honestly, if he does pillars. It still might be fast enough to where he might still win. <laughs> Cabbage is gonna <laughs> Diablo stopped. skip. You think so, dude? That would be fucking hype. I'm ready for it. This is crazy, actually. <laughs> I should point out as well that, like, I know it could be easy looking at this and thinking that Cabbage is like, oh, he's just really, really talented, naturally talented. Cabbage, Zinc, and K sit in, we have a place called the Scrim Chamber. I mean, he is talented. In the, but yeah. the, he is very talented, yeah. But like, they all sit in there every single day. They'll be in there practicing racing. It's all they do. Yeah. They live and breathe this stuff, dude. It's like, this is just a testament to how much effort they put in. They are just... And in their Cabbage right gets now. a feather. Holy shit. That's oh, what he needed. God. He's fucking out. Let's yeah. see it. All right, GG. <laughs> We're going to see a fucking Diablo skip. So if you didn't know, you can actually hit yourself with Diablo and skip pillars. So did Cap and Dispute are doing the same thing at the same time? Right now. Nah, not on my screen, they're not. <laughs> yeah, well, they are, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sub-25 moon. A 19 minute moon for Cabbage right here. And he Insane. missed the headset, dude. He's going faster than everyone else. 
and they have heads up. Unfortunately, the speeded also lost his crowbar and a wrap printer from last stage as well. So, oh, the speeder, be careful on your right, chat. Quick gamba, quick gamba. Two minutes, sub twenty-five finish. Go. Can he get done in five minutes? Oh man, this is crazy. Um. It's just, it honestly is a treat to sit here and watch, though. Like, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's impressive. It's, it's just cool to see. And it's also gives impressive. me something to aim for. Yeah. So I wonder where Cabbage is thinking of skipping, if he does a Diablo skip, or if he's actually just going to do pillars, I don't know. If Disputed leaves soon, obviously he's not done with his TP yet, but if he leaves soon, he could face up. And Cabbage yeah. still has to wait for his Diablo to come down, right? And he has to get to a spot where he has to do it. I mean, it still takes time. So we'll see. He can do it on the bridge here, pretty much like directly under it. But we'll see if he's practices positions for it. There's a lot of it's positions, not... but like, oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it right here. Oh, <laughs> shit. No, he got hit by the Exploder a frame before it landed. <gasps> And he died from a plus five. Mm. One frame of getting hit right before it. Oh, 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 oh. no, dude. No. Oh, God. Oh. Those, those poor gambers. When, <laughs> poor when gambers. chat sees it, it's going to... Oh, <laughs> man. They might, the DM might get sub-25, chat. Trust Not me. only was that, like, perfect positioning and timing... It was perfect, Man. and then he just got shot that one time right there. Oh, dude. Dude, and now he's in trouble if he gets hit again. He's going to lose OSP. He won't be able to do it again. He's just doing pillars at this point. Oh, bro. <laughs> he's going to be Dude, it was so <laughs> hype, man. It was oh. so painful. If he had just stunned the Exploder with his M2, it would have been fine. Oh, man. Ugh. That's it. That's all His I had to do. Perfect up until this point. Just perfect. Yeah. Now that one, that one exploder. I mean, that's the risk if you're going for it early. I mean, you always was going to go for it early, but the risk if you don't have your OSP up, you're going to get blasted. <laughs> mm. Oh, it can't help but like just feel what he's feeling. Like <laughs> it's so sad. That hurts, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, Dio's getting a bit loot hungry here. He's hanging around. He found his feather. Overall, in his run, there was just one moment that wasn't perfect, and that was a... Yeah. Like... Oh. Yeah. Excuse us, chat, if we're a little bit shell-shocked, but that, uh, that, that's a guttural punch. Oh. If you, if you have I any mean, empathy in dude, your they're, soul... They're feeling it, too, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> painful but anyway look at this disputed is on the moon ruddy is on the moon Dude, just but disputed has the vase yeah so we'll see just like that disputed Do comeback you use it is the real. Start, though i think it was still doing faster to use that vase at the start and so we can see what i was talking down. about earlier um this cabbage oh, is actually like charging up his uh his diablo beforehand so he can get the double diablo Do you think Ruddy's going to Diablo skip? Thing. He was doing the same thing. Oh, no. He has a headset. I forgot. Never mind. Why would he do that? <laughs> Why he was charging up. Skip? He was... Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. no. He, he, he's doing what I'm wanting him to do. So, so it look, I mean, Cap is doing it as well. They're all charging Diablo beforehand, which is exactly what I want. Looking at Ruddy, he's about to skip pillars with just headset. Boom. All the way up. That's a beautiful host skip. Did Disputed not get the good Diablo time in, sir? I don't Did know. he miss? I, I look don't... back and Nithrix is he not dead. Have. He uh -oh. went for the... He, no, he Dude. aimed for the ramp? Ruddy is about he... to take it then. Look at Ruddy's screen. He's about to walk forward mm. right now. Here he goes. And let's see the damage on Ruddy's screen.
and that is first phase basically done and yeah is that this oh is no this true sweep coming to fruition is this true the sweep happening is my boy gonna do it Dude. oh my lord ruddy please one whiff after another man what is happening uh the cap is going all the way up now he does have his double diablos he's ready Dio is Dio is choking this right now man the pressure is getting to him oh man it hurts it hurts first cabbage and then disputed hopefully ruddy <laughs> doesn't choke this oh man we'll see ruddy has practiced uh mythrix fighting with diablo so much you wouldn't even believe it so we'll see we'll see He's just got to not die here in phase two, basically, and he's free. But yeah, he is getting kind of kind of blasted here by these wisps. Uh-oh. Hey, got no raps, no rucklers. Oh, no. Don't. Hold don't, up. <laughs> this is a roller coaster. I can't take, I can't take another turn. <laughs> Maybe please. it's Cap's turn, dude. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Everyone's out of crap. Oh, dude. Jesus. It's so I'm close. Right on, man. Please. Oh, they're resorting to using headset actually cap is pulling in the lead here he is a little bit behind oh because ready start a little bit later so ready yeah. is at before 25 minutes cap is about to hit 26 minutes but wow this is ready needs to finish this phase now time. dude oh this my god him. the speed is in phase mode, two like... but the speed is struggling as well Phase two normally is Dio's kryptonite. He doesn't like it very much. So he's not using it in easy headset mode. Ruddy, please. <laughs> I have no idea how can't... this is going to go, dude. And Cap gets the beautiful oh. double Diablo into oh, phase three yeah. and kills phase four with the skip. Wow. It is beautiful. The perfect setup. Holy. Wow. And he gets the good portal and he's egging out of here, dude. I don't think Ruddy can catch up to that. Ruddy has to do his Diablo right now if he wants to catch up. I can't believe Impressive. it. <laughs> Impressive. Holy. And this, this is what it's all about, dude. It's no all about the fucking the Diablos. Until the last minute, dude. <laughs> he just came and... Oh my god. He fucking Ruddy, swept. Man, cap, Cabbage is kryptonite. He just keeps beating cabbage. It looks like Ruddy did get the good timing for phase three, but it's just too late. I think cabbage or cap is already on the ship. He didn't get the phase four skip with it either. Oh, he didn't have enough damage. Oh, man. Dude, Jesus. It's so it was so close. But Last you know what? Over. It it was cabbages run to throw then disputed and then ruddies <laughs> and then cap came in and swept by all of them and get to the end and played really just fucking flawlessly on his diablos on the mythrix fight oh cabbage. oh my I, god oh, cap i think cap would have beat cabbage here regardless of plus five look no. at the difference no i don't like 32 so. 27 yeah i think he no he because would've. cabbage had to do pillars he would have just gone straight oh, yeah. up if he had yeah, done it the way he yeah, wanted. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Oh, my he God. Really shows the speed that Cap came back with. The vengeance, dude. <sighs> that was insane. I'm going to bring Cap in here right now, and we're all going to give him a clap. Cap, you son hey. of a bitch. You did what it. I do. You won. <laughs> I did it. You won. Holy shit. Dude, it... <laughs> Watch Ooh. this one back for me, will ya? Later? Ooh. Oh yeah. You, I'm you're watching not this gonna, whole thing back. You're yeah. not gonna believe it, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone clap for Cat because oh. that was like one of the craziest Holy like shit. we thought you were not even considered to, dude, to I mean like you could have won, right? But like it was all in the end and cabbage <laughs> died trying to Diablo skip. Oh my god. Disputed missed yeah. his first couple of Diablos and then Ruddy had a bad phase too and you just consistently flew through 
and that Dude. was it. And that, it was over. Like, fight was so fight fucking clean. Skip combo. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Oh my god, man. GG. Yeah. Go down. Holy shit! <laughs> I I feel this like is I, one of the best I felt races so slow. <laughs> Start like coming out of stage three. I felt so fucking slow still, but I I didn't think I was gonna get first there. GG. And you're gonna oh. want to see what happened to Cabbage, dude. That shit was insane. <laughs> yeah, I do want to see that. I am lagging. Holy Ooh. shit. Oh, everyone got the stompers, right? No, Cabbage, Cabbage did. didn't. But oh. he would have beaten you if he didn't die Diablo <laughs> skipping. He was that fast. Yeah, God damn it. If he, if he actually came down, if he found the headset, he wins that, actually. Did he, get the, he, did he get the Void Cradle? He probably had to get the Void Cradle at the beginning yeah. of the stage, huh? I don't know. Uh, I think he did leave the key. Oh, yeah. Stream's gone, gone. Oh, uh, hold on, Cap. That was everyone's awesome. on the ship. That was sick. Stream's dying. It's okay. fine. I actually had <laughs> no idea he was winning that. It oh, was insane, no. dude. Dude, that's, that is a four streak for me, actually. Let's bring everyone oh, else shit. in. True. Yeah. Twice Thanks, against Ruth. Cabbage, too. Yep. Hello, Cabbage. And the kryptonite to the plant. Hello, Ready. Oh, hey. man. Missing head hey, stompers on Cap turn up. Yeah. First yeah, item. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> you would have won <laughs> if it wasn't for that one. It, if you had stunned the Exploder, you would have gotten it. And you would have won. Yeah. But it was oh, just okay. like... Go next. Oh, dude. <laughs> It was so close. I don't even know where Dispute's at right now because his stream is like dead for me. So, Cabbage, you were very impressive Oof. to watch all the way through. That was very clean. It was just that one moment, but it was so clean after that. Oh, 20 yeah. seconds in it? Yeah, Gigi, right, you, you were hella close. G? Fuck. Yeah. Oh. 20 seconds? 20 Someone seconds. came down. Oh my yeah. god. I did not know it was that close. Mm -hmm. And don't go anywhere, yeah. everybody, because we have a Gup to oh, give away uh, as well. Lee so. Hell. Yeah, a cup of bean bag just for you guys. Wait, where were the stompers, sure. by the way? I did not know it was 20 seconds. Next I thought it was to like the a void cradle on stage. Oh, one. yeah, my bad. The large chest. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where have you seen this scenario before, Cabbage? <laughs> yeah, it happened. <laughs> Diablo captain finals of a tournament and you didn't get the stompers easy. <laughs> yeah. I mean I just hope there isn't any yeah. stompers or anything. I mean that's that is the gamble and you do yeah. it well is like if there's nothing good that you missed then you win. But Yeah, maybe even with a death, I don't know. Eh. I thought I, I I thought I had a chance even with a death if there wasn't like stompers or anything. If you went for another if you got the double skip after that. I think you would have uh, been uh, close, but yeah. Those people are too well, Tom, yeah. Okay, so Did what happened? Know? Did I just fuck up in phase one and then that yeah, cost me? Yeah, that was it. That was yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, what happened in phase one? I looked up and your Diablo was on the ramp. Yeah, but well, I like went too far into the arena because like, I like uh, faced him mm. and then it launched yeah. me too far. Oh, there was a vase. Yeah, that. Yep. Oh, wow. uh, out of the adaptive chest. Uh, oh, also, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a gamer. Yeah, I'm not he a gamer. Game I skipped that one. Nice. Yeah, I was looking for quail exactly so bad. Now. Oh, yeah. That's all I wanted. Oh, absolutely. Ooh. That was one of the oh, craziest, like, what final... Not? Like, not only was Dude. it just a crazy run, it was, like, the craziest, like, final two. It was so <laughs> insane. Yeah. Honestly... My okay. Mithrix fight was so clean, I will say. First of all, before we do the Holy giveaway... Shit. um. Obviously, congrats to Cap, congrats to Ruddy, and congrats to the Thank student you. Cabbage for, like, getting this far, playing well. Congrats to everyone today. Uh, you know, Corny, Waxy, Goji, um, everyone did really well. All right. Um, and Dan, of course, you're here, but, you know, whatever. Dan. Yeah, and Dan. <laughs> yeah. Um, awesome. Everyone everyone was playing out of their mind. It was a very, very fun tournament to watch all the way through. But it's time. It's time for the gut giveaway. All what you guys mm. wanted. So we got to figure out a keyword for this one. What do we want? What do you think? <laughs> what could it be? What could it be? I don't know. I, I think I'm joking. It's gut, right? <laughs> 
Yeah, we'll just do Gup. Everyone spam Gup to enter in the giveaway. Uh, we'll roll it in about, uh, I don't know, we'll give you a couple of minutes to enter and to make sure no that you're in. in. So I'm in. I'm in. You can't fucking enter. That's cheating. <laughs> I haven't got mine yet. I'm salty. I want another one. <laughs> you greedy bastard. Yeah, I entered. What a. <laughs> <laughs> I dude, Echo is the second one. All right. Now, I, even Should if I mean, it rolls me, two, I won't. Two together is the bid. I won't allow <laughs> myself to win. I, it'd be funny. I just think it'd be funny if it did roll me. Yeah. I mean, it would be cool to have two. Then you could pretend you had one big gup and you cut it in half. You got two other gups. I mean, that's okay. Don't yeah, be weird. How about scale, fun the RP scale, you want to go? It's about the. It's not exactly the size of a gup in game. It's maybe the size of a geep. Like the level two, mm. I would say. It's four and a half feet in diameter. So, uh. <laughs> the size of a geep. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm hmm. Oh, guys. Uh, you have to do it in risk of resources chat. God damn it, YouTube chat. Here. Bunch of idiots. <laughs> YouTube chat is different, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're special. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure that everyone gets a chance and an opportunity to enter in before we start. We only have about 600 of you guys entered in, so there's a lot more people here than that. But I do want to yeah. say also, um, if you you need to really think about the gup, all right, because it's really <laughs> big. And if you can't have it in your house because it's literally too big, let someone else win it. All right. That's just it's fine. It is a house, though. I mean, you could live in it. You could live in it. You could live actually. In it. Yeah. Like I could sleep in this thing forever. Like <laughs> it's crazy. It's so big. This is also like there's only a few of these gut bean bags made um ever. So th this is it. This is like you know. Yeah, do we this... know? They not are they not they're not like mass producing these, are they? No. There were only a nope. few made and that's it. Oh hell so, yeah. We know that for sure. That's cool. Yeah. Or not later gonna make more. I mean, maybe in a year from now they're like, "Hey, that was kind of cool," and they, people liked them. You know, I yeah, don't know. But we get the first gen gups. I'll get some yeah. geeps or something. Yeah, the alpha gups. <laughs> the gup. <laughs> the gup, dude. It's time. I'll give you guys like two more minutes. All right, type in gup if you want to enter in. There's still a lot of names that have not entered, and I feel bad because I know there's a lot of people who are like either asleep or like they're afk or something but you know and also um i'm going to pm you on twitch when you win make sure you have pms open okay also type in chat when you win i'm gonna say your name type in chat when you win so i know you're here um and then you're yeah. gonna give me your email your working real email so i could give it to gearbox <laughs> and they can hook you up with the gup okay that's how it's gonna work So, but yeah, honestly, amazing day today. Uh, I can go over some announcements and stuff while we're waiting for people to enter in the giveaway. Um, if you wanted to see more of these, uh, you can follow the channel. But the best place to see when the next one's going to be is by joining the Discord. So discord.gg slash risk of resources. It's below our page right now under the stream. Or you can type in that link and you'll get there. Um, we have a mod. You can play this mod with your friends. Just search up Risk of Resources on the mod page. We have a, a real speedrun.com uh, category. It's the gauntlet category. We have, um, mostly it. We have a YouTube at Risk of Resources if you want to see some older runs, older loadout races. And if you want to apply to be a racer yourself, go to riskofresources.com slash rules. And then oh, yeah. shit, you could be here with us. Yeah, you could be, be a racer. Uh, if you apply you to be a racer... You could get smacked by Cap himself, so join. The Cap today. smack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you uh, apply to be a racer <laughs> and we think you're good enough, uh, we'll, or like have potential, like, yada, yada, whatever, we'll allow you into the training wheels program so you can scrim with all the guys here. And um, that's like a really good entrance into it as well. It's helped a lot of them. Like, Ruddy's been scrimming a lot with them and... He got second in the in the big tournament. So, yeah, dude, twenty yeah, seconds on winning the entire tournament. Holy! Hey, I've lost right. my number one Australian spot. Just got shit on. 
Yeah, you were never number one, even when you were the only Australian. <laughs> so <laughs> only one. Dude. God, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Actually, painful. All right, are we ready? I'll give you like a a twenty second countdown, dude. Spam gub chat. Get in. Put in gub. I'm doing it again. Gump I want up. double. But also, thank you, chat, for um, just being here for the tournament today. It was awesome. And we don't usually do tournaments Certainly because fun. it's really hard to schedule that many people uh, in one day. But it worked out and it was awesome. So, all right, 10 seconds and we'll roll it and we're there. And as always, we yeah. do this every single week. So we'll see you guys next week for the next one. Dude, I'm all right. Out right of time. 800 people that have entered in. Oh, boy. Here we go. Don't the tell winner. Me it's slow. Please don't be me. <laughs> the, the winner is. The Igeen. Uh, Speak up in chat GG. now, dude. Everyone Praise dive in GG clap for the winner. What was the name of that again? I am adding them in chat. The Igeen. Oh, are. are they in chat? Did you spot that? How'd you spot that? How did you spot the... that? They are in know, chat. Yeah, I just found them too. All right, in chat, do you, do you want the gup? <laughs> Say yes or no. In like capital letters so we can see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Time to decide like, is now. I'm like lent in squinting at the <laughs> chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get the gamer hunch on. Oh, no. I said it, might have missed it. Yeah. Oh, uh, very I, I happy saw him. about that. All right, there they are. They're, there. they're yeah, good. They are. They're okay. good. They're, they're keen. Nice. All right. Well, GG, GG chat. They're good. Thanks GG for being here, everybody. Thanks for everyone um, for being involved today. As always, go follow all the streamers involved from Cabbage, Corny, to Cap, to Waxy, to Speeded, to Ruddy, to Goji, and Dan. Kay was here for a little bit too. Um, go follow them all. They're great. But GG, everybody. And thanks for. Thanks for watching another awesome series. I'll message you right now about the gut.